Today we've got Streamlabs and Batman. Okay. Oh Streamlabs and the Batman. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Such a cool theme. Maybe he's like yeah, super cool. nice in the second one, doesn't even do any punching at all, and the theme has to change to accommodate, and it's like, do, 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 do. Something really chill. Maybe. Likely. I just think that, you know, it's just such a certainty from people that uh, were so critical of him as Batman that he won't even be Batman in the next one. Hmm. Robert Pattinson will be Batman? No, just Bruce Wayne. He will, though. <laughs> I mean, well, that's he's kind gonna. of the funny he's, part of it, he... you know? Can you imagine them trying to market a Batman movie where it's like, he won't be crime fighting in this one, all right? I feel like that's just not going to be allowed to happen. <laughs> he will be donating to charities and attending fundraisers and galas to raise money. Galas? And he will... It's a dollar. <laughs> I like galas. So, that sounds fatty. So here's... What's interesting is that I, because I, I worked as a, a, essentially, I did banquets at a hotel for a while, which was a really fun job. Mm. And it was, I guess that's where I picked it up, because over there, it was half and half. So I don't know, I, I don't know if it's a regional thing, or, I don't know, but. I've only ever heard gala. I didn't know that people said gala. <laughs> Sounds kind of gay. Enough people, enough people said it. In this job, to where I've picked it up, mm. and I'll, I'll, I think I'll just say it based off whichever one I hear last. Right. But I don't know. But it, it was very, it was very fun mm -hmm. to do that job. But very neat. Very well. I shall now read the uh, the super chats from the stream libs. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Um, more like you make a list of EFAP streams in chronological order, we could make a playlist in that order for you. Would help ensure nothing is missed by mistake. Uh, they are. Everything is released in chronological except for catch-ups. So, uh, well, I say that. I guess the only thing that is released in chronological order is EFAP mainline podcast. Everything else comes out at different times depending on when it's finished editing or uh, just when it's released, so... Um, yeah, I th I think every episode of the Eve Hat podcast has come out in order. I don't I don't think that's been screwed up at all. So it's all good. Imagine four Englands on the edge of a city. Oh, nice. Uh, in Ben Shapiro voice, this Batman doesn't portray Batman properly. Okay, folks, this Batman is working with the police instead of against them, which isn't what Batman does. Okay, gang. Um, no, oh, I think he totally disagreed on that, right? Like that was uh that was his problem with the film, wasn't wait, it? Wait, I'm blanking but, on this. Did he think that it was bad? He was working with the police. No. Um. Remember, he thought that it had a defund the police message. So. Yeah, why, he why pulled was, some why, interesting. Uh, yeah, like stuff. why would it have anything to do with um him not working with the police? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it was so <laughs> long ago now. Yeah, it was, what, four days ago? Wow. Just so long ago. Um, have any of you seen Doom Patrol on HBO? If so, what are your thoughts on it? If not, I highly recommend it. I have not. I, I have seen not it. seen it. I think uh, Meme really likes it, though. I've heard good things, yeah. Um, when I saw Batman, I got there late and walked in with the movie already playing. When it ended, I thought it was a 5 out of 10 at best, but was confused why the movie was so short and missing scenes from the trailers. Turns out I walked into the wrong theater. Oh. That would explain it. Hey, I that's not bad, though, getting a 5 he, at that point. Yeah, when, uh, when he said it was too short, I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah this is a meme. <laughs> you are memeing, it. sir. Okay. I walked into the memorial bomb scene and thought that was the first scene of the movie and watched the movie from there. I am not a smart man. Oh. I wonder how the movie tracks with that being the first scene. It's be a Probably a lot strange. differently. Yeah. No. I think I'm supposed to read these in. From down to up, not up to down. Okay. If Charlie is short for Charles, is Pim short for Pimples? No, it could just be Pim. 
Yeah, Pim's a perfectly Pim. normal name that loads of people have. Pim, 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 Pim. Across so many Pims. And it's funny that Charlie is short for Charles when it's longer by syllables. Yeah. Um, makes me think, like, maybe Charles is short for Charlington. An absurd, long, distant, maybe. ancient name. Uh, I was implying ending the cycle is a theme in both. I'm afraid this is contextless. The context is gone. Yep. <laughs> Got out the window. He's running away. He's like, see you later. I'm going to the shops. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, you. Uh, I'd like you guys to review the DOTA show. I thought it was good, though not quite as good as Arcane. The Dota show. The Dota show. Um, I didn't know there was one. Is that what it's called? The Dota show? I <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> Probably called it something should be. else. It should be called the Dota Show. Uh, Rags is right. I'm so jealous that boy Mel's mum is with. I want to help her bathe and squeeze her muscles real tight. All right. Hmm. Um. Even though it's bad, considering it's the cartoon side of things, but in the Rebel Show, they already did the whole Inquisitor thing, and it just hurts that the Grand Inquisitor is back after his arc and backstory wrapped up. I mean, oh, well, they're bringing him since in. Since when has that stopped them? I was going to say, that's probably the reason they're bringing him in, right? Is that you like him. Um, mm -hmm. uh, for a future EFAP, could you discuss So Uncivilized, the Star Wars sequels, the anti-trilogy? I think it's good, but I'd love to see you guys' thoughts on it if you aren't burnt out on Star Wars. Um, so, if that video... Well, I guess it would depend on the nature of the video, but yeah, we um, we haven't done any Star Wars videos for like a while that weren't connected to the new things coming out. Like, um, and obviously Kenobi is on its way. Uh, it was a it was a post I think on the Star Wars subreddit that was like that sad realization you have when you know that after Kenobi is out, we won't have Star Wars content for a while or something like that. That oh, sad no. feeling, huh? It's just also, like, yeah, hmm. first off, not even probably true. They're pr going to try and pump something out as soon as I can, I'm sure. Right, Andor's out after that, shortly after that. So oh, yeah, that. Perfect. We needed that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just glad that the Batman learned a lesson of Spider-Man Homecoming and not showing us Thomas and Martha Wayne getting shot in the crime alley. One time where Tell Don't Show crime worked alley. really well. Um, I mean, you know, again, I, I want to push the, like, we shouldn't it's not exactly fair if they want to do their version and they're like, I'm not allowed to do this scene because everyone else did it. But at the same time, you do have to have some awareness of um, the meta, I suppose. And they've proven it's not necessary. Um, yep. It can be particularly effective, though, to show what a young Bruce witnessed, you know. It's just, yeah, uh, they, they, they didn't need to and they managed to do it just fine. Um, Batman's no-kill rule is from psychological trauma and his own pathology, not ethics. I think that's going to depend what are on all... his... It's going to depend on the version, my friend. They're saying it's from psychological trauma and his own pathology, not ethics. Uh, it depends on which uh, yeah. version of the character we're which... talking about, doesn't it? Because they sure aren't all the same. I think that there's been... I've seen people argue it uh, all the time. Like, why does Batman not kill? And it's like, there's a couple good, there's strong so reasons. Arguments that, yeah, and they differ. Yeah. In terms of what they tell us about Bruce's priorities. Uh, this story makes Batman sound unobserving and dumb. Makes Riddler seem like two different evils, and the plot sounds like spaghetti. Much love, gents. Unobserving and, Batman, um, unobserving and dumb. I um, definitely don't get that. He seems to be pretty smart, pretty observant. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what you did we talk about that would have implied that. I don't know what that would have been that would have implied that. He's pretty perceptive, picks up on a lot of clues. There yeah, we were mostly... Misses, I, mean. I think we even said, yeah, that the, his intelligence is mostly intact. It's more so his, um, his care for human life is in question. Yeah. Um... Because, like, I don't blame him for not knowing a carpet, carpeting, carpentry tool, car carpet yeah, tool. Was um, a bit of a stretch. It's just, it was so, annoying that some guy was like, oh man, I know that. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, and Riddler seeming like two different evils. I mean, I'm I'm on board with that one. Um, he seems to have two separate motivations. Uh, and then the plotline being spaghetti. I wouldn't. I want to make sure we have a meaningful, you know, use of the word spaghetti. I, I would keep that for yeah. other things. It it's needs like, to. It needs refinement, not complete rewrites. Absolutely, it's it's refinement, and small tweaks would do a lot of difference. Yeah. Uh, uh, happy to be corrected, but is this film the first time we've seen a cinematic Batman, not animated version, save regular people, i.e. not integral to the plot? I doubt it. This, the, the, no. I'm uh, trying to remember, no like, individuals from the Nolan trilogy, but there must be randoms he's saved in that. I guess more so that we don't often, like, he seems to not just petty crime, I guess. Um, but, I mean, that was only the focus for the, the first like scene, right? Yeah. Um Yeah, there are other Batmans who save people, right? I I'm I, I, I can't believe I'm blanking, but like I'm sure that there are. <laughs> yeah. Someone said the doctors so I I think they would count that as integral to the plot. That's like the big joker plan. And same for mm -hmm. like people in the hospital. I think what we're we're looking for is a scene where he just stops a small crime. And saves like a, a person, but I'm trying to think, and I I am coming up dry, but it's mainly because I I imagine that it definitely exists. I just got to go look for it. It's a lot. It's a lot to sift through all of a sudden in your mind. Yep. I get. I'm think. I don't think the Schumacher films did that. I think everything was to do with the the current villains. I think. If there was a place to do it, I guess it would make sense to be in, like, the beginnings, wouldn't it? It's just like, this is his average day before, yeah. you know, big bad. Before the crazy stuff happens. Uh, Fringy about to release, unleash his goo all over chat. Oh my. Nope. <laughs> nope. Firefly is better than Buffy. Maybe. Probably. It's kind of unfair, though, because it's one very solid season, season yeah. versus a collection of all kinds of quality. Um, so, The Batman is a movie about city wizards for children. Patrick Willems. Oh my. City wizards, huh? City wizards. What does a city wizard do? Is their spells, like, urban planning related? I think so, yeah. I think that's the idea. Um, he's a Batman villain focused on politics. Google, please. Google, Google that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you... Or you say, Google, please. Like, Google, like, please. I'm not sure. All right, then. Um, get ready for a Bioshock arc, lads. New game and Netflix adaptation supposedly coming soon. Can't wait for them to ruin another one of my favorite franchises. Mate, it was ruined by Infinite. But doesn't yeah. mean it can't be ruined more than yeah. once. Not, oh, yeah, absolutely. It can't be ruined more than It can be ruined more than once. Yeah. They'll do it, gladly. Every time they ruin it, that's like a whole new show. That's great. There's still a lot of people out there who think Infinite is really good. And I'm, <laughs> I just like sit here really awkwardly, like, oh. I feel like they've missed the conversation yeah. that happened where is everybody it... sort of, well, not everybody, but the people who engaged in it were like, oh, yeah, it's pretty bad, actually. I can't believe looking back, like, I remember all the people sharing the moment where Elizabeth is singing, but like, it's all, or well, she's singing and dancing or something on like a, on a pier. And it's like, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. scripted to hell and back. Like, it's just. You made a person dance around in a game. It's just like, man, this isn't new. No, it's not. It was, oh, I remember being so celebrated. They were like, this game is so full of human spirit. I will say, like, that game came out at the perfect time when everybody was really insecure about storytelling in video games. Uh, and um, wanted to latch on to, like, whatever they could see as being super duper great as a story because that was the same year last of us came out too and then everybody's just calling it citizen kane of uh video <laughs> games now to be fair the last of us is strong um whereas bioshock infinite is yeah the last of us's story is much better than infinite's like absolutely um mm -hmm. uh someone said sitch thinks infinite is great you see political youtubers have very bad media takes okay that's just what we've learned right. <laughs> that works um Meme, did you know that England is your city? Sure, he was happy to find that out. 
Uh, EFAB is a terrible show. The orphan redemption arc was ignored and the narrative of subsequent streams suffers irreparably as a result. We addressed the fact that it was about an orphan. I'm pretty sure. You mentioned the the blood and the bone marrow. Like, I, I think that's misrepresentation. This just says big equals little. So, um, alright. Batman is grappling up the staircase and it's crowded and the cops are shooting at him. No one brings that up. I'm surprised Rags didn't. Hi, Rags. Hello. He's bulletproof. Sorry, see that? So... When he's uh, grappling up the, the stairs, he's getting shot at, but it's like, yeah, but the it comes to the yeah, general but, complaint that he's just fully bulletproof. I guess, or something. That's the thing, I, I, I don't it. like it. Um, I don't like but it like, it's too, He's not bulletproof enough to be like, oh, all of those bullets. Also, I think it's interesting that they do shoot at him like that, considering where he is and it's a staircase and you don't know. Yeah, that's true. But it was like the club, isn't it? it well, it's... What, wait, which what, are we talking about when he's escaping the cops? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just multiple floors of a of a, of the the building that they're in. Yeah, but so I thought the point you were making was uh, it's interesting how willing they are to shoot at him as he's going up there when they could easily tag anybody at that point who's on the staircase. Yes, yes. Um. Both both the cops in the stairwell and the um, the essentially the security at the club. Seem very happy to just sh just fire away, and then yeah, I just we have a general complaint about his his body armor is um, pretty intense sci-fi. To be honest with you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, he really really acts as if it will work. He he does the Mandalorian thing where yeah. he acts as if he doesn't have like half of his body that isn't covered uh covered covered. Uh, he relies on it 100% to protect him. He's acting as if he is invulnerable, which is not... Uh, was that he's, little yeah, bat... He... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Uh, was the little bat real? Uh, animal abuse. I, I assume it was CGI. This, the bat was CGI, yes. It was a little distracting. Because it, it didn't was. need to be... C it didn't need to be CGI? Um, you could have just put a bat in there because it just hangs out in the cage. It doesn't do anything. I don't know. You can't have it go all scary and stuff. There's a couple you know, risks there. Yeah, like if it tried to, are they common like movie trained bats? Is that a thing? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Like I'm sure. Where well, I'm the, sure you can get docile bats. And considering that um, his whole hand glove is totally covered, I think that would have been totally fine if they had a real bat in there. Um. I figured that while they were doing it, they probably just thought it would be easier to to have it not be real. And this, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of things I'm not aware of for filmmaking rules that might prevent you from having a yeah. real bat. Um, Mola, you gay? All right. Just says can't wait to see. I, I assume they're talking about the movie. Wow, I metaphorically just finished this movie about five minutes ago. I am literally the luckiest person on Earth to be able to go straight into this EFAP afterwards. Ah, hope you enjoyed both experiences. Uh, looks like Disney wants to adapt the Star Wars novel Heir to the Empire as a film for Disney+. Plus. See Darth Angelus, fan adaption, adaptation for a quick catch-up. Darth Angelus. Darth Angelus. Latin for angel. That's Darth the one. Angel. Um, Wings quote of the day. I gained 40 pounds since I started drinking soda again. Soda is the devil. I could try sugar-free soda. I need to try Coke Zero or something. Ugh. <laughs> Dry water. Dude, imagine the gaining tea. 40 pounds and the only change you made was drinking soda. Like, not that that's not a thing, but... Wow. How yeah, much calm down with the soda. I wonder how much you drink. Jeez. 40 pounds. Gaining 40 pounds is... Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think I could do that if I tried. Fucking hell. Um, bonus. All these up-and-coming YouTubers that are at the top of the world right now, remember, I'm your future. You're welcome. <laughs> what? 
Oh, God, that's like a <laughs> super villain quote. <laughs> I'm your future. I am your future. No, you're special. <laughs> you're a very special person, Wings. You are um, what we call atypical of the human experience. Gonna watch this later. I'm at work right now. I think it would have made more sense to make the Riddler anarchy, though, if you guys know that guy. No. Um, is there a character oh, called Anarchy? Like, with A-N-A-R-K-Y? I assume so. That sounds so. like it would be a Batman villain. Yeah, but I don't, um, I don't know anything about him. I yeah, assume no, I that know. he, um, likes Anarchy, I assume. I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's a really good bet, actually. Yeah, I would, um, just going off some context clues, I'm gonna assume that's what it's about. Doesn't like the police. Total, total, full, no rules, no, you know, no masters, no establishment kind of thing. He's apparently in uh, the comics and the Arkham game, Arkham Origins. All right. Oh, I did play Arkham Origins, so I'm not sure why I forgot him. Hmm. Uh, recently got to Once More With Feeling, and now it's my favorite episode. Which is your favorite song? Uh, uh, we're not going to talk about that right now, I think. Well, we can probably do it with without spoiling anything. The clue for mine would be the duet. I think there's only one. Uh, in the in the. Oh, then uh, that would be mine as well. Um, but there's there's a Wait, whole no, bunch. Sorry, oh, I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. I really like the Mister Mrs. one. That's not in that episode. Well, wait. Oh, well, Depends on which no, one you're the, talking about. It was. I was talking about the uh, the one that was in the episode. I, Not I, the other one. Yeah. Oh, I, wait, I'm... Now mix them up in my brain. <laughs> cross wires. Yeah. Because you're right. The the Mister and Mrs. one was d a different episode. Well. Uh, and when it's will early, the? All right. Jeez. When will the coverage for that be? Uh, no promises on when it will be, but eventually. Also, hi, Rex. Hello! 2022 versus Batman vs. Superman. Compare Batman group fights. Hi, Rex. Hello to you. Um, Compare Batman group Well, we only group have one fight. Batman group fight in, uh, in Batman vs. enough, they're both uh, bulletproof, right? They both, yes. Batman and Superman? No, 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 both Batmans. Both the Batman. Um, so, uh, what do I think? I mean, the warehouse melee fight, we, we were pretty chill with that, right? We were okay with it. I, like I was it. pretty chill with it. I think it was definitely, was it the high point of that whole movie? Possibly. Well, well yeah. Because I think scouring my brain and the memories that I held of that movie... I think that's the high point of the whole film? Well, no, I mean, the high point was obviously when Batman shot the grapple into that car and dragged it around and threw it at the other car. That was that was really cool. <laughs> I remember when I saw that in the theater, I was like, I was, I was so impressed and not baffled. <laughs> I was so baffled when that happened. It's like, wait, what are we doing? It's pretty funny, though. That uh, meme. Obviously, the fight he has with Superman is garbage. Uh, oh, yeah. But then 2022, we got the opening fight. It's pretty dang good. Cool. The club yeah. fight is like, there's a couple of bits that I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm. um, the Riddler henchman fight is just, there's, there's probably too much mm in there. Yeah, there's yeah. Where's way too much mm. It, it gets a little. Uh, uh, yeah. When they when they hang off the on their little cords, I guess they're just out of the fight and done. Yeah, and they just, yeah. or it's over with. So the I don't know if if I was to pick one, it probably would be the Batman. It's just a that's not like a huge celebration of the choreography in Batman. Uh, the Batman. Of all the fights, do you think the the warehouse fight is the best of the two movies? Um, I don't know if I'd say that. Hmm. Or would the first Batman, first fight in the Batman be? Okay, so what something I like about the warehouse one is that there's a lot of use of his gadgets. Definitely, mm -hmm. it's the cool part of it. Yeah, 
He's using them little things to explode it. The the uh the guns, he's using his batarang grappling hook, yeah, he is using his gadgets, which is cool. Um and he does get hurt, like he doesn't win it effortlessly. Yeah, doesn't he get mm -hmm. shot by someone and he's like Gah! There's also Gah! when he has to block like three or four people doing a bunch of knife swings at him, so Hmm. Um, maybe then. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'd have to. F I might be forgetting some from the Batman. I'm not, even, I'm not even sure at this point. Well, there was the hallway one with all of the flashing. That was mm. visually cool. But I don't know it about was visually the cool, logistics but... of it all. All of the yeah. bullets ricocheting into his face. <laughs> well, not, not to mention just his that, approach. Look cool. Yeah, right. The easy fix was throw it a smoke bomb. That would that would have been it. It would have been yeah. We talked about or I, uh, I mentioned. Here's what you should do, and it would have looked cool, and it would have been more believable, and Man, it would have been more gadget. You know? Flashes of light where you can just see him in there in that smoke, but he keeps moving, you know, in different areas. Like there's loads of visually cool things you could have done, and then also make it so that wow. he doesn't look like he's kind of an idiot. Um. Because it's one thing to say, well, they're mainly going to hit center of mass, so they won't, they will hit him in his armor. And it's like, yeah, but what, like, I mean, from his POV, what, what if, if they didn't? Yeah, what if one bullet doesn't? He's dead. That's just not a very good yeah. idea. That's all. Uh, guys, I really appreciate this plot and character breakdown after all, but get to the point already. Does Batman or... Does he not constantly look like he's in considerable constipation, pain, and or sparkle? I must know. No. He's, he's, no, he he's sad a lot. <laughs> no. He's sad, for sure. He's a sad boy. He's gone, he's gone through a bunch, yeah. Um, Rags getting his joke sandbagged is my lifeblood. Oh, well. That means they win either way. They either laugh with or they laugh at. Well, it's a tough life, the life of the entertainer. Mm -hmm. I feel um, like I feel like I feel like um, Joker Arthur Fleck. I feel like him at the comedy club. <laughs> Except my jokes are funny. His jokes were funny. That's the, his remember jokes were, yeah, his yeah. opening joke was like not even that bad. It's just it's just not landing. That's all. Delivery probably wasn't that great. The, well, the, funnily enough, I I feel like the, the genuinely. The, do you remember the first one? He basically says like, um, uh, every time when I was a kid, I used to tell everybody that uh, I wanted to be a comedian, and they would just laugh at me. Well, who's laughing now? The whole audience is silent. <laughs> like I, I feel like that's great. Back in nineteen. 81 or 70 whatever then mm. back when that you know that was probably a, a fresh new joke back then oh yeah that should have taken the comedy world by storm he should have been hyper popular of his own show um to be fair the pentagon got hacked because someone found a usb outside and plugged it in okay i'm not saying it's impossible for someone to do that it's just it's interesting to see how the plot would have gone had um uh, gordon been like well, we got to plug this in on a private server or, pro uh, you know, a, a local thing so it doesn't fuck anything up. Yeah, the fact that it could happen in real life it doesn't mean that, oh, it, that means it's just an excuse for any character to do that to facilitate a plot in a fictional story. Like, yeah, yeah like, um, it could happen, but you, you think Gordon would be a bit more... And the same for Riddler. It's like, is, is it dependent on him putting it into a laptop with an internet connection then? And he's like, yes. Not something you, you like, rely on. Hmm. You know, maybe, uh, maybe we should have another. And I think Fringy said that. It's like, well, he could have released them himself anyway. And it's like, he, he could. Um, but I think, he, as, as mentioned, he wanted it to come from a more credible email, maybe. Um, but th there, there are wow. things to change it, you know. And maybe it was there's a contingency plan of that. So, which movie blob video would you rather watch? The subtextual meta narrative of the Batman or the meta textual sub narrative of Lord of the Rings? Whichever one's shorter. I find it incredibly amusing that that is. He. Big words. Well, I don't even you know, know if they're real. I, I don't know if that's a joke or not. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's real, but I will say I don't like the so the phrase metatextual sub narrative. I almost feel like those are pulling in opposite directions and you land up just with A the movie bit, itself. Right? You know, meta would be broad beyond the film and subtext or Feels subtextual like narrative. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting confused mixed wise. But the big so. words. It's yeah, because sub yeah. is like it's it's buried deep inside, and meta is like no, it's outside of the material. His tweets are so long, like his sentences, they just keep going. <laughs> Why must you, you speak? Know? Well, just, I don't know. Sentences weren't meant to be that long. <laughs> like they really weren't. You can, you can, hmm. but I mean, it's like reading legislation at that point, which where like, but that's there's a reason why legislation is written the way that it is. You don't have to do that with your tweets, okay? It's okay to put in a full stop every now and then. How's it going, crew? I'm excited to see this one, but I'm watching the movie tonight. I'll catch all in the upload. Happy streaming, and hi, Rags. Hello to you! I'm doing hi. good. Yeah, things are things, things good. We're doing a catch-up. Lots of things been been watched and reviewed, played and reviewed, videos completed. You know, it's, it's all dandy. How are you guys doing? I'm doing all right. Ooh. I don't know yet. I just woke up. We'll see. Oh, right. Metal is one hundred. Metal is one thousand percent lying. Yeah. Oh boy. Must be when he was talking about how he's a good person. Something. During the interrogation scene, someone was sleeping and had their snores timed perfectly, so when neither character was talking, he snored. Everyone was giggling. <laughs> <laughs> that would annoy the fuck out of me. Yeah, that As would actually happened me with uh, Moonfall, that guy who was snoring. Oh, I'd be tempted to be like, you gotta wake up, buddy. You can't be doing this I was really close. Ooh, I, like, I got up, I was really close to doing it. But he quieted down for whatever reason, his snores just became very quiet. He noticed the sheeb standing up on all four pause and then he was like oh no i don't want to deal with that I got to the so, end of the aisle i stood up and i went to the end of the aisle i was so close to doing it i was like uh. uh what do you think of batman's physique compared to other batman uh he looks more like a fighter in this which i feel is a good change of pace he doesn't he's, he's not like he's very fit but he's not like buff he's lean is what i would say he's lean um, yeah yeah and he's he lean but he's muscled we can see all the scars. Batfleck is the one that, to me, seemed like the fucking big brawler bro. He's Chungus. Yeah. He, is, yeah. Uh, he, is, he is a Chungus Batman. And I think both work. Uh, I, I yeah, kind of like them yeah. both ways. It's not like he needs to be a particular way. I mean, he can't be He can't be neither if he's super lean, but he's just not... doesn't have any muscles well, or no tone why, to him. There's no reason why Batfleck, Batman... Uh, bat, uh, that was redundant. Why Batfleck couldn't have been great just with better writers at the helm, <laughs> like better stories. Which honestly is kind of cool, that but been... that seems to have been something that most people agree on. Like you'd think, I'm yeah, glad I liked him as a Batman. That. I'm well, glad that people actually agree that it wasn't his fault. Yeah, because we I got such a too. prejudice to his casting. And so you'd think, yeah. like, oh, this will be an easy one. People will just say it's his fault, even though it's clearly not. It's like, no, most people seem to agree that he's, he's a fine well, choice. I think. The reaction to Robert Patterson being cast being not that negative at first is indicative of the fact that people had learned a lesson from Ben Affleck. Well, like, he keeps going back, right? Realize, Heath Ledger like, is one of the early ones. Yeah, where people are starting to realize more and more, it's like, oh, actually, chill. Like, just wait and see like <laughs> how they are in the film. Give them a chance. Um, I love that the latest Scream called out Star Wars for its terrible writing, even calling out Ryan by name, but ended up being shitty itself. I don't think that's what happened in that movie from what other people have told me. Um, I doubt it. What happens is the killers in that movie are disgruntled, uh, it's not Scream, it's like Stab. In their in-universe series of horror movies are called Stab. Mm -hmm. And the new stab is written and directed by Ryan Johnson, and loads of fans hate it in the movie. And then you, two fans it, wait, sorry, become are you, are psycho murderers. Taking the piss? Nope, that's all true. Nope, that's it's uh, that's in the movie. Now, hearing nope, that, does that sound like it's making fun of Ryan, or does it sound like it's making fun of other people? You are joking, right? 
We don't joke this, on this program. We've never made a joke. Film has a film that is written and directed by Ryan Johnson him specifically. In Ryan the Johnson. universe, yeah. And people didn't like it, and then that inspires two people to kill people. Man. Like, holy shit. So, um, the idea you think that's making fun of Ryan, like, I guess I'd have to see it to tell you uh, definitively, but from what I've heard from other people, it's not quite, uh, not quite making fun of Ryan, I don't think. Man. Yeah, it's vindicating him. I would go as far as saying, yeah, it's that he made a movie and then crazy people had a reaction. And it's like, right, okay. People don't understand his genius. Um, I hope it enters the EFAP movies list. One and two are good. I would like to go through the Scream series. I think there are five of them now. Uh, especially because the first two are pretty good from what I remember, yeah. Just like there are five Scorpion Kings, it's true. Yes. Uh, is this supposed to be Alfred Boy? Yes. And I hate Alfred, Alfred Boy. Boy. Where's Batman? Where's Bat Boy? Watch this with a butt of mine. I like the movie, although I'm fighting with whether to give it a 7.5 or an 8. I was invested in the story and loved the detective parts, but the last act was disappointing. Well, I'm glad you had fun with it, but yeah, seems that a lot of people take issue with the third act. Yeah. Which doesn't surprise me. It does feel like if you're just a normal person watching it, it feels not, it, it just feels like it's sort of, it's stuttery. And pacing-wise, it's just odd. It, it, you know, I can see how people might be able to notice it without maybe being able to put it into words. There's just something off about it. I think that if the the third act was being revealed to us, like the, the plan of the Riddler, as he's picking up more notes, looking at more things, and it's like the Riddler has ordered several people to individually kill all of the highest ranking like members of each institution in Gotham, we'd be like, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Telling us he's about to flood Gotham is like, oh. Oh. Okay. That seems like a thing that I wouldn't expect at all, but... All right. Yeah. Uh, thank God we're finally finished with Arcane. Now we can finally get back to what's actually good and important. Morley's Iron Man 3 Unbridled Praise. That is nice. never gonna happen. <laughs> but all right. You just, need to watch it a, you just need to watch no, it a No, that's time. never gonna happen. Okay. I'm surprised you're surprised. I figured it might. Um, well, I don't like, like Iron Man 3, so... Yeah, what? maybe... Oh, sorry, I thought Unbridled Rage. Wait, is it, or did they say Unbridled Praise? And I just they, made they a rage in my head. They indeed did, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I done the done flume, but a, a bit of rage. Well, I wouldn't deny the opportunity to do something like that. Yeah. Iron Man 3 was okay, could be worse. No, it's terrible. Look, don't ban him mods, okay? You don't have to ban him. <laughs> anyway. Really bad. Any plans to watch Bullet Train? Oh. Uh, I've seen the trailer for it. It looks bizarre. There's bullet like a, Train? Yeah, there's like a briefcase on a train that's important, and then a whole bunch of different people from all over the world are on the train trying to get that briefcase, and they all start having big fights with each other. It's directed by one of the John Wick directors, right? Yeah, it looks like it could be cool. I don't know. I'm Brad Pitt. Um, this might sound random, but does anyone else think that Capital O sounds like logic Um, I don't think they mm, sound the same. Not really, no. I, um, I hear such a difference that I can't even, like, very, very different to me, but I uh, yeah, guess I can I, understand. It's not, like, insane. It's not like saying, oh, Gilbert Gottfried and Gal Gadot. Oh, they both have GG names. Uh, but it's like saying they sound uh, similar. And I'm like, no. They sound similar to me. Gilbert and Gal. That's definitely fair. Um, what scene was closest to Joker? What, what scene was closest to Joker? I don't understand the question. Well, so, I think maybe what scene in the Batman do you think is closest to uh, the Joker movie? The film Joker? Well, so nah, this is it. The, nah. I thought there was two questions to answer, but maybe the second question is a way of contextualizing the first. What scene was closest to Joker, which contradicted? I, I don't understand now. <laughs> do you think they're asking yeah. 
what scene matches the idea of it being in the same universe the best, and which contradicts? Uh, hmm. I th hmm. Hmm. I feel like my read it one more time. Oh, well, I posted it. It's it's been posted there for you to oh, read it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what's even closest to Joker? Which contradicted? Um, I guess which is the closest and which is the most different? Yeah, I suppose is what they're they're. I assume that's what they mean based on my reading of that. So, which scene is the closest? Hmm. Well, it'll probably not be a fight scene, because Joker's no fighter, and there's not really fighting in that movie. Um, it's more maybe a, a scene where he maybe comes to... A, a scene where both characters maybe come to terms with something that's wrong with them. Uh, or that they, yeah, I guess, so, oh, maybe this is our contradiction, right? So, when Joker learns that there's something wrong with him, he embraces it instead of adjusts his behavior, right? He, he, he leans fully into it. He's been Whereas pushed Batman to, doesn't. exactly, right? So, when Batman learns about the whole vengeance thing and maybe be more hopeful, he does that, right? He changes himself a bit to yeah. you know make the world around him better whereas joker's like fuck the world around me i'm gonna go even further down this mental spiral that i'm in and i'm gonna embrace it so maybe that's your contradiction mm -hmm. and as for so, like if they exist in the same world the big contradiction is the time doesn't add up uh thomas wayne died in, the, in like the early 2000s not the early 1980s and not that it also robert patterson isn't old enough <laughs> And it wouldn't matter too much, but obviously the, the Thomas Waynes of different actors completely, but that wouldn't yes. have been necessary to do, but it is the case. No, but, well, because Thomas Wayne's quite an uh, important character in our, in our Joker. Yes. Um, it, is, uh, it, it really does feel like at this point, though, just think about the Joker exists, the Batman exists, it's like, man, DC and Suicide Squad, it's like, oh boy. What is this? More reason to be interested in what you're doing? <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Um, if that really is Joker so in Arkham cell next to Riddler, he doesn't seem to be walking Phoenix's Joker. He's definitely not. No, he's, no, it's, it's he's not clearly him. not. No. Barry Keegan? That's his name? Well, not even just different actor, but it's him, not um, the same character. No, not the same person, clearly. What would be yeah, your guy? Again, is an eighty years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you you never know. Makeup and CGI these days. Incredible. Yeah, true. Incredible. True. What would be your guys' best supervillain name? Mine would be Mister Not Nice, simply because it can be applied to a lot of tones and themes. I mean, you can make that work. Uh, yeah. I thought you were memeing for a moment there, though. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> best supervillain? Do you mean? Um, out of the ones we've had so far, or do you mean like our own one? Because, uh, um, what's like one of the best villain names, do you guys reckon? One of the best villain, like, uh, we're talking like real names, not Who like superhero names? I, uh, I'm guessing fiction. Uh, I think they said super villain, I mean, so yeah. Okay, because I, I could say like Adolf Hitler. You think that's a good name? No, uh, for a villain? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Good name Sauron for a villain is a, or a Sauron a is a cool name. Sauron is pretty class, yeah. That's top top yeah. notch. Um Sauron. You guys aren't choosing Steppenwolf? Uh no. No, no? actually, no. Cuz it sounds like a Isn't that um, a band or something? Probably. I guess um Hades Hades isn't like quite the bad guy in like uh in in Greek mythology, but Hades is a cool name. Yeah, Steppenwolf, <laughs> they did a song Chaos. Born to be Wild. Yeah. Uh, Magneto is cool. I find, uh, Magneto's so, pretty good. Or, or maybe is Magneto cool because it is Magneto. I was gonna say, I, I feel like my appreciation <laughs> of Magneto comes from I love the portrayal. Like, how much comes from the yeah. name? It's like, uh, Right, right. 
Well, I, just the character as a template. I think it's awesome just to control to control like uh, magnetic fields and manipulate metal. Yeah. It's like, damn, that is a really good like super villain power to have. Like, I don't know what exactly the difference is, but I think Sauron is awesome and Voldemort is kind of eh. Voldemort uh, sounds like it's trying too hard to be an evil name. I think so. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Whereas I, Sauron is uh, a little bit understated in uh in its evilness. It's just it's quick. It's to the point. Oh, the Bal. But the Balrog's not really a villain. It's more just like a, a creature. Opposing it's just creature doing his thing. Yeah. Way. <laughs> I guess. Um, there are a lot of great names for things in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I mean, what about Ming I, the Merciless? That's pretty good. So, the thing is, I was going to say Darth Vader. It's like maybe that is again like a product of the character you know? after yeah. all these years. That's um, true. It's sometimes it is tough to tell because you would never in, in an alternate universe where people just never connected with Star Wars. What would we say about you know that? Mm. Um, um, Tarkin. I think that's a cool name. Tarkin's Tarkin. A cool name. Yeah, I feel like that could go either way too. Like it feels like a real well, name. Thrawn, right? I, Thrawn is kind of a cool name, and it feels villainy enough for some reason. Yeah, Thrawn, Sauron, Thrawn. Yeah, there's there's kind of a similarity in that. I guess that sort of a sound there. Um, um, I don't know why I'm not pulling more from comics though. I'm because I'm thinking of Batman's Rogues Gallery, and I'm thinking who there has a. I I like Rachel Ghoul. Hmm. Because he has the word Ghoul in his name. It might be though. Ghoul that's the problem. Because you because yeah. you hear ghoul and it's like oh that's like a zombie creature that's bad ghouls are bad. I love well, I think, uh, uh, I think... the Witch King of Angmar. It sounds so yeah, fucking the, cool. <laughs> Witch King is great. Witch King is. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What about um? What about the Scooby Doo villain, the Minor Forty Nine er? I remember that. <laughs> Minor Forty Nine er. Uh, maybe maybe chat's got some suggestions today. Palpatine, I like Palpatine. I Palpatine, a, yeah, because it could go either way. It's like it's like Denethor, right? Denethor is a villain, but the name is like, oh, that's a person. Oh, you know, and of course, a, a recent one, Silco. Silco. Yeah, I like that. I like the name Silco as well, because it because uh. it's not an evil name. It's just it seems like a name that could just belong to someone. And that guy's a dick. Because most yeah. of that word is silk, which is soft and pleasant. And then O, which is a letter. So, silk. King Ghidorah. Ghidorah sounds kind of neat, but I wonder if that's just because I'm less familiar with the language. or I wonder about that with the Lord of the Rings names. Some oh, of them, anyway. Maybe what, maybe what people could do is they could post names that we're not familiar with, and then we'd have to guess if they're a villain or a hero. Maybe that would be something. Maybe if someone, if someone wants to maybe do that for later, and then maybe at the end of the stream, if you give us a list of something, maybe that we could come back and we could see if we could, you know, hear the evilness or the goodness in the name, you know, something like that. What about Bill from the famous Kill Bill? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just hmm there is okay so you have like we have warhammer right we we have um corn k h o r n e who's uh, the the blood god right uh he's the the chaos god of you know death well, and all that sort of thing, violence you know what i'm now yeah. thinking of ratchet and clank dr nefarious that's a pretty cool ah, that's true <laughs> that's yeah. a pretty cool villain name straight to the point uh chairman drac See, at that point, if we were allowing Dr. Nefarious as a good one, then I'd just be like, I don't think there's any system well, to yeah. this at all, is so, there? The reason, the reason why Dr. Nefarious is cool to me is because of the character, <laughs> not, not because of the name. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Drek, though? I don't know, Drek. That feels like a... Drek. Like a Drek. Damn, I don't like... You know, Drek, you're a meanie. Um, the proto-pet. <laughs> well, I guess he counts as a villain. Captain Quark. But then he becomes a good guy, so... Well, not a good guy, but more of, like, a anti-hero. Do you remember... And now all of them, so... So, you guys, have you, you guys have seen Treasure Planet, right? Yes. Yeah. So, you remember the spider guy? You know what his name what was? What was his name? I can't remember it. His name was Scroop. Scroop. Oh, Scroop. why am I thinking of villains from uh, Disney movies? Scar? Well, 
<laughs> Again, that might just be. You guys remember the spider in name, no. Harry Potter? Oh, he was called. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, let me think. No, oh, the I, I have no idea. Oh, what was the name of? The... I have a clue. Oh, you can wait, ask wait, 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 wait. Yeah, um, because I'm trying to think. Because Hagrid says the name of it, so I'm trying Hagrid? to think. Hag Hagrid. 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 Hagrid at Hogwarts. Hagrid is a he went went to class. Then he got expelled. Casting spells. Oh, that's great! If you cast the wrong spells, you get expelled. Nice. Nice. Do you want the clue? J.K. Rowling's a fucking genius, except for that time travel thing. Um, oh, yeah. I, this is See, he, this is one of the names that you're going to say it, and I'm going to go, of course Oh, I'm not going to... I'm trying to think about but how yeah, I will give clue. you this clue. Um, um, it's... Yeah, go it's ahead and not, give me It's not... Clue. I think it's a... It's, I can... Uh... Let's call, let's say this clue comes in three parts, right? I'll be vague and then less vague and then less vague. So we'll start with Lord of the Rings is technically a clue as to the name of this thing. But I would like to go to tier two already because I don't want you to get confused. Specifically, mm -hmm. the ranger from the north. Hmm. Shere Khan is a cool name for a villain. It is. Uh... Oh. oh, just go ahead and tell me. I just, I can't. It's been so, right, well, it the, has been so many years the since The biggest I clue I, I will give before we give it away is um, Aragorn. Yeah, Aragorn is what I was thinking as the ranger from the north. It's, it's, it's pretty much that. <laughs> it's just only a little bit different. Is it like, um, uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I can't remember. I just it's can't remember. Aragog. Aragog. That's it. Aragog. That's the one. I have. I could not tell you the year that I last saw a Harry Potter movie or read the books. I guess because I read them as they came out. When I was but a wee lad. Um, I'm pretty sure oh, I was. I never forget that spider because I was just like, "How the fuck is this happening? Dr. What is York this? Quartet. We're at a school for very young children. There's just this horrifying monster in the local forest." That why eats would children. anyone? Why would anyone send their child to this school? Oh my yeah. god! Shang, Shang Tsung. That was. I was thinking about because I thought of Shao Kahn first. I'm like, wait, Shao Kahn. But also, I like Shao Kahn. And yeah, Shang Tsung. Shao Kahn. Yeah, because Kahn. Cool I think it's. You what's that word? Uh, What's the name of that robot in Killer Instinct? The really cool robot. Oh, I, Fol is it Folgor? That's his name, right? That's that's cool. Folgor. Uh, Killer yeah. Instinct. I, I, I think it's Folgor. Folgor is the robot. Um, it is. Yeah, Folgor. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Shang Tsung, isn't it? It's pronounced that way in all the games. I thought it was Shang Tsung. Definitely sounds new to me to hear Shang Tsung. Are you not basing that off Shang Chi? Yeah, but I'm guessing that might just I. Am I wrong? Is it Shang Tsung or is it Shang Tsung? Well, I, like I said, I'm going by... I thought you went pronounced by how it. it's pronounced in the games for stuff like this. Yeah, well that's what I'm saying. I might be misremembering. Um, oh. I think the guy says Shang Tsung. Everybody okay, Shang Tsung. Yeah. Good night. Yeah, people, okay. Well, there you go. Um... Falcone. Sub Zero sounds cool. I think Scorpion sounds cooler, but I do prefer. I actually, I'm not sure who I prefer out of Scorpion and Sub Zero. They're both cool. In terms of names, or uh, just characters in general. I can't. the The only I only know them from the two Mortal Kombat movies, and in have, one have of those movies, no, no, no. But both I can tell you this: trip. in one yeah. of those Mortal Kombat movies, they are a little bit cooler. <laughs> Than the oh, other. a little bit cooler. Is that right? Dude, I can't wait for us to do. Uh, <laughs> we'll be doing the two, the two sequels when the deck, the deck, new one comes yeah. out. Um, um we got... technically Sub Zero is cooler. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Noob Cybot. Um, I couldn't tell yeah. you if that was a good or bad guy. If I heard Noob Cybot. Well, it's just uh, uh Boone and um. I mean, Man, I'm I feel like this applies to a lot of names, like Terrence. Is yeah. that a good guy or a bad guy? Oh, of course. People. Someone's just put one in chat. Even... Cthulhu. Cthulhu is an awesome name. That is a pretty cool name, yeah. Yeah. We have, uh, we get back to Warhammer, we have Nurgle, right? Mm. Okay, yeah. Nurgle's, he's no good. Nurgle. 
Camabog, Pazuzu, and Bagul. I feel like that's literally Pazuzu. like Pazuzu's lame. Pazuzu. Bagul is like, eh, and then Camabog yeah, well, sounds the best like, one, I reckon. Well, we're going back. Remember, Bagul has ghoul in it. it. Does see, ghoul is like it's your free ticket to evil name if you have ghoul in it. Well, yeah, Nazgul. Um, Nazgul, yeah. Oh, Nazgul is fucking. Oh, I love it. Nazgul. What a great name. Because yeah, it Nazgul doesn't. Awesome. A lot of these names don't roll off the tongue. Nazgul. You know, it's like it, I think it's that clearly... might be what makes it harder. It's like yeah, Cthulhu. It's like there's something weird about just that word that makes it kind of cool. Uh, the Knights of Ren. Stop it. The Knights of Ren. <laughs> well, Kylo Ren, right? Ren. I wonder Kylo if Kylo Ren's Ren cool. were a great character. We would consider the name strong. I, I don't think the name is strong. The name's fine. Yeah, I'm. I think it's strong. I, I, I think Kylo Ren is cool. It's just the character. It's nothing real. Wow. No, I like Kylo more strong. than He's Ren. Everything. Because I hear Ren and I think of the little bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's what makes it work. You've got this crazy, scary name. It's the little little bird name. Yeah. Jeb. Jeb. Well, Jeb, Jeb is the best. Yeah, we know that. Jeb. Yeah. John Ellis, push, push. Falcone not investigating Selena after finding out Annika knew and Riddler not using bombs near the arena seemed a bit odd. Thoughts? Thanks, y'all. Bombs near the arena? Are we suggesting that he could have placed bombs there to just wipe out everybody in the arena? Uh, I suppose he could have done that. But I, I guess it depends on what is goal is here I don't, I don't know i don't know any at that point you know it's hard to comment on a lot of it yeah uh because it's a strange what ending anymore as for falcone or falcone not investigating selena that's probably he a good point know, right? well oh uh, uh, wait he should know what about that he, yeah right yeah <sighs> fuck we spent a lot of time trying to figure out that phone shit man Oof. it's because it's really confusing yeah uh do you guys typically get Oh, how do you guys typically get movie footage or watch movies together? Is it Discord or do you download certain movies? Did you remember this movie? Did you remember this movie? Batman? I remember this. I watched, this, yeah, I I watched this Batman movie. twice, which helps with remembering it. Yeah, we basically rely on everybody to be uh, keeping an eye on everybody. You know, like, if I said, like, oh, I can't believe fucking Catwoman killed Falcone afterwards. And then you guys would be like, wait, what? And I go, that's what, she's the one that shot in that scene, right? And they'd be like, no. That sort of shit. Um, I was talking about how Wikipedia is your friend. Wikipedia has plot synopsis that you can rely on mm -hmm. as well. I can oh, help. that is true. Um, subscribe to a lot of streaming services. So. Yeah. Uh, and. Not. Yeah, we, uh, we typically sync, record. The only awkward part being volume levels can be obstructive, as you may have seen in some EFAT movies, but usually works mm -hmm. out. Wow, Moodle isn't included in the title. Bad friend. To be fair, I've almost stopped including a couple of people who turn up a lot, because at this point it just it's just like, there they are again. Those fuckers. Jay, uh, I didn't put in the title for any of the Boba Fett videos, so it's just like, I mean, Jay's just gonna be here, you know? Yeah, close enough to EFAP now mm -hmm. that he's just more fucking normal. weirdo, am I right? Yeah, that is true. In political news, with Russia invading Ukraine, other countries might do the same, like Germany to Great Britain, Great Britain to US, and Emus to Australia. I don't know. They've been they've been talking about it for so long. I don't think the Emus have the balls. That's that's my take. What do you think, Fringy? I think that's just the threat that you know. I'm surprised. I I don't know. It's just developing situation, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, we want to keep make sure the emus aren't aren't too upset by anything, but got to apply some sanctions here and there. Uh, I feel like it's difficult to judge a story objectively when the level of inference one can use to patch a script is really subjective and high ranks. Hello. But it doesn't mean you can't try. Um, and I think that we all have a an expectation of what would be reasonable. Uh, and, and you just discussed that. Obviously, the, the a specific detail being, um, let's say, good or bad, it, it really can be difficult. Um, a lot of the time you'll find that the biggest arguments we've had on, on EFAP with using the system is a character's motivation as to whether or not they would commit to an action, because it's yeah. oftentimes incredibly hard to be definitive on that. However, 
I don't think that means we throw the baby out with the bathwater, as they say. We simply concede that this one maybe is too hard to figure out with the information we have, and we appeal to, like, a, a sense of blurriness and that that can get the... It's funny how, I think we talked about this before, but how much... Oftentimes, uh, the, the comparison for the Batman, I think, would be the Riddler gets into the place, um, and if they didn't show us anything for how, that's fine. Because it's just, there's more than reasonable to infer that he can do that. And if someone said, no, it's not, because Thomas Wayne would have security and this is going to be a difficult place to break into or something like that, I would then probably appeal to Riddler's clearly planned a lot of this for many years, that he's got, a, he's tech savvy to some degree, he's aware of security. Like, why can't we infer that this is something he's able to do without seeing how he did it? Meanwhile, they show us Batman blowing in through the ceiling, and it's like, man, you shouldn't have shown us any of that. You didn't need to at all. Nobody's going to question how does Batman get into a place. Um, despite the fact that that would be a cool thing to show us, I suppose, if it involves a lot of intelligence and gadgetry and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, but someone out there could be like, I don't need to see either of them, and someone else could be like, I need to see both of them, otherwise why the fuck should I believe anything has stakes when you can just teleport wherever he wants? And be like, hmm. And you just gotta um, kind of talk to these people, uh, whoever they may be, in whatever position they may have, and figure out references for other things they've got, and see where they draw lines and stuff. The best you can do. Today is Saturday, March 5th, 2022. Oh my. It's nice. Been a while since then. 11 days. Yeah. I'm betting Batman. Don't date your, don't date your super chats. It makes us feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, I'm betting Batwoman will come up in this discussion by comparison, or Boba Fett. I think they may have. Man, imagine comparing the way Boba Fett looks to how Batman looked. That would be so unfair. Nobody should be allowed to do that. It would be criminal. Thanks for giving long content to watch through quarantine. No problemo. Lord Longbong of Mewbridgeton Abbey, have you given any more thought to a Kong Fap of <coughs> Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'd be a movie fap for the ages. P.S. Hello, Wagsy's scritches for the good boy. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, I think we were interested in uh, checking that before? out. No, I don't think this has been asked before. Huh, alright. About that, um, the Peter Jackson King Kong movie. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know the film. We got a, we got a, le a re relative level of interest to check that out at some point. Maybe we'll try and retrofit an arc of some kind for the Monster Universe, because we've done one of them. Well, you know what? Yeah. We could just rewatch that one. It was me, Metal, and Rags that watched it in like 2018. So right. there's no reason not because it's a pretty funny bad movie. Like when when Godzilla nukes Boston and everyone's still yeah, alive and well there, hero. it's funny. No one acts like this is one of the most horrific <laughs> things that could ever happen to the crust of the planet. The radiation's so strong it melts skyscrapers. Yeah. <laughs> And we're just like, oh, we can't live on this side of the planet anymore, can we? Yeah, that's, that's about it for this place. For this neck of the woods. Uh, I finished a book. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. It's called Jungle Wars Part 9, The Radical Ways. Totally not Star Wars rewrite. Thank you, uh, Mola Rags and Fringy, for helping me write better. Check it out if you'd like to. Jungle Wars Part 9, The Radical Ways. Jungle Wars Part <laughs> 9 The Radical Ways That sounds like a really interesting title that may just have people very confused but best of luck, of course I'm glad that uh, you're writing stuff go go for it Hello y'all Has anyone seen the movie Kung Fu Hustle? It's an action comedy from 2004 that I'm sure would make y'all laugh, I hope Stay sweet y'all I have seen it, I like it I haven't seen it in a while though Um Maybe that would be a good one for fat movies. I, I think it's a good good chance. Mm -hmm. This one just says, You better not put me in that comic. Adding Mario Fatovic. Fatovic? Fatovic? I, I don't, I don't Fatovic. know. Fatovic. I am out of context for this one. I'm making an EFAP comic. Anyone not want to be in it? Metal said he didn't want to be in it. Did he? Oh no. Yeah. He said he hates being included. <laughs> um, I am fine with being in a comic. Go right ahead. Yeah, I'd love to be in a comic. Go for it. 
like I said, you learn something about yourself every day on the internet. Who knows what I'll learn about my my comic appearance? It could be fun. I like it. I like it. Do you, do you have an opinion, Frankie? Of can you read that one again? Was it to is it okay to include us in a comic? Pretty much. Oh yeah, I don't see the problem with that. Sweet. Speaking of comics, <gasps> Green Seals finished. I finished it. The last Yay. page is up now. You can mm. go read it on the, the Twitters. And now I need to figure out what's next. Um, mm. <laughs> I got a couple ideas. But it's probably not going to be another one with my character. I might hold off on that for a while. I think I want to I do something new. I'm sick of drawing this Plague Doctor. I have to draw it for videos. I have to draw it for <laughs> my comic. Aww. I've drawn it too many times. I need to draw something else. Um... There was definitely some cringe, but I was actually quite satisfied at the end. Um, I, I, I think I can agree with that. I understood uh, what the movie was going for with, with Batman, and I was quite happy that it would be that mm -hmm. bold. Um, I don't think that's hugely bold, but it's bold enough that I'm like, that's, yeah, that's good. I like that. And it's just, um, it is difficult to do the, the, the Homecoming trilogy thing, if, if you will, of, of breaking up a superhero's like core traits and into how they've learned them, but there's elements to them they haven't yet refined. It's, uh, it's, it's, it works, I think. I look forward to whatever they end up doing next. Because a lot of people talk about what the trilogy for this will be, and it's kind of funny to just declare almost that, like, that's how it works, right? Trilogy. And it's like, well... Hey, make more or less, depending on how the story goes, right? Uh, found you a neat animal to check out, the psychedelic frogfish. And hi, meme repository. Let's have a look at this lad, shall we? Ooh. I can see why they named it what they named it. So frogfish. Makes you wonder how it earned the name. Look at that pig. Oh, that's the one with the spines that's super poisonous, right? Is it? I don't know. I think so. I think this is the one, uh... The... Ang are they called... They're member of a certain... The member of the anglerfish family. Um... Let me uh, control F. Play. They often mimic the mi the coloration of poisonous sea slugs or flatworms. Maybe I'm maybe I'm confusing them with something else. Maybe because right. they look Double. similar. I think to something that you could like step on. that has got spines and shit. It's almost like the rockfish. That's it. The rockfish. I saw a couple of suggestions in chat for how to implement variety into the freaky character. One was draw a plague. A couple would draw a plague dentist. I'm not sure what a plague dentist would look like. I feel like they'd just look like a plague doctor, but instead of a uh, stethoscope around their neck, they're wearing, I don't know, like, what, what, I don't know, pliers, I guess, tied to rope. They have like, that just little, in case um, I need to extract someone's tooth. Little tool with a mirror on it, right? Like the little. Yeah, I suppose I'd have that. And then someone said Neo Fringy. I, I don't know what that would be. Is that just like Neo but me? Or like futuristic, like cyberpunk Fringy? And as for drawing me without the mask on, I still haven't figured out the law for that yet. Uh, as far as I can tell, based on everything that I've ever drawn, the Fringy character, that mask just never comes off ever. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> Kind of like Master Chief in a sense that, that, oh, wait, no, that's not true. His helmet's coming off in the show. And I'm sure oh, it's going to no. be great. That show, it's coming out. Oh, that's a week away. That's like so soon. Oh, I'm so nervous about that show. I, uh, they had Sergeant Johnson in the newest trailer. It's like, I, like cool, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know with that show. It feels like I'm not going to enjoy it. Like that, that's going to be a case where it is an adaptation that deviates significantly from uh from what I like about the games, mm -hmm. and so it might just not appeal to me. Um, but may maybe it'll be maybe it'll be okay. Who knows? Jay, Stonefish, 
venomous fish in the world uh that's the one that you step on right and then it shoots all the the crazy stuff under into your foot yeah i think Ooh. that's the rockfish that i was confusing it with because yeah, it's in the same the family one. yeah fast with the opera friggy <laughs> yeah. you could do that for halloween right uh well i remember i because i uh i got asked about it yesterday when i was streaming elden ring <gasps> and i uh I think, ah, oh, damn, what was this? There are a couple of suggestions. I can't, now they elude me. Oh, they're gone. I remember there were suggestions for, like, Halloween versions. I remember I tried a mummy last year, but it didn't work. But now that, I guess, Moon Knight's coming out, there's more of, like, a clearer example of a, of a way that you can make it look super cool. I hope that show's good. I really do. Oh, come on. Just be good. It would be nice if it were good. Yeah, I feel like it has the most chance because it's like the most cordoned off from the rest of the MCU. Probably. Uh, Jay, would you be willing to go over your take on future DC movies you tweeted this morning regarding Superman? It was interesting. Also high rags. Hello! Either of you guys know what that tweet is? Great, I do no. not. Well, I don't think Jay talked about it on stream either, but uh, I'm sure it was something. Uh, hail, Longboy, Rago, and Fringus. Hello. Uh, hail. If I may, I'd like to recommend two YouTube series, The Mandela Catalog and The Walton Files. Both are good rat. Fair enough. I feel like I might have heard of the first one, but I don't know that I... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, congrats on releasing TFA Part 4, but I have a point of disagreement. Shadow the Hedgehog is way cooler and better written than Kylo Ren. Kylo is like Infinite the Jackal. I mean, he, he, you might not be wrong about that. Shadow the Hedgehog may well be better written than Kylo Ren. I don't believe I claimed otherwise in the video, so it's totally I fine. Did. I just no. played some clips of old Shadow, because he's my favorite guy. He's Shadow's a, great. He's a cool I guy, love yeah. me some Shadow. Mm -hmm. He may Shadow well be better written than Kylo Ren. Like, in fact, oh, I don't know why I would assume that it's actually like unlikely. Why would that surprise me? Kylo Ren is totally just all over the place. Shadow is, like, at least more consistent. At least he's edgy consistently. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sh Sonic, you, I, what, what, a, what, a, what is every, in chat, what, what do you think of the odds that Shadow the Hedgehog is gonna be, like, the post-credit reveal at Sonic 2? A film that I am surprisingly excited to watch. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I, I think, I think that's, that's right, that Shadow would be baited. I think he'll be baited. Yeah, like in fact, I would, I would probably bet on it. It seems likely to me that they'd bait Shadow the Hedgehog. Was there a bait at the end of the first one? Yeah, Tails. Uh. They baited Tails at the end of the first one. Um, something that's been cool is it's uh, they they released a new trailer for the film, uh, that is just paying homage to the original box art for Sonic and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two. It's like man, that's that's really cool. Like feel, feels like that. Uh, such a it's such a like a clear turnaround where like at first they did all of the terrible things that are done when you're adapting video games. You're like, well, we can't just pull the video game directly because it's a dumb little video game. We got to make it fit into the real world. Yeah, <laughs> we have to do our Mario and Luigi weird modern day live action thing. Yeah. And it, it, it's uh, and um, the thing that made him famous. Let's we can't do that. Well, I guess it's just that we have entered into. I think Mortal Kombat, the new one, kind of had the trappings too. They like, we need this generic hero man because mm. we can't just have our POV character be Johnny Cage. It needs to be like a generic hero man. Whereas I bet you yeah. the next time around they'll be like, wait, no, people really liked it when yeah. like Scorpion and Sub Zero were fighting. We had like Goro and he was cool before he got beaten easily and like Kano and Reptile. Like, lean into the video games. People like the video games at this point. There's no reason to be afraid of embracing the content from the video games. Yeah. And um, literally, any other character being POV would have been better. Yeah, anybody, because he's not a character. He's whereas shit. Johnny he's Cage just, is a character. Ugh. Like, let's not try and just just lean into that world. You know, lean into. People want to see Johnny Cage for two hours. People want course, to see that. People want to see. Sonic running through some crazy like Sonic the Hedgehog looking stage and fight Knuckles over Chaos Emeralds and like that's what they're gonna do in this new film. It's like oh that's that's neat like you're actually leaning into what people 
are excited, like what people like from the games and look at how it's turned out. That film's probably going to make a bunch of money. And like, even if it doesn't get like rave reviews, all the people be who are going to watch easily. it are probably going to like it. I'm probably going to like it. I like the first one. It's okay. Well, it's actually, I'm pretty sure like if I thought about it, it's, it's not like super strong, but I enjoyed it. And hey, that's, did you that's did nice. you enjoy it more than the Batman? No, <laughs> no, I, I didn't enjoy it more than the Batman. I definitely enjoyed well, Batman more than Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I never. Um, yeah, like I, I imagine that if I think about it, the writing in the first film wasn't. In fact, yeah, I just remember that it was like generic bad as opposed to painful bad. Game of Thrones intro, but with Batman. I guess they're saying like because it goes do 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 so instead it would be like no uh I'm not sure how I'd find a way to make it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go to backwards themes channel on youtube.com and listen. Wow. Today's animal of the day is the kookaburra, an Australian bird-like fringy. Wow. Can he please do an impression? Yeah, I don't, I don't need great. to. I don't need to look it up. All right. I uh, I know the kookaburra very well. It is very. Are quaint. you a kookaburra underneath the mask? No, the beak the beak doesn't match the shape. Um, you'd have to think of something else. Kookaburras have a very straight beak. Well, it could be straight. And then you have the mask over it, but not like it doesn't conform. It could, but right? if if you were going to associate my plague doctor mask with any given bird, I feel like kookaburra is not an apt one. You would need to be thinking about it. A... Then again, if you were trying to you know get us off the trail, maybe that would be a good bird to be. Yeah. Yeah. Why would a raven or a or like a crow wear a raven or crow mask? That just doesn't make any sense. Um, doesn't it? I mean, the mask that oh. a human being wears matches their face to some extent, right? Like, it matches the shape of their head. So all you're arguing arguing there is that humans are just as stupid? I'm not arguing anything about intelligence, I'm just saying. You know, crows and ravens are quite intelligent. I wonder if the kookaburra is are. very intelligent as well. Kookaburras are super chill. They're just, uh, they're very they do happy seem to be. little critters. And they laugh a lot. They go, <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I love. I hope they're having fun. I, I know that there's like a YouTube video of a guy putting a cowboy hat in a kookaburra. So. <laughs> Puts a cowboy hat in a kookaburra. No, on it. Oh, oh. It well, I, I don't. That's ask. what you said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That we just want clarification. The strange thing to do, you know. My face when Batman farts so hard he destroys Gotham. Oh. <laughs> A pooping fart. That was a deleted scene, so you can't really use that against the film, okay? Fear gas. <laughs> Overall movie good, but it drags toward the end. Also, search SpongeBob's evil laugh on YouTube. I couldn't take Joker slash Riddler laugh seriously because of this. Um, one sec. Oh, evil laugh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I love SpongeBob's laugh. It's great. <laughs> I wonder if that would come up for copyright or not. Probably, probably fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of people didn't seem to react to the the joke a bit very well at all. It's kind of interesting, right? You'd think a lot of people may have just been like, woohoo, Joker, yeah, but it seems that most people oh are like, God. no, we don't need him, it's fine. You're obsessed. Um, you missed this from the Arcane streams. It's Smormu, you voted and we... I definitely read that one out. It just wasn't as fast as preferable. Um, Smormu is the fifth smiling friend. This cannot be undone. And high rise. <laughs> the fact that they say this cannot be undone, like yeah. that is because the first thought in your head is no, nope, can't be undone. 
Uh, hi everyone, and Rags. Is that supposed to be Alfred? Well, hi. Yeah. And it yes. is. It was, it yeah. It is supposed to be Alfred. Yeah, Granted, it wasn't many scenes, but it, that was supposed to be Alfred, yeah. What you got was good. So that's cool. Hey, Fringy, could you do the Metal Gear game over, but instead of yelling snake, snake, yell no? Oh, man. It's, it's a little too early in the morning to be screaming at the top of my lungs. Um. <laughs> uh. I I would have to do the lame sort of like whispery s screaming, you know, so as not to annoy everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm in the middle of a Mario Kart race. I need to finish it so that I can concentrate on delivering a strong performance. And I say that, and it's probably not going to be all that great. So completely up to you for to whatever you wish to do. Um. <clears throat> no, no. There you go. You got your. You got your no. All right. You're happy. Beautiful. You're happy. I danced for you. Danced for you. Where's TFA Part Five? Who knows? In the future ether, and it's gonna pop out of there at some point. Uh, movie was good. Riddler was dumb by the end and inconsistent with his methodology. Personally goes to the people, except Bruce Wayne, lol. That's something that we didn't talk about that some people wanted us to. Um, I think it's weird that the only person he didn't personally kill was Bruce Wayne. Yeah, especially of course, when he seems to be the one that he holds a grudge against for personal reasons, more so than for any broader goal. Yeah, the only yeah, thing to highlight think... would be, if he did go personally, Alfred would likely be dead if he decided to kill him just in general, but uh, Bruce... It would change a lot, basically. Because either Bruce gets I killed, do... or Riddler gets stopped, you know? Yeah. What if, what if he goes to kill, like, Alfred... Or he goes to kill. Oh, he goes to kill Bruce. Then Alfred just like stops him and he just beats the shit out of him. And then, then the movie's over. The Riddler says, "Who are you?" And Alfred <laughs> no. goes, "I'm vengeance." Who are you? Who are <laughs> I'm you? Vengeance. Uh, this one just says, "Is everyone alive today?" Yes, we are alive. As I'm aware. Well, that's three. Yeah. I don't know. You know, if he's asking about everybody ever, it's like well, it's a couple dead ones. Most, the average human is dead, right? Yeah, the average human is dead, yes. <laughs> Took you a while to realize that that's the case. No, just a moment. The moment too long, Rex. A moment too long. Um, nope. This one just says, the Batman. Alright. And uh, yeah. that is it for Streamlabs and the Batman ones. Oh, sweet. Nice. Let's press on and get rid of that, uh, that... That backlog. These, these are the Ketchup Kenobi stream ones. Ah. Uh, this says, today is Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. You see, this one's further along. Thanks. Yeah. Still, it's a week ago. Um, hello to all you beautiful people. Mola Heart. Oh, that's nice. Hello to you too. Uh, hey Rags, you mentioned many times playing D&D &D and Pathfinder. Do you have a preferred class, and have you ever tried DMing before? My preferred class is Bard, and I have not DMed before, though it is in my to-do list for down the road. Alright. Because I would like to do that, I, I think that I would enjoy it. Recently rewatched The Batman. When Batman chases Penguin, the other thugs spread out to run with the money, and Gordon had already made it back to the car. Not good enough, my man. Got, uh... Batman cannot know the situation. He abandons Gordon for Penguin. Which is, um... Not even a choice I necessarily think is an impossibility. I just need it to be addressed. Mm -hmm. A really important thing for the character of Batman to do. The idea that it's like, they're running with the money, and Gordon is kind of in his car, so it's chill. And it's just like, dude, you, don't, you have no idea if he's safe or not. And uh, going after Penguin means you're not in that situation, and there's a couple of thugs with guns, and Gordon was already nearly dead, from, uh, but, but his car protected him. Who knows how long that'll last. 
Recently rewatched the Batman when oh that's the same one. Uh, the Grand Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor was played by Jason Isaacs in Rebels, but Kenobi gets dollar store Inquisitors. It'll be great, guys. Kappa, High Rags, Fringy, and Molly. Hello. Hello. It is odd though when Hello. you look at the character in in like the show, the the animated show, and you're like, wow, that's you know he's he's the edgy like Star Wars Sith man. I feel like he could have tried harder. Available. Mm. If he was available, he could have just played him in live action, right? In fact, it feels like he's got a head that would be shaped more closely to match uh, to match that the Grand Inquisitor than the person that they had. He does have he does have a bit of a he does have a sort of Sith shaped head. Um, I wasn't really. I guess it's just that he he's got a longer head than the other guy. That it the is, other, yeah. The, the guy's head is more round. Whereas, yeah, I don't. Um, they didn't have to hire fucking Humpty Dumpty head. to play the character. Well, maybe he's maybe he he'll do a great job, you know. Or maybe he'll have a great fall. Wings quote of the day. Making someone else star dimmer doesn't make yours shine brighter. Um, this is, in brackets, this is because he's trying to quit soda and someone door dashed him four large sodas from Burger King. Aww. <laughs> oh, man. And he fucking oh. drank him? I don't know if he drank oh. him. He did. He oh. did, Mahler. Come on. He I totally don't know. did. He don't. There, there is no soda. So, we, <sighs> Wings of Redemption is on a diet, the seafood diet. I know. I get it. Uh, and it follows from the other thing we were just discussing. Yes. Yeah. Does soda count as food, though? Um. No. It's liquid. It's, it's drink. Uh, soda is basically wet sugar, so maybe. <laughs> Wait, but it's a drink. It's what do you mean? That that it being sugary doesn't have anything to do. Like, there's loads of drinks that are sugary. Well, I'm I'm just I'm I'm the 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 point was like there's just there's so much sugar in soda was just the point I'm saying. It's basically right. wet sugar. Very well. Uh, so there's that, and then the bonus quote is, "What's a good late night snack?" I've always preferred pizza because I'm a fat ass. Yeah, you might be a, a late night um, snack is a pizza. <laughs> all right, so I will give you some decent late night snacks so that I enjoy from time to time. All right, beef jerky, mm -hmm. peanuts. Yeah, peanuts are good. Uh, popcorn, trail mix. Um, are there any big ones I'm, I'm sort of forgetting? I'm, I'm just I'm noticing a distinct lack it, of pizza there, Rags. Right? What's going on? The the occasional the occasional chip I'll have some chips and salsa here mm -hmm. and there I All like right. those yeah. chips and salsa um, and another thing that might be good next time you make um, like um, like what I do when I make I get like like when I, when I cook an animal when I got like chicken or pork loin or something like that what I, what I don't eat there I put in the fridge for later. And then you could just have some of that as a snack whenever you want. So that's sometimes good. Like if you have a like like I make a pork loin, I eat some of it. The rest goes in the fridge, and I'll just slice off some of it here and there, and um, have that as a snack. Oh, and in the same vein, um, summer sausage is a really good snack. Uh, summer sausage on crackers with a bit of cheese, super simple, tastes good. Uh, so that's something there. And you could put all these things on a pizza, right? You could, yeah, you could. Just making sure, yeah, okay. I grew up surrounded by Duel of the Fates. Yeah. How they get you. Um, as a Rebels and Luke fan, seeing Inquisitors and Luke slightly tugs at my heartstrings. Won't let that get in the way of objectivity, though. I will prevail. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what the show has to offer. Um... Hello, EFAP crew. Important question. Do you guys kiss your dad on the lips? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to that. Mm -hmm. That's a good, big no. I am not like Pim. No, I do not kiss my father on the lips. Hola, Ragu. Como estas? Um, muy bien. 
An Obi-Wan story set between 3 and 4 should be the easiest writing slam dunk. It's ripe with material, and yet part of me is sure Disney will ruin it. I, uh, I talked about that on Cosmonic number 8, actually, which is going up tomorrow. See, mm. I'm not laughing now when I plug my shit. Yeah, but you keep um, saying that yeah. now. Just... <laughs> I, I'll stop. I, Why I'll, would you laugh? I'll... I don't understand. I don't understand it either. It's, it's a Does weird environment word, but, uh, um, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, I, what I like as an, as an idea for an Obi-Wan story set in that time is present him with a choice that essentially challenges his principles versus his desire to bring about a greater good. So, like, just present him with a choice where it's essentially you can breach the Jedi Code and 100% guarantee Luke's safety, or if you adhere to the Jedi Code, that puts him in jeopardy and you have to fight harder uh, to, like to like protect it. him. I think it would just be, this is a period in time where we need to test Obi-Wan's resolve. The Jedi Order fell. Maybe he's there wondering if it was, well, he is obviously wondering if it was his fault. Maybe he's wondering if the code is all that worthwhile if it got destroyed. And its rigidity essentially put the world in, into, oh, the world, the, uh, the galaxy into uh, the Empire's control. He should be thinking about these things. And if we present him with a choice like that, I um, I think that when you're writing a prequel, you can't derive stakes as effectively from the external conflict because most people are watching with the knowledge. Like, there are going to be very few people who watch the Obi Wan show as their first piece of Star Wars content, and even if they do, there's a good chance that they're aware of what happens. We know that if there's a fight between Obi Wan and Vader, that they're both going to survive. So we can't really derive stakes from life or death there. We know that Luke is not going to be discovered we know that um we, we know a lot of things we know that oh I mean, it's going to be fine even so, information they can give each other that is off the table uh i guess we're just going to be relying on them having an aggressive discussion about whose fault everything is yeah um i guess it's you you have just derive you know, if we're doing a prequel about Obi-Wan, I want to learn about Obi-Wan. That's that's what I want to learn. I'm not as invested in whatever the external conflict is going to be. Because uh, I know how it ends. Um, and we all know how it ends. So it feels like wasted energy when we could be exploring something else. And I guess I'm just worried that that's not what we're going to get. But uh, God, it's it's a ripe story. You could You could do a really great Obi-Wan story in this time period. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this show comes out on my birthday. I'm so sad. Aww. Oh no, that's fine. I'm sure yeah, maybe be, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe it will be good. Yeah, it could be good. There's so Possibly. much potential for destruction with this one. If they do to Obi Wan what they did to Luke, there'll be no more hope. <laughs> There's plenty oh. more for them to destroy after this. Yeah, don't <laughs> just, worry. Darth just... Maul isn't going to be in this show, so he can be destroyed at a later point in time. Yep. And People are Vader, very concerned cool. for Obi Wan, dude. Vader, he's right there. Yeah. Oh. Happened to. Poor I can't keep Vader. him straight. There's so many characters they could ruin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Aquaman made 1.2 billion. It did. Yeah. Uh, Moonfall drops in China on the 25th. I'm curious to see how it does down there. Yeah. I, I, oh, I'm sure every dollar will be appreciated at this point. Is do, yeah, how do disaster movies do in China typically? Uh, I don't know. I think they do better though. Um, I think I think maybe they don't do too good. It hits, maybe maybe it hits too close to home. A bunch of buildings fall down and bridges collapse all the time. I, don't I mean, they like Transformers, and that happens in that a lot. That's true. Transformers they did very like Transformers. well in China. Um, Stargate and the first Independence Day are great fun. Interesting fact. The activation effects in Stargate were done by using practical means, plus the sequel series SG-1 is just brilliant. I hear good things I've about it. I've heard the Stargate it. shows are good, yeah. yeah. I, w I would really like to see the movie again, because it was one of those ones I kind of... I watched as a kid quite a bit. We had the VHS of it. Mm -hmm. and I liked it as a kid. So I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't know about how good it really is. Curious. 
Um, Jumpin' Joe Bill's story reads like bad, fa bad fan fiction and it's ridiculous. I think we so, someone sent this before and I still don't know what that is. Jumpin' Joe Bill. That's not. I, I it's don't. A gas, gas, gas. I don't know. Shiba dog dressed in a traditional outfit waving Japanese fans. Hot. All right. Oh man, looks like Kenobi has a girl boss. May very well be. Who knows? Obviously, they promote it as though well, there's a lot of great character work for us to expect. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Midway is one of my favorite movies. You wouldn't believe it was made by Emmerich. Great action, historically accurate, huge stakes, bad exposition. Oh, no. Oh. Doesn't surprise me. Emmerich dialogue isn't... Well, Emmerich everything isn't typically, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm bad at COD, and I could do well with Commando in Mom Warfare 2. You understand, yeah, you shouldn't Commando. admit that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's like, doing well with Commando, it's like, I'm doing well when the game is on my side, yes. Well, if you had a friend who's like, yeah, I'm not too great at it, so NoobTube is like something I really like. You'd just be like, yeah. oh, thanks for helping ruin very, the game. I'm not very good at first-person shooters, but when I have an aimbot, you know, I'm not I'm pretty good. Um, I hate how some Pokemon fans won't accept any criticism of the game or actions by the Pokemon company. Bunch of consumers. I want better for Pokemon. I think we talked about this before, but they've, they've gotten away with one of the worst practices ever. Right under mm -hmm. everyone's noses, pretty much. For decades. Yep. And, and I think it, because of that is why they can easily continue. It's like, they've always done that. I, I know people would say that, and you'd be like, yeah, that's great. Uh, did you massive see that there's a Predator prequel coming out? It's called Prey, and the main character is a Comanche woman who is breaking gender norms because she wants to be a warrior. No joke. Look. It could be good. We'll have to wait and see, but Predator is a absolutely obliterated IP at this point. It's just like Terminator. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Who know, I, I like the idea that they won't even... They'll ignore Dark... No, not Dark. The fuck was... The Predator. There you go. The Predator. They will probably ignore what that film said entirely. I, I don't see why any writer wouldn't. Telling me, like... Yeah, you can you can write it. Just make sure to remember they, they hunt people's DNA specifically after autism. <laughs> You're like, no, actually. That's not at all what they do. Fuck that. You were just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That's not really what happens at all. Yeah, that was a meme. I don't even know why we said that. That was a that. meme. <laughs> that was a meme. We were we were having we we were, we were just having a good here. time. We, ha we yeah. have fun here at uh, at the Predator Productions. I like we the idea were that just have a good time. You you're like trying to make sure because you just want to you know know his line, dude. And you're like Shane Black. Was that a meme? And he's like, Yeah, yeah, it was yes. a meme. Yes, it was a meme. You, you don't sound very sure, and you're like, No, definitely a meme. What was he thinking? I don't know. <laughs> he wanted to, like... I think it was a backwards way of trying to be... Uh, sort of... Because he, he had a thing with... Remember, there was a guy with Tourette's in that movie as well. Um, yeah, uh, yes. And I remember right. people and talking about how he's trying to raise awareness of um, different mental divergence of whatever kinds. And so he... And then the character is like, you know, autism is seen as the evolution of the human mind. The character said that. <laughs> I think someone called him autistic, and well, so, so this entire movie was... I think he has Tourette's, um, which is like maybe partially informing what he was trying to do with that movie, but it's so weird and strange. One of the characters and... have Tourette's? Yeah. And they were just used for com uh, comedic purposes? Yes. Uh, so that's odd. It is really odd. Um, it, it, like he uses the Tourette's fine. character it's to just odd. do all the normal Tourette's jokes one would make. Uh it's, that movie is so bad. Did we oh. watch that ever? I think I only saw it in the cinema, right? Did you no, guys ever see we it? didn't. I, I haven't. I, I haven't cinema, seen it. Yeah, Fucking... I have not seen it. It was. Uh, Jesus I remember. Christ. I remember the part when um when Punisher and and uh, uh, Keegan Michael Key. <laughs> Key, yeah, Keegan Michael Key. That's right. Um, when they both get like impaled or like you know mortally wounded, and then they both because they were such buddies suicide each other simultaneously. Yeah. 
they shoot each other in the head at exactly the same time. It's like, what the? This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the coordination you two would need to pull the trigger at exactly the same time to kill each other. <laughs> I remember people talking about how awesome that scene was when it first came out. I guarantee you nobody does now. Are you now. kidding me? Yeah, Are yeah. you kidding me? People thought that was awesome and they didn't immediately identify, like, what the hell is this? You'd think. And then, like, the bad guy just blew his head off, like, accidentally. <laughs> Definitely scared. a reshoot. 100%. Wraps Definitely. that up in a neat little bow. Yeah. It's not even, but like, even if that was it's your plan to make him blow his head off, you'd be like, there are better ways. Like, he, it's literally in the middle of no, many no action moments. Way. Just like, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, he's Blinkies. dead, this is yeah, happening. That's the oh, perfect, oh. Yeah, that's, that's the perfect time where you Dude, accidentally he, kill yourself, is all that, all that he's gone, confusion. You'd be like, if you blink, you'd be like, wait a minute, where, where is he? What happened? <laughs> like, yeah. What, what happened to the bad guy? It's like, oh, he's dead. What? Yeah, Do you remember dead. how it happens? Yeah. He's like using it he, to shoot he gets people. He a predator gun and it aims and, towards his head and blows it off. Well, which not quite. So, like, the the idea is um, it's aiming where he's looking. And I think someone calls his name or distracts yeah. him. He looks over at them to his left when it's on his right. So he just aims at his head and then shoots. It's just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what is going on? Ugh. That's an easy EFA movies one day. That movie's filled yeah, with garbage. That movie's hilarious. Halfway through it, one of the predator dogs eats a grenade and then vomits it up in the finale so they can use it to kill the predator. How convenient. It's insane. Like who wrote that? It's like, well, it's the guy who wrote I Bad Three. Oh, you're gonna do the unbridled praise for that later. Yes. Definitely. Right. Uh I have to say, out of all the COD games, I honestly enjoyed COD 2 the most. That's a fair choice. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Good stuff. I think, um... That was my first Call of Duty game. You know, everyone's probably gonna have a different one that they enjoyed the most. I think mine stuck between World at War and Black Ops. They were, they were my best experiences, though I have appreciation for COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. I think, uh, Modern Warfare 2 I usually pick as my favorite. I had so much fun with that game. Only a half hour intro? Shame. I know, but we had lots of people in chat being like, well, you're not even looking at the Kenobi trailer. It's like, alright, alright. We were talking about COD, but you guys want to see Kenobi waving his little lightsaber? God, they're gonna make that a big thing when he first pulls it out, aren't they? Yeah, of course. Uh, people have already moved on from the Book of Boba Fett and are ready to consume next product. Can't wait to see how they will fundamentally ruin Obi-Wan's character. Dude, the way Me that they too. do this, people are ready one week later. They are they are ready to go. They just want more shit to just they watch it and then forget it. Like it's it's a really sad cycle we're in. I think people are starting to forget how long waits would actually be between like big pieces of content. You just the further back you go, the longer a lot of it gets for um Yeah. Like you get two years for the next Dune. It's well it's, it's insane that's, that that's the way it used to be. Wasn't it three years between each Star Wars? Uh, yes, it was. That's, yeah. I think Three people would go years. nuts if that were the case. They'd be like, what do you mean? You the... Forget well, about it. That there no, was what's that? Between all the sequels in two years. Yeah. Um, well, so not only was it going to be two years, but they planned to fucking spam out all those solo movies, didn't they? Or, or story movies. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Once. Yeah, annually. They had a plan to do it all annually. <laughs> they had a plan. But, uh, Didn't go well. What happened? What happened? TLJ and Solo happened. Yeah. That was like a one-two punch <laughs> that really yeah. caused damage. God, you gotta feel good being the people behind Rogue One. You're like, Phew, we were the last one. We just made yeah. it in. We're, we're considered, like, Justin. the better times. <laughs> Though TFA would technically count as the better times, but, like, it's just rotted over time. I think so, and thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want the gun train back. Yeah, that's a, that's a, hopefully it makes an appearance. We'll have to see. Mm. Oh my god, that was Ewan McGregor. I remember him. Yes. Yeah. And man, like, they can squeeze him forever. Right up until he's literally Alec Guinness's age, they can squeeze him. Yep. I cried when I heard the music. Oh. No. Oh. That's all right. Grand Inquisitor looks like an edgy pimple. Why'd they keep the floompy hella sabers? Why? Also, hi, Rags. Hello. I don't fucking know, man. They look so silly to me. You are 
you're asking the people who are on the opposite end of the writing spectrum <laughs> to explain their decisions. <laughs> we can't help you. I think they they think it's really cool that they spin. Like, it's like yeah, that's that's what that does, I guess. Very cool. Very cool. Nah, Obi Wan is gonna try and kill himself too. Uh, I nice. Fucking hope not. About that Kenobi trailer, the studio does realize that he lives, right? We know they can't kill him or Luke's family, so what stakes are we supposed to have? Where's the threat when you know this? That's Watch him do it. Complicated, because we've gone over this before. It, um. Maybe there's an argument here for selling you on the hook of the story when you're like, what hook is there? I know that they're not going to blah, blah, blah. You can't lie to me. Um, ultimately, though, you know, how many times have I seen Lord of the Rings? Someone's like, why would you watch it more than once? You know exactly how it ends. Like we, we can go and see this for many reasons in terms of what we don't know will or will not be there um, that could be substantive. The idea of, like, what's the worry? We know Luke won't be found. It's like, maybe, maybe there's a lot of entertainment to be found in in Obi-Wan facilitating that reality, you know? There could, there could be plenty of elements there, but I understand what you're saying. Like, and this is why I agree with a lot of people who are saying, like, this didn't need to be an action-packed fucking romp of Sith climbing all over Tatooine. Like, that, that did not need to be the thing, but of course it is. Why would we expect anything different? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, the, the stakes are high in a different way. In, in the way of, will they destroy Obi Wan Kenobi as a character? That that's what the stakes really are. Um, I can't wait until they have every OT character wearing kid versions of their favorite outfits. I will say it definitely looked more Star Warsy than I expected after the last two shows. I don't even know what that means anymore. I'm not sure. Looks more Star Warsy. Star Wars. This is the the problem of we've just got so much Disney content now. What is it, what does it mean to be look like Star Wars? I have no idea. Oh, speaking of what does it mean to look like Star Wars? I saw a video where someone did a little tour of his hotel room at the the Star Wars themed hotel. Oh dear. Um, let me. The. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Uh -huh. And it was uh for how expensive that thing apparently is. Six thousand per room, isn't it? To stay at the immersive Orlando, Florida based Star Wars hotel, a family of four will pay about six thousand for two nights. Lodging, meals, and entertainment are included. Um, but six thousand for two Nights. That's a no Holy from me. Fuck. No, thanks. And they did the tour of the room, and it was not something that I would even approach paying six thousand. Dude, people have been comparing the beds there to like prison cell beds. It looks very. I don't. Know, I, maybe I can. I'll, I'll find the video that was sent to me, and I'll link it to you guys if you so you can watch it later if you want. It's it's really pathetic, kind of. Like you don't have it. Mm, Mm. Mm. No good. No good. Do you need two, three, or more films to fix TLJ or TFA? Two, three, or how, or four? They were saying two, three, or more. Oh, I got, uh, yeah. Uh, to fix it? Well, you need one. They he woke up. It was all a horrible dream. This is this is the, the nature of it. If how what kind of fix are we looking at? If it's a complicated, detailed, and as best we can involve the current narrative fix, then yeah, you need as much time as possible. But if it's the quick fix, yeah, we only need like one deleted scene to be popped in. So uh, maybe the better question is how would we want to do it? And I think I would want the long term meaningful fix and try and incorporate as much of their work as I can, but ultimately wreck on a lot of it. Um, I do have a sense of like, even with your shitty, embarrassing, and even disrespectful past work that you're actually building on, that you try to incorporate it as best you can. Yeah. I feel like it's a good uh, way to go about it. Like, if, if I was to make the sequel to um, The Predator, 
Like, what are you gonna do? And it'd be like, okay, we're immediately making the Predators in that movie a weird sect. Like, some weird offshoot. They're not the Predators, yeah. they're just these weird yeah, guys. Yeah, they're the, they're the fucking Taldarim or something over there doing their thing, and they're not like the rest of the Protoss. They're... They're weird. We don't talk about them. They're, they they we don't invite them to the birthday parties, but they come anyway. It's very awkward. Yeah. Um. They they they're. I think they're all literally autistic. We don't know what's going on. We have no idea how that happens. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's a religious thing. Who knows? We're the real predators, and we're amazing. Do you have any Arnolds that we can fight? Let's get back to basics. Um. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably. How you do it with that, and, and at the same time, you watch through it and be like, is there anything that happens in these fucking shitty movies that we can make use of in a, in a, in a meaningful way? Uh, Fringe. A Sidewinder air-to-air missile has a range of 22 miles. I'm pretty sure planes beat pterodactyls. Also, those are short-range missiles. I don't think yeah, you'd be, I mean, Would you use missiles against pterodactyls? Could, could a missile could lock onto a pterod... Could they? Could a, is, does it generate enough of like a heat signature to well, track? Because I, I don't know. I, it's I, more sophisticated than that now, right? Like with missiles, that they, there's more to it than just heat seeking. Like you can just have them target. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know why you couldn't just beat them with conventional weapons. You would just yeah, a machine gun would annihilate it. For sure. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. again, remember they made a very big plot point in Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Excellent. What a single pistol shot did to Blue. Um, she survived because of magic. So yeah, the um, uh, yeah, F small arms. Turns out they're very, very good at killing animals that have not evolved to survive being shot by bullets, which is all animals. Uh, yeah. uh, no, uh, these are fictional animals that have hyper. They're gonna do it, man. Steel skin or some shit. They're gonna do it. Please don't do it. Well, you know what they can use to kill the T Rexes? Love. Predator missiles. Oh, oh no, oh, they'll be immune. Oh, oh. They'll they'll make this, that the whole goal of the film. The predator missile will fly at it, and you'll swallow it, and then it, it'll like evolve him, like to look like the main Digimon. <laughs> he swallows it, turns around, poops it out his ass, and it flies back at the tank. Exactly. It's the beauty of nature. And then people will be like, well, you know, I, Fallen Kingdom wasn't very good, but this, this one was okay, I think, actually. That was alright. I like that. Um, we all know it, but they're going to assassinate Kenobi's character 100%. Inquisitors is from Rebels. They are Acolytes. Oh yeah, I guess, I don't know if we're supposed to call them Sith or just Acolytes or Sith Acolyte. I don't fucking know. Hopefully they'll explain it. Maybe they won't. I'm sure that won't make sense. Mm -hmm. With any luck, they won't explain anything and we won't have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> With any luck. Star Wars The Next Eulogy. Uh, yeah, nice. pretty much. Reminder, the Inquisitors with the spinning lightsabers can use them to fly around like a helicopter. Yes, they can. Swear to fucking God if they do that. <laughs> then again, if they don't the do it, when they have the opportunity to... Oh. The top of the lightsaber is the edgiest, which means that the air particles want to stay away as much as possible, which creates a field of low pressure. What he said. I fully expect True the return story. of General Grievous. I just can't imagine how he will return. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't be surprised if they brought him back, yeah. At this point, we are pillaging the prequels now. That's become very profitable. Super hyped to see Tatooine again, again, again. Uh, this might be the show that pushes again, me to make again, an actual video. Uh, oh boy. Anyway, here's my offering of a few shekels and hello rags. Fringy, what color goo? What color? Oh, the goo is Ooh. green. Oh, there you go. And uh, good luck with the video if you do plan to make it. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole Inquisition, and they all just did nothing while the Empire became First Order? Does that kid have dark hair? Isn't Luke blonde? I thought he was blonde. Was he not? He looked blonde, but... Well, wasn't he wearing a helmet? Okay, I, don't, I don't really know. Um, you can have darker or lighter hair color when you're younger as well. It can change. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess, lighting as well. Yeah. 
Um, as for the whole you guys, you guys are leaving out what I believe is the most reasonable explanation, which is that he went to a mod parlor uh, and had it changed by a cyber He mm -hmm. got his hair modded. Everyone gets their hair modded on Tatooine. It's like the only thing to do. Makes sense. Other than die. Um, as for the whole, there's an Inquisition and they did nothing between the Empire and the FO. Uh, I have no idea. I, I don't. This is the thing. It's gonna be new for us. Like, mm -hmm. telling us about these guys. They better fucking explain it. It's like the spice shit again. If they just turn up. Yeah. We're gonna be like, great. <laughs> it's like, yeah. we'll go watch Rebels if you want to know who these guys are. It's like, ugh, fuck's sake. I'm convinced. Yeah. Uh, Bob borrowed the set for this movie. I mean, everyone's convinced Barker? at this point. Uh, I think they oh. mean uh, Disney Man. Oh. Bob Disney. Mm hmm. So, this is how Star Wars dies with thunderous applause. Yep. Uh, Kenobi, I can, I can picture being one of the highest celebrated shows for Star Wars out of all of them. Yeah. They've just got to get a couple things right. Like a couple scenes with him being introspective. As long as they get that, then they can do whatever they want, pretty much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if they got away with Boba Fett. They Done. mostly got away with Boba Fett, yeah. Like, there was a couple people complaining about stuff, but most, a lot of people were like, wow, yeah. you're complaining about goofy things when there's been goofy things in Star Wars before. Like, what a great point that is. Yep. Inquisitors are basically fallen Jedi Padawans and knights who are tasked to hunt down the remaining Jedi, basically cannon fodder to hunt down weaker Jedi until they are killed. Vader deals with the more powerful Jedi. Again, like, I wonder if they'll put that in the show. It's an interesting... Dude, that... Uh, it makes me sad, because I'm like... Think of that, dude. The Padawans that weren't executed and turned are now hunting Obi-Wan down. Imagine the conflict we can get out of that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they'll do it, though. They're going to ruin Duel of the Fates. I didn't even think that was possible. Ruin John Williams. Run away. Well, John Williams composing the theme for the show, right? I don't know if he's doing anything else for it. So the theme's probably going to be really cool. Yeah. Uh, will Obi-Wan say, I grew up surrounded by Jedi? I hope so. Maybe. Oh, the dialogue, that's another worry. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the Inquisitors were killing people to try and find Jedi and Jedi Fallen Order game like that. Fair enough. Right. Considering Ben just whips his lightsaber out in the middle of a bar in episode 4, retroactively having Inquisitors doesn't make much sense. Vader was the enforcer. I'd always figured that was the case, but I guess that's changed now. Yeah. Do you remember in The Force Unleashed how he's the one going around? Yeah. Uh... Jedi? And then Starkiller did that before he didn't exist anymore. Oh, that's all decanonized now. Yeah. Moobal, you my Twitter memes last stream. Just want you to see them. Happy Nihilist, world building of the day, the mystery flesh pit, it's good spook. I think these are... The mystery some... flesh did pit. You show the, uh, did you show the one that... What I a horrific stripper name. On stream, the one that I posted. Which one did you post? The, oh, the, 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 on. the Riddler one. Show everybody the funny meme. Wow, I say funny, I'm probably am not allowed to praise it because it's about me. <laughs> you don't want to set a precedent. Genius alchemist, better than Shimmer. Simple man of simple goo plans. Epic autist. I think they meant wields, they got wild, powerful goo. <laughs> <laughs> to confirm to be oh, hut crab. I never. That was never. That was never confirmed. Yeah, it's, there's a complicated relationship related to hut cream, but I don't know what it is. Lame uncovered head. Plan relies on major <laughs> contrivance. You respect Batman, but hates Bruce. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Batman likes him. Idiot. Simple. <laughs> Tries to destroy city to save it. Mega idiot. Lay Bubby Mask. Mummy Mask. Pathetic Orphan.
Yeah, the virgin riddle blargler. -er. That's, That's a pretty good villain name, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in middle school, I remember thinking of a Sith Academy or lab that's at the bottom of the ocean, that miles of ocean water teeming with life helps the Academy stay undetected through the Force. That's an idea. That's an idea. It's a concept. Brandon Sanderson recently said he'd written five previously unmentioned books during lockdown. The way he talks about working without expectations being better reminded me of you guys. Cool stuff. Interesting. I bet that could be a load off your shoulders. Yeah, uh, like... That's the... I think I got told about that. That project is the most successful Kickstarter of all time. He wrote the five books and then it's part of like a broader Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, man. That yeah. involves all five of those. And I think it's already made like $20 million or something insane. Fucking best of luck to him. Damn. Yeah. Wow, best of luck. The it's already he's already <laughs> cleared that goal by like twenty. Right, well, fuck you. You yeah. know what else cleared a goal? Yeah. Fucking Cyberpunk cleared a Hitler. lot of pre-order goals. That's that's true. It did. Oh, apparently, it's at thirty million now. All right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, the most successful Kickstarter of all time. Holy shit, man. That's a lot of money. Five Maybe. books in two years as well. That's uh, that's amazing. Talk yeah. about uh, talk about uh, expedient writing right there. Like, well, maybe that's not the right way. He's fast, clearly. Spoiler alert: They don't find Obi Wan or Luke. I would expect so. Um, could you imagine if they have a scene of Vader finding Luke? Oh God! Yeah, that would be. Oh, I man. beg you. I fucking beg you, too. show. He Please. Just decides to walk away. Can you oh. imagine if they did that? Oh. According to Mandalorian, shouldn't droids be attacking Tatooine right now and a young Din jerk off being saved by Mandalorians around this time? That was Din a Clone Wars. Off. That was a Clone Yeah, that was Wars. in the Clone yeah, Wars. The Din is like mid 40s, is he? Late 40s? Uh, I guess we'd assume he's in his 40s. Something like that, yeah. According to. Oh, wait. Uh, the city planet is apparently named Dayu. All right. Uh, the rule of two is for Sith Lords. Not that it really matters. This universe is massively damaged. Yeah. yeah. The red, li uh, red lightsaber guy looks like the love child of Pinhead from Hellraiser and Crichton from Red Dwarf. I can see that, yeah. The show should already be renamed to Sith Inquisitors, a Star Wars story featuring Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um... We'll see from the next trailer, I think, or the official trailer, whatever they end up calling it, um, the main trailer, because there's obviously, I'm surprised that Vader didn't show up in, in that teaser at all. He'll uh, be in the next one, I bet. I, he's gotta Probably. be, right? Like, what? why would you waste that marketing thing when, when everyone, he's in all the episodes, so. The best scene with the Inquisitors in Rebels was when Maul decapitated one of them. Fair enough, I, I, I got nothing for that. Uh, in this shot with a helmet, he looks like his mum made it wear it as protective gear. Yeah, he looked pretty lame, the helmet one. To be fair, they, mo they all look kind of lame. There's no salt and pepper because spice is bad, remember? I'm sure they have spices that are allowed. There's just the main one that's evil. Yeah. I hope this would be a slow character study of how war impacted Obi, but hey, that requires a bit of effort. Oh, 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 oh you. Oh. Silly you. Two fights oh, per no. episode is fine, too, I guess. Sad. Two to three. We're going to have two, two. Yeah, we're going to have two to three fights per episode, regardless of whether they make sense or they should even happen at all. It's going to. They found the formula. They're going to stick with it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the opening is. The Inquisitors doing the like the first thing we see is them hunting someone down, just to make sure we know this. Oh yeah, that's that's what I said would happen. That's one of my predictions. I mean, going from the teaser, there's just not much else to conclude yet. Uh, make a bet. Well, Rags would have to bet someone who thinks that wouldn't happen. 
Also, I don't really care that much. I mm -hmm. just think that that's what's going to happen. Tell you what, if it doesn't happen, I will donate $10 to a charity of my choosing. All right. Or I'll, I'll donate $10 to a charity of... Maybe you two can come up with a charity, and mm. I'll donate to a, that charity. if that, that's, that's the wager, right? So if I win, I get to keep $10. And if I lose, then I don't know, a, an animal sanctuary or a veteran project or something, whatever you pick, will get 10 bucks. So that way everyone wins. Yay. Except we, we all, well, we lose because Obi Wan's going to fucking be terrible as a show, but some good can come out of it. We'll do that. Um... No, ra no rags has to watch a movie, Bob videos. Listen, we got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, come on now. A bit mean. Come on. If you were stuck in an alternate Earth that hadn't invented the moving picture yet, with your personal film library, all formats, and the knowledge required to build and run your own theater with 12 screens, what movies would you open with? Hmm. I would I probably start... I, I, I might go chronological and just pick all the best ones. Like, I'd start as early as my library allows. And then start releasing them in order. Or is it it's 12 films forever? In which case, that would take me a long time to figure out. Because at that point, it's just like, which 12 movies do you think would be good for uh, people to oh, see first? A cross set in the media, yeah. That's kind of what I'd be wondering. Hmm. Like if you were going to show 12 films to someone who's never seen them before? Well, the world, really. Show the world? Well, because you'd be the first person I assume to... you missed the question. I, I think oh, I might have, or yeah, yeah. So say one more time, I'm sorry. If you were stuck in an alternate Earth that hadn't invented the moving picture yet, with your personal film library, all formats, and the knowledge required to build and run your own theater with 12 screens, what movies would you open with? I feel like you'd want to get something of every genre. To show to people, movies don't just have to be westerns. They don't just have to be thrillers or mysteries or action movies. They could a story can tell all kinds of. Because I would want to encourage everyone to start making movies. So right from the get go, right off the bat, stories can be of any kind. So that would really make sure that doors were from the get go opened up and nobody maybe felt. That, oh, well, this, I want to tell a detective story. That's not what movies are about. You know, that kind of thing. Or maybe I could just show Chicken Run 12 times. I'm on board with Chicken Run. Shrek. Shrek on 12 screens. <laughs> except the screen, except the screen is actually a massive circular room. And all the screens on the outside and the audiences are surrounded by 12 screens playing Shrek. However, they are not synchronized. <laughs> they, are, they are at different <laughs> playing types. Oh, it sounds like someone from a weird roller coaster game. <laughs> yeah, I would. Like I said, if it was opening oh. and I could switch them out, I'm just going to go all the movies I think that are the best and start. I'd probably do it chronologically just so I know I can get through them all um, properly. And then put that on a cycle. They don't even need to find an actor with his head shape. Use silicon masks. The costume department was just lazy. I mean, he does look really goofy. I don't know. Um, even I saw the Star Wars community on like Reddit and different places are fighting each other over that. It's like, why is everyone focusing on whether or not he looks like a fucking cartoon? And other people because like, he looks like a cartoon. Well, I mean, you he's, answered your own question. He's there as a adaptation of the cartoon. You got to expect people would talk about it, right? That's just how it the works. The cartoon, the cartoon literally looks less of a cartoon than he does. If Superman shows up, and he looks like Batman. It's like, do you think nobody's gonna talk about this? You think everyone's gonna be it's like just an oh, adaptation. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Just, just an adaptation. Stop yeah. hating. I understand you want to talk about other things, but it's a fucking teaser trailer. <laughs> There's really not a lot to talk about. Will the clone of Luke's uncle have tism fingers like Cream of Sheev? Cream of Sheev. The clone of Luke's uncle. This is before he got melted. Nice. 
Obi-Wan disabled Grievous. Heroes on both sides. You, uh, are you talk about the the brain thing. That's that's what Jay showed us in that stream, right? That was something else with Grievous. Can't wait to see Obi Wan being an absolute idiot in the show. Oh, expect Me it. Me neither. Expect it. Y'all need to watch more CGP Grey. I I do like that channel a whole bunch. I don't think I've watched his newest stuff, so I might I might just do that. Uh, could you guys react to the Obi Wan versus Maul fight in Rebels? It's legit a great scene because the two uses. Oh, it's a great scene between the two and uses callbacks in a meaningful way. We'd same only be same. able to do that in like a um, movies mini format that's edited. We can do that live, I don't think. Uh, yeah, 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 should watch Obi Wan vs. Maul. It's pretty good. I, I've seen it. Um, I, yeah, it's a cool scene. I enjoyed it, yeah. Olden Super, like, low key and, and uh, toned down. Low key's not me. in it. <laughs> No, oh, I watched oh, you <laughs> when I was oh, telling you. my um, some some friends of mine about the Cad Bane stuff because some of them are like fans of that character, and I showed him the the scene from Boba Fett where he gets killed. They were they were very upset. They thought it was just stupid that that's how he went out. Right, and so they showed me a clip of him fighting Obi Wan and some other Jedi. Yeah, I've and seen from that. the show, the cartoon, and it's actually like not bad. Well, it's like fun. It's interesting to watch. They're they're all like doing things. Yeah. Maybe that's the they're doing stuff. Like a lot of things are happening. You can you you can believe it. You're not constantly asking why doesn't he just da, da, da. they're always doing something. So you could kind of believe it as long as you put the whole why don't they just use the force all the time problem in the back of your mind. You could be just like oh like that's this is kind of like I could see why this is you know entertaining and people like this character. I just got like a. Uh, my phone Brent buzzed because of um, a Twitter message. I think I, I'm trying to figure out why. I just my phone's weird. Like I got a new one. It's, it, it doesn't always what react. What kind of to phone is it? What's the Mahler approved phone that you endorse? Oh, I don't. Right know, here I don't know anything about phones. So it's uh, it's whatever make was effective for the price I had and requirements I had. I'm not even sure what the make is. Um, but uh. Nice. It's like sometimes I see whatever the newest comment is on videos. This this one says, "I agree with everything you said, but I think it's worth. I don't think it's worthwhile to delve into scientific minutia. Just turn on suspension of disbelief." So that, that is true that because I, uh, I, I uh, that's a button that I have on the back yep. of my neck, like Matrix style. I just flick flick it on, and I, I don't know why it's ever down really. But it, it's always and, an and accident. Off. It should be on all the time. It always is. You know, it's not because the best place for it. Of disbelief, it is not that's something right. That's in your yeah, control. you definitely do choose what you believe. That doxastic involuntarism is a total lie, and it doesn't exist. And we could just choose Wait, what we what do and called? don't believe. Do, what what's that called? Doxastic involuntarism. Is that's that the uh, idea of you choose to believe something. No, it's it's the opposite. You don't choose what you believe. That's what oh, doxastic right. involuntarism right. is. Yeah, yeah. Which is how human beings just are. You don't just choose the things that your brain accepts to be true propositions. That's the yeah, result of not, the knowledge of so your experience. Yeah, it's not possible. Or at least I don't think it's possible. Maybe it is in some rare circumstance, but it just doesn't make much sense to me that you can just choose these things. Yeah, that's why it's that's difficult the... to get people to believe things or to it's, it's difficult to get people to break out of religions or to convert them to new ones or to have people accept you as a different person after you've changed your character. That's why it's difficult for people because it's you, people can't just say, OK, I believe you now. Well, I mean, they can say that, but that doesn't mean it's true. Um. Scooby Doo into the Scooby Verse. Nice. I mean, yeah. It's... Maybe. Do well, it. aren't they making like a Hanna Barbera like animated series, like cinematic universe? Isn't that the plan now? Is it is it Barbara me. or like Barbara or something like I, that? I always is it a I special? To go between Barbara and uh, Barbera. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's because um, it's spelled a little bit different. Because Barbara is B A R B. -A. A R A and Barbera has an E in there instead. I think it's like it's a weird uh, thing. I don't know. Maybe. It's not important to your point, but 
um they yeah. all because that was they made yeah. that movie scoob that was the beginning of uh them wanting to do a like i've never heard of this universe. Wow, it came out like COVID times, so I think it came out, it was meant to have a theatrical release, and then it did like the on-demand thing. Um, I recall that, yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, well, I thought, I thought that was what I read. Um, but maybe, maybe plans changed. Maybe. Alden Ehrenreich, Han Solo, Maul, other forced cameos expected in Kenobi. Solo takes place ten years after Revenge of the Sith, and Darth Maul was running the Crimson Dawn crime syndicate. Who knows what we're going to be getting? Who knows? Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have heard, but apparently uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Maul were supposed to be in this show, but then they rewrote it. No, it changed their mind. Yeah, no, I did hear about again. that. Uh, oh. That was what Filoni and and, um, and uh, uh, Favreau told uh, Deborah Chow to go bigger. We, it's not even just that as well. She, we got the whole the comments about it not being bleak or being too bleak and it had to be changed. Yeah. So it sounds like she actually had what would probably be a cool idea for a story. But Maybe. Then, uh, Who knows? And, but then she had her mind changed, which is unfortunate because the premise that we've been presented seems to me a lot worse. <laughs> Um, the Chungus Nose guy is the Spot Man. He could be. I wouldn't want to deny the chances. Uh, did Fringy just have a Freudian slip and say his fingers are webbed? Um, I was talking. Well, that was when we were talking about uh frogs, right? I believe so. I said that all. Didn't I say that all? Like, if you look at your hand and you send it out, that that like sort of. The, the 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 skin that like connects between not like fully but right at the base that that is um that there are some element of that being related to amphibians I could be wrong may I wouldn't surprise me it really wouldn't um yeah. between our the chromosomal links and the endogenous retroviruses and all that stuff that we got with us it's it wouldn't be surprised that we have all of these little bitty pieces and parts that are shared with other things and we split yeah. at some point so it's it's not that i admitted to anything except reality for all yeah. humans well that's your extent. first mistake a freudian fringle <laughs> a fringlian slip fringly and slip. you're looking quite fringly right? today I don't want to on oh. feet. Uh, someone said they loved that DOTF was in the trailer, and I asked if he thought it was relevant. He replied with, well, it's been used before, so... Oh, man. There's <laughs> just not much of a reason there, is it? Well, it's been, it's been done before. Or, that's how we've always done it. Fair enough. Mola feels, Mola pew. Hello, rags, Mola hot. All right. What about Jinx not having time to take the stone out of- You should make of... a Hitman TV show and cast Mark Strong. He would make a good- he'd make a good, uh, like, more mature Hitman, I think. He's- he really's got that look about him. He could. Uh, I like that. He's got a great voice and the look, yeah. I think that's he a could. good idea, Chatter. I've already cool. done two Hitman films, though, and neither of them- Oh, they've done two! Oh, and also the stream is dead. I was wondering why Mola wasn't saying anything. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, wait, can you not hear me? Uh, uh oh, well.
Uh, hello? Yeah, what, uh... What, what, what happened? I, I don't know. Did your computer, like, shut down, or is the internet? Oh, it was the internet, on? um... But now I don't know... What's happened on the live streaming part of it? Wow, yeah, there's something, it's just... Oh, I think we're back now. Is it? I think, yeah, we're back, we're back. Yep. My, um... Live streaming room, however you want to call it, doesn't seem to be, uh... Like, frozen for me. Oh, well, we, are uh, maybe give it a minute, because we're definitely off again. Which is good. More concerned with figuring out if it's still like continuity wise if it's still connected. Yeah. One second everybody, just making sure everything is working. Hmm. Rag's still here or? Uh, he went to get a drink. He figured now would be the time. No, <laughs> you right here. I thought about leaving too, leaving you on your own, but that would have... Uh... Then if you came back, it would have been confused as to what was going on. Okay, all right, I guess we're okay. Uh... Well, I, I just, I'll carry on then, I guess. <laughs> All um, right, yeah. Well enough, everything that was said... Well, I caught... Rags, you guys were talking about Mark Strong or something. I think, funnily enough, I can As, hear uh, you for just a little bit longer than I can speak. <laughs> Yours were That happens back sometimes. Yeah, we're talking about how someone in chat suggested Mark Strong as Agent 47 in, like, a Hitman film, which seems cool. Unfortunately, they've tried twice to do Hitman films, and both times it hasn't panned out, so I doubt that's ever going to happen. What's weird is that Hitman film, it's kind of like Boba Fett in concept where you think, how could you fuck it up? Just have him being a badass. Yeah, like, it doesn't have done. to be complex. Just have an assassin who's being a cool assassin. Just say, all right, director, play these games and just like recreate cool shit you do in games. Mm -hmm. Like The games are the blueprint for what you have to do. Well, yeah, because it could just be that we have the whole story be we we open seeing him in his environment just effortlessly um, doing an assassination, and then maybe the Eating story is a bigger target uniforms. where he's got like mo he he needs to plan this out more long term because this guy is incredibly elusive, and um, I don't know, like you've only got one chance to get him, and maybe there's a big broader story there, and he starts to learn about the target and maybe there's like an implication that this guy is actually a pretty cool person and he would want to protect him but it's all like a ruse or something it all leads to him ultimately executing on the mission you got options for a hitman film i don't think that it's an unworkable premise but uh yeah just the satisfaction of seeing someone who's very good at their job execute that job in a really cool believable in way, clever way. That's, it's like that's, it's yeah. that's its own reward Mm-hmm. Uh, Someone said, better idea, have Mel Brooks direct a hit-and-run comedy? Hit-and-run comedy? Oh, like a Simpsons hit-and-run comedy? A hit-and-run comedy? Is that a style of comedy I'm just not aware of? Hit-and-run comedy? Maybe they auto-corrected Hitman to hit-and-run? I don't know. Yeah, Peter Dinklage for Agent 47? Dude, I would watch the shit out of that. How is if you're if you're an assassin, but you're also a midget little person, whatever they want to be called, dwarf, and so you have to take that into account. So you can't like knock people out normally or things like that. So you have to play your strength. You're very conspicuous because you are a midget, right? And that's not usual. That's atypical. So people naturally have this sort of so they they notice you. Oddly enough, you're smaller, but people notice you more. Um, so you have to play that as an aspect of your assassination attempts and whatnot. That could be a nifty idea. Rags autocorrected hit and run from Hitman C. I'm fucking them smart. But yeah, I would, um, 
That'd be, that'd be interesting. A mel I bet that happened. Well, isn't that the whole like the whole get smart stick is like secret agents and that we'll not a hitman. He's not a hitman, but it's in the same yeah, in the same vein, a comedy of the secret agent comedy yeah. where they use gadgets and stuff. Well, the gadgets are always really weird and insane and <laughs> like far phone, the shoe that's the phone and all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the clearest example. <laughs> he, he has to take his shoe off and shoe put off. it to his ear. <laughs> yeah. Told someone. Oh, by the way, that someone posted this selection of four screenshots from the same YouTuber. Uh, pretty funny. The first one says, "Do not buy Elden Ring." Very disappointed. Ah, uh, I saw this. Yeah. That one says, "Elden Ring is a massive disappointment." Negative, and I think he's talking about reviews. And the next one says, "Elden Ring needs an easy mode." And the next one says, "I was so wrong about Elden Ring." <laughs> what <laughs> so, happened? I don't know. Nice. Went on an arc. That's nice though. Huh, the his arc, yeah. That's great to see that in a way. Yeah. Because I don't get I don't give a shit about Elven Elden Ring, but people seem to really love it, and it seems to be selling like hotcakes, so that's good. Yeah. Even better than hotcakes, because I don't even hear people talking about hotcakes anymore. That's the thing, they sell so much so all the time that people don't even talk about it. You just don't need to. You just it's like toothpaste, everyone's buying it, it's chill. Yeah. But yeah, apparently Elden Ring has crossed the twelve million sold thresh uh thresh mark. Thresh mark. So, yeah. Don't worry, we're not going to pick you up on that. Thresh mark. That's all fine. Yeah, I committed to it. Mm -hmm. It's a new thing. Let's make it happen. What about Jinx not having time to take the stone out of the case on the bridge in episode 7? Rewatch it. She sees Vi, shoots them, and the case is taken. I would recommend you rewatch it. There's a montage cut in that scene where Echo goes from just going past her to being all the way at the end of the bridge and then goes back to her. For the sake of the action, but she has plenty of time to pocket that gem in that scene. Um, yeah, get fucked. I, I heard the criticism before, and I was like, hmm, I'll check. Mm -hmm. And I can see why check people it. have the criticism. If you watch it, it does look like there's no obvious time where she would take the gem out of the thing. Um, but you just gotta watch how the scene progresses. She has a couple of opportunities if you think about the time that passes between each place that Echo mm -hmm. goes. So, is Sludge a worse form of goo? Well, Fringy has stepped uh, out at the most inopportune time, so we'll have to ask we'll... him because he's a resident. Uh, while the three Oops, of us at big. this point in our EFAP careers are Sludge experts, only he is a goo expert, so he'll have to we will, confirm. We will repeat the question when he returns from his adventure. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, this is... Free Jim. Uh, free Jim? F R I G Y M. Like a gym. Free Fry Jim. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. The next part says You can make a 10 million ants character, but use any animal on Earth. What animal do you use? So, what is a 10 million ants character? That's like in Rick and Morty. He's like a man that's made of ants. Walks around. I think he's called 10 million ants. He's just ants. Oh, okay. So a so I guess a creature made up of much many many smaller creatures. Yeah, but if we can use any animal, let's have ten million whales. Or is it walk through space? Ten million. That's. Oof, I don't know. What about? I'm thinking an animal that's. If if I could have any, I don't know. Um. I'm trying to think maybe like butterflies, like a whole bunch of butterflies in this walking shape. That could be neat because butterflies are very colorful. They are, that's they're true. They're their wings around. So maybe that would look coolio. Or you could have like crab, a crab man, the 10 million crab man. And he's all armored and he's pokey and he walks around and he's like and he fights crime maybe and bullets just bounce right off of him because he's made of crabs. Yeah, yeah, that could be the one. All right, crabs and butterflies, go nuts. Uh, Vinland Saga, unlike One Piece, is good and short. I mean, you know what? Discuss in the chat. You're gonna have to. Um, so Elden Ring will end with toothbrush anime talk. I think they're talking about uh, Theo's anime that he's watched has that weird toothbrush incest thing. 
some people talking about. I don't know. If it comes up, it comes up. Can crush incest? It was a weird thing. I don't know. I don't really know more about it, I'm afraid. Let me type it into Google. Toothbrush incest. It's literally the first thing that popped out. Popped up. Uh, the toothbrush incident. Here. Oh, he like... It's like a romance. He's brushing her teeth, but it's there's like hearts and shit. It's clearly um Yeah, it's clearly supposed to be like a yeah. They're using toothbrushing instead of fucking, I guess. And it's incest. Thoughts on adult male circumcision recommend? Fuck no. No, I don't. It should be fucking illegal. Yep. Uh, it's got a pass where a, anything of the sort in the same vein does not, and rightly so. Um, as in, they shouldn't have a pass. Yes, it is. Uh, it needs to stop happening. It is awful. Uh, where is my Uncle Ruckus quote of the day? I don't know. I, I think the, the Uncle Ruckus quote man is... is uh... I'm doing them. Yeah, I, I don't have um, a lot of recollection of a lot of his quotes off the top of my head. I'm black, but what's with the black Sith and women Imperial officer? No offense, but is Obi-Wan going woke? Um, so this is something I've seen people bring up. It's like, wow, the Nazis are higher in non-whites, huh? It's like, I don't think they were ever established to be... They're not actually Nazis. Yeah, like, they're not, they don't have any, like, race opinions in the Empire. I think they're just, I think they're just xenophobic a bit. I think it's supposed to be they're, they're like, a pro-human more than anything else. Um, even, even where people, like, draw an exception. Infer from kind of look I... into, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's definitely, I, as far as I know, they don't have any issue with black people. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, and you got all the bounty hunters hired as mercenaries. You got droids, aliens, and uh, all kinds of people. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think they ever cared that much. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I, as for whether or not it's going to be like, you know, it'll have like cringy lines or whatever plot lines based on people wanting to do stuff. Like, I, I always expect there's going to be some stuff in there. It's probable. Uh, but let's let's hope it's uh, something. Yeah, hope it's not. Try jumping. Twenty bloodstains surrounding the message. Yeah, that's a really cool element of this game. That's in all the From Software stuff, where it's like you see a ledge and you're like, "Ooh, there might be a secret down there if I jump." But it's just there's bloodstains everywhere, and bloodstains are um, this is a little pool of blood on the floor. You click A on it or hit A on it, um, and and it'll like show you the last five seconds of someone who died here. Um, and so if there's loads of bloodstains on the edge of a cliff, it's like, do not jump off the cliff. <laughs> that is a bad idea. Seeing the Batman got me in the mood to replay the first Lego Batman again. The hot take is that I think it's better than the complete saga. I think that's fair. I remember liking the Batman Lego game a lot. I have not played the Batman Lego game. My my experience with the bat with uh, sorry with the Lego games I think is just the oh which one was it? It was a Star Wars one. I think it was the Star Wars prequels one because the the home base was Dexter's diner. That's uh that's the, the original one, Lego yeah. Star Wars, right? Yeah, the first one, and then the original trilogy okay. was the second one, and then so the I've only played saga. the first one. Well, yeah, uh, I just remember liking Lego Batman. I might even, maybe I'll play that at some point on... Have you, uh, watched the Lego Batman movie? Yes. I've heard that's good. I like it, but I haven't seen it since it came out, but I remember enjoying it. I liked it. Oh. I didn't think it was good as a Lego movie. What was that? I didn't think it oh, was as good. Lego movie is very good. Uh, yeah, but the Lego movie is really strong, so... There but are a few I, I things like as good it. as the Lego movie. Well, I mean, here's, here's an... How does, uh... how? I think I would need to rewatch it, but I'm curious how well the Lego Batman movie stacks up to just all the other Batman films overall. That would be interesting, yeah. I wonder if the results would surprise us. 
Perchance it doeth. Maybe. Uh, so is sludge a worse form of goo? Um, well, sludge is what I... It's like MCU sludge. I think sludge is... Uh, I think sludge has more negative connotations than goo. Like, goo is a neutral word. Sludge isn't so much. I think that Fringy's right that sludge has... It, it doesn't have as many... It ha Sorry, sludge has more negative connotations than goo. Think about yeah. in the 90s how many kids commer how many commercials were about like build your own goo or edible goo or oh gooey you know and it's supposed to be like a fun thing like Nickelodeon slime well that's slime but you know you know that sort of thing Meanwhile, uh, but yeah. sludge is always sludge always seems like a runoff of something else going wrong uh oh yeah i think so I guess barring like gray goo, which describes when nano machines go so insane that they turn the whole world into gray goo. Maybe that's for the best. Well, just turn the world into a, gray, a little gray dot in the middle of space. Don't believe Fringy's lies. The wandering albatross is the largest known wingspan of any living bird. Okay. The, I, the wandering albatross. Let me look that up. I wonder. Albatrosses are pretty, uh, they're, they're big yeah. boys. I like how I wrote wandering as in, like, wandering. Wandering to itself, as opposed to wandering as in it goes all over the place and all around. You put uh, O yeah. instead of A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, a, it's it's, just a, a pensive bird. It is a pensive, pondering albatross. And it's quite but a no, wingspan. That, that, that a it's pensive, got, it's pondering got pinion wings. bearer. Yeah. Oh, but that one's from it. That's in uh, the southern hemisphere. So that's uh, it lurks. Oh, it just flies all across the ocean and everything. It's that's the name. That that would be the name of like a a, a black and white nineteen fifties horror movie. It lurks. It lurks. Well, there's it well, follows. I was gonna right? say the one I've been looking at. Show <laughs> yeah. you guys called it follows. <laughs> yeah, in the Tingler. Which also exists. The Tingler. Uh, no, this won't be read now, but Vi's prison number was 516. While, yes, V is 5, 1 is 1, when you add them together, that is 6. That sounds like more than a, of a fun meta joke than an in world reason for it. I think that's way too much of a coincidence to assume that it's not deliberate. I'm ready to give this show the credit. Absolutely. Whereas I wouldn't, aff I wouldn't afford another show that kind of credit, but this show has absolutely earned it. Yeah, like if this showed up in Boba Fett, I'd be like, that's a fucking coincidence. They never knew that was happening. Yeah, they don't know how they couldn't fucking spell Latin. So I, I'm absolutely ready to think that it's uh, something that they meant to do. Whoever that character in chat was that told me to get bent should chill himself out. Yeesh, lol. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that chill person. Out. Chill out, everybody. Roll be chill. Uh, who better, wrinkly green ball sack or baby massive bumble bundle of sticks? This is Grogu versus Groot. Groot's better than Grogu. I mean, if Easily. that's the question, yeah, Groot, Groot and I are Grogu. It's not even close. <laughs> close. It's not, it's even, not even. It's not even. Not even close. Sounds like a weird fusion of close Grogu and Groot. <laughs> Krogus. Pro Goose. Oh, boy. Vi's ultimate used to be called Assault and Battery. Seems suitable, I guess. EFAP reacting to the That's Kenobi trailer. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you know what? Just carry on. Just go. You go. EFAP reacting to the Kenobi trailer. Me. I don't like sand. Also, also, the transport wagon where Obi-Wan was sitting, will that be the story of the gun train? I mean, I, I, mm, I think you're hoping for too much. I don't think they're going to do that. I, I, we'd all like to see the return of the gun train, okay? I'm not denying that. And that's the kind of fan service we actually need. But, um... Yeah, more gun train, less... Yeah. We all need more gun train in our lives. Uh, also, hi, Rags, and love you all. Hello to you. Oh, thanks. Oh, nice. Obi-Wan yeah. in the shot where he's in the city area, he's the only one in robes. So much for blending in. Is there going to be a l so little attention to detail? 
Blinkit voice. Uh, maybe the force hit him. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I really do avoid jumping the gun with trailers because we don't have context, but I understand yeah. it's completely fair to assume there won't be anything that makes it better. Um, and that's it for the Kenobi catch-up. Let's oh. press on. Got... Unfortunately, I didn't name these as well as I could have. This one says catch-up for the catch-up. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm not sure, so we're just going to have to sort of uh, guess from the context of the Super Chats. Here we go. Right. Mola, you pansexual. Keep away from my Teflon. Very well. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Vengeance, when? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, yeah. not Metal Gear Solid Vengeance. <laughs> Get it right. Um... And as for if I would play that on a stream sometime, probably. I don't see why not. Again, it's fun as hell. Frog. Then there's the whole Armstrong bit, which is hilarious too. Oh, speaking of which, the next question is Frog, thoughts on Armstrong? Um, for a character who shows up in the last level and is the big bad for the whole game, it is a surprising example of a character showing up right at the end, pretty much not present for the whole game at all, and stealing the show. Armstrong is hilarious. I really like Armstrong. Of course, he birthed many great memes. <laughs> many, many, many. Yeah, great there has memes. been a, there has been a Metal Gear renaissance, shall we say, of these memes happening. Yeah, and I don't know what Armstrong. I don't know what triggered it. I don't know how that happens. Um, Armstrong's he, just really funny. Is he the guy that says, "My sources, I made it the fuck up." My sources, uh, I made yeah, it yeah. the fuck well, up. He, so, yeah, he is, because uh, of course, there's Nano Machine's son. That's, uh, that yeah. was his line. He says, we'll make America great again. Um, really? And this game came out in 2013. Um, and he's like, wow. he's like a, um, yeah, he's, uh, he gives this big speech. Basically, his whole ideology is that uh, he thinks that, like, he, he, he's like, uh, I think, I think, like hyper libertarian he basically wants everybody to like fight for uh for for like their world like he's he's very 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 pro individualism uh to the point that he believes that well so the thing with him is that he doesn't really he thinks like the weak should die that nobody should stand up for them whereas okay. like Ra raiden is <laughs> well, yeah so like raiden's logic is that he is strong so he's gonna stand up for the weak and that's their what a hero um well yeah it's it's his uh big ol that's uh and and yeah like he uh he's he just comes out of nowhere like right at the end he just appears like he's not really present in the rest of the game and then right at the end he shows up and he's this big bad boss who like is basically unbeatable until you get a super duper sword and even when you fight him he's really hard uh to beat he he was a really cool boss fight um and he just says a lot of yeah, and then you've got the song there as well. Um, that 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 game has a really cool soundtrack, um, and it does the thing that I wish more games do. Though admittedly, a lot of games do do it now as well, uh, where it has like yeah. dynamic music that changes based on what's happening. So like it'll play the standard music, and then when you initiate the big old quick time event to beat the boss, it like kicks in the chorus. It's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, rules of nature. That was that was. I think that's the point when you realize that you're in for a really cool game. Um. Yeah, I I like Armstrong. He he. Uh, he it's uh. I guess the thing is, is that I I am not super familiar with Metal Gear uh, as a series. Um. So I I don't know like how much Armstrong slots into that world. Um. Or that game in general slotting into that world, but uh. He's, he's, yeah, he's, an, he's a, he's a fun character. I learned from the book of Biden Fett that cut your prices is a legitimate way to combat inflation. This is the bad timeline. High rags, fringy, and more. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? That a cut prices stops inflation? I have no clue if that's what he actually said. <laughs> what? Yep. It no no it make it makes sense if money is worth less then if you get less when you get rid of things then that will well sort it's like the print out. more money meme right if you're out of money just print more money <laughs> that'll fix the problem. Um, have you guys noticed that Fringy always denies any inquiry on his goo? I mean, you'd think he'd throw us a bone or two, even just to throw us off. I'm beginning to think his goo doesn't even exist. 
I, dude, I talked about, I talked about, uh, my guru just earlier. Well, I mean, they, they feel differently. Okay. I, why would I tell you that it's green if I don't want to talk about it? Yeah, that's true. That is some information, you know. Print money like Dimitri in slide two. Nice reference, my dude. <laughs> like, that's, that's a, you're really reaching into the, um, into the more obscure world for that one. I recently came across a saying, a man with many hats doesn't like his haircut, and can't for the life of me figure out what it means. Also, high rags. Hello! Um, I guess they're saying that to have that many hats must mean he doesn't want people seeing his hair, or he doesn't like his hair. But I mean, that's kind of a reach. Could be a lot of reasons why you have man, hats. Yeah, man, the, that's what... They say the man who wears many hats is someone who is ashamed of his his do. I true, think Confucius though? said that. I think Confucius said that. Yeah. I don't know. That's Confucius a... say, Confucius say, man who drops watch in toilet is bound to have shitty time. Yeah, that 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 makes sense. <laughs> Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Hi. Wings quote of the day. I feel like a bum in a lot of aspects of my life. Like being a fat piece of shit. I can't do what most normal men can do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's getting along, you know. He's doing it. What's amazing is that through... You don't have to get very far into these quotes to know the source. Yeah. Uh, also, Boda's quote is dog whimpers. He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> dog whimpers. Uh, Fringy, best Mr. Frog voice, please. Say, I'm Mr. Fring, this is my show, I make the goo, there is no goo, all a lie, I scammed you. Oh my god. I'm not gonna read that last part, um, but I'll read, I'm Mr. Fring, this is my show, I make the goo, and that's all you're gonna get, because that last part, bullshit. Couldn't it, couldn't it be said in an ironic way, like, Haha, I'm pretending to be the evil villain? There is no goo. It's all a lie. I scammed you. All right, nah. I guess not. All right. Yeah. No. All right, that's no, fair enough. You can't be joking about these things. I understand. Uh, just beat Godric first try. I'm confused. Yeah, I um, I struggled with Margit a lot, and then Godric was right up after, and uh, that was my first try as well. I was like, oh, okay. But then again, you fight Gondrick more than once, so I'm not sure if you're referring to a different one, maybe. I don't know. Hey, Mola, Fringy, and Rags. Hello. 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 Just curious uh, if any of you happen to know about the recut of The Last of Us 2 by Neocranium. It makes the story a lot more coherent. It's still got its issues, but I think it's a lot better. No, I haven't heard I can it. believe that if you severely cut that film, or that, that film with gameplay into something completely different then it would be better, yes. The more you take out of it, the better it gets, theoretically, yeah. I agree. I, that, I, that is catastrophic storytelling. I see the people still talking about that inflation. Can you post that inflation while so I can read it <laughs> again? I'm not, I just, out of, I just want to read into it now. Uh, EFAP's behind on Batwoman by 22 oh, episodes. Right. <laughs> Update, please. Wait, you want me to post it? I don't have it anymore. Well, you had the... Oh, you don't have... Oh, it's gone. Got lost what? to the ether. No, no, no. <laughs> right. I delete these as I go, but also just... Ah. What do you... The, the, it was what I said. It's just... Uh, all so the, what, it was three what words. Was the, what, was the, what was the quote again? Just cut prices, I think. Was that... Okay, right. Uh, okay. I thought Hold you on, meant someone I mean, in I chat post the quote. Oh, well, I mean, if someone in chat has the quote, I just want to read into it now. <laughs> Exactly. Well, the best, I mean, Joe Biden cut prices, inflation should probably get you it okay. if it exists. Yeah, um, thanks to death of the author, I can say Fringy is really a, a hut whose goo is the cream he harvests and devours daily. I mean, you could say that, but it's not canonical. Yeah. Uh, I will not say high rags for peace. This is a threat. Oh, what? Damn. Hey, Fringy, want a quick laugh? Check out Smiling Saiyans. It's 10 seconds. Really funny. 
smiling Saiyans. I'm gonna lose this Mario Kart race, so this this better be funny. Oh, smiling God. Saiyans. If it ain't funny, things are gonna come crashing down. <laughs> That's a good meme. <laughs> hey, he locked. He, you're, all, you're all good. Uh, Rags, how the family doing? Mola, same. Also, you gay. So, they're asking me how my family's doing? They're I suppose doing so. all right, as far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know, everyone's doing a okay. Same for me. Uh, um... So, oh, by the way, the Biden quote is, uh, we have a choice, Biden said. One way to fight inflation is to drive down wages and make Americans poorer. I have a better plan to fight inflation. Lower your costs, not your wages. But Which is different if, than well, lowering well, your wait, prices. Wait. I, lower your costs, not your wages. But I mean, Lower your lower, costs, not your wages. But, but the lower costs have to be offset somewhere by somebody making less money, right? They don't think it's that's like the, if you're, like if my you're thinking you know what I mean? like this, my energy prices go down, the energy company makes less money, and if the energy company makes less money, then someone's making less money. You and your multi-dimensional thoughts have no place here. You need to lower your costs. Multi-dimensional, <laughs> like it's just, yes, it's two D. I'm, I'm just asking the next question. Two D. Like, yeah, the, your your two step thought process needs to. Yeah, Frank, you calm the fuck down, Jesus. Uh, but, 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 uh, hey, Fringy, hope you're having a good day. Yeah. The well, only right place, so the only place thumbnail of the day is the one for the visage let's play. Visage. Only plays visage. Okay. Uh, it's visage. Is it? I, I wasn't sure, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your, vi your visage is. Uh, your visage is your face, essentially. Oh, right. We know like, what it means. Like, we're form. just we're not sure how to pronounce. Oh, all right. Know. Take, take a look at that. Would, that is man. uh that's a that's a good thumbnail. Look at that. Oh my god. Oof. Cool. Um. Has anyone noticed how Fringy and Darth Plagueis are never seen in the same room? I I mean. That doesn't bother me. I, 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 don't, I don't see that as proof of anything, personally. Hmm. Uh, 3D Squelton is beautiful. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, Fringy Best Fun Twins Impression, please. Fun Twins? Sorry, what? I think they're in the episode with, um, Salties. Uh... Smiling friends, fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. I just. Fun twins, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing this impression. So I need to do an impression of the fun twins. Oh, I remember them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the fun twins. Oh, that was a pretty good impression, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Remember one of them just, like, spits acid on Pim? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> The animation on them was really great. They're just waving around. They're constantly moving. That but they stand still for a tell second. their weird as fuck story. And uh, Charlie's just like, how did you understand any of that? Like, it's <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because their story is being communicated. <laughs> Good I can't do that man. forever. I'm there like choking on my coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to do their voice while I got coffee going down. The old... Uh, um, I want Sabaton to make a song about the Emu War. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Should do it. Besides, in the Jurassic Park books, it only goes to the second movie. The series ends with all the dinos dying out due to an issue with their genetic code, which is something they address in um in the movies. At some point, they have like a requirement, uh, like an injection has to go into them every so often to keep them alive of something, I can't remember what it is, but um, they argue that there is some plant that they're getting the uh, replacement for it from. I don't remember exactly what it is. 
Uh, scrolls bleed blue, not red. I don't remember why this came up. Uh, no idea. I'm afraid I have lost context on that one. Uh, so, what do you think of Disney trying to tie in the sequels to the new shows? Personally, I don't think you'd change and recontextualize the sequels in any way possible. Uh, the writing is just that bad. It'd be hard to I mean, tell. Any the most way possible? Can, in any way possible? Uh, it, I'm not going to rule out that it isn't possible, but I can't see I how you know. do yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know how I'd do it, but I, it's got to be possible, right? I suppose it's harder to retcon. Well, actually, yeah, I guess both before and after have their ways. Because technically, both speaking, before and after absolutely have their ways. It's the concern with Obi Wan; you can fuck him up. Um, yeah, I'm less concerned about what repairing they'll do. I'm concerned about the damage they're going to do. Yeah, well, I, guess I don't believe they're capable of repairing. By the way, yeah, like this is it's, more tied to the people really making hard. it than the potential in general. Yeah. Well, I, I guess the first thing would be identifying clearly what went wrong, like identifying in very. I don't know that there's much recognition of the fact that the First Order just, like, don't make a lot of sense as an organization that exists in this world, or the Republic. Yeah. Um, and that's, like, one of the big problems with the world building. Uh, we should rename the term GigaChad to Volodymyr Zelensky. I'll go for it. Animal of the day, Homo sapien. Ooh, I know that one. That's us. Those guys, those lads are impressive. Do you see how much shit they've done on this planet? Yeah, a lot of people I mean, hate them, though. They, um, they've garnered a lot, lot of them, enemies. Them humans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes it feels like Fringy retcons and writes his goo so that he has z negative z uh, zero negative properties. I'd like to call it Mary Goo. Good goo has flaws. Very goo. I, well, I've never said that my goo is like a 100% be all, do every single thing possible. I've never said that. Yeah, we kind of discussed parts of this before. Like, would you consider water to be Mary Sue-ish? Like, it's pretty good, but, in the sense, you know. But water's pretty good. It's, it's, it's useful in a variety of different circumstances. Yeah. But we don't call it like a Mary Sue. You know, that's a bit it's silly. Mm -hmm. Um, they will send. You've never said anything about the goo. That's not true. I'd said in the, earlier in the stream that it's that it's green. And that's got to count for something. And how can I be a snake goo salesman? I haven't opened up for Series B funding. I haven't. I haven't done any Kickstarter for the goo or like entered into manufacturing. There is no pre-orders. There is no product to sell yet. We're still in the R and D phase. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course it's green. You're green. That's a given. Now you, good sir, need to think about what you just said. And I would recommend that you sit down and just think about what you've just said. Read a and book about how bad that thing you said is. Why you would, why you would think in such a, a way. Yeah. Uh, they will send the T1 pronoun back in time. Oh, the... I can't remember if that's a reference to the girl from um, uh, Dark Fate. I don't remember what yeah. model she was considered. I guess she was just a person, right? She had, like, mods. The, it was Grace, right? She was a human that had been modified. Yeah, but wasn't yeah. it like she could? She expends energy so quickly she, like, almost kills herself unless she gets certain random drugs from... I think so. Yeah. God damn, that movie. Yeah. Um... Do, 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 do you want to wash Wang or want to watch Wang wash Wang? Do I want to wash it or watch it wash it? Yeah. I don't know. I think I need more information. Yeah, I need more context. Otherwise, I feel like it's a meaningless answer. I don't know. That reminds me, Jared will be 40 in just a few years. Oh, good for him. Good, 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 good for him. This one just says sup fringy. Oh, hey. Yeah. Sorry, I'm oh. still thinking about that inflation thing. So, like, if, if, <laughs> if you're, if you, if you do. You thought about it longer than he did. Sorry, it's just, 
because like general, you know, I think I think most people understand that basically like inflation is dictated by like the supply of money, right? How much how much money is there of uh, like how much is there of a certain? Obviously, there are other factors that bleed into it, but like the current the amount of currency is a factor. But what does like lowering prices have to do with the supply of money in the market? I think you just have to batten down the hatches and deal with it until like, it's kind of do, over. Do you go, you like, gotta... like lower prices, but the, there is a certain amount of money that exists in the market. Like I'm not saying, I, I guess it's... <laughs> yeah, sorry. We, we're getting distracted. Back to the super chats. Uh, just seen a YouTube short called Arcane was good, at char its characters weren't. He says he didn't root for any characters because they were thieves, corrupt, etc. I've actually got that queued up for our multimedia medley since it only lasts one minute, I think. Well, our next multimedia medley, whenever that may be. Whenever that arises. Multimedia medley was, was, was fun the first time around. So many interesting topics. Oh, yeah. It seemed like all of you people really liked uh, the multimedia medley. Yeah, you weirdos. So we'll I liked it, it again. too. But I am a weirdo, so it checks out. Mm-hmm. Animal of the day, Chinese hourglass spider. I, I hear Baluk. Chinese hourglass spider. Okay. Yeah. Man, look at this lad. Uh, cutting prices will also cut wages, lowering purchase power to consumers. Um, w sure, but like, what does that? How does that affect the the supply of money in the market, though? Uh, it's kind of like a that weird... is a cool looking spider. Look at that! Look at that! Uh, big old butt there. Oh yeah, like that pattern. It it, it comes across like what is I'd see this in to... Resident Evil or something. It what? Sorry, what's this spider called again? The the uh, Chinese hourglass spider. Why is he? Yes. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm looking up why it's uh, shaped like that. Um, uh, they, they, uh, da, 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 da. so their their rear ends are shaped like that. It looks like it's so that they can burrow down into holes and then plug it up with their fucking thick ass. Neat. And then it leaves just something weird on top that doesn't really, I guess it doesn't look bug like. And so people don't really, or people, I say people, other, you know, things, things trying to eat the spider don't really notice. Um, inflation is not just about the supply of money, it's about the value of said money in terms of buying power. Yeah, sure. But like you would have to, what, like, so more so money. The, so the, so the to... question would be is like, if you say that you want to decrease um costs like it how right like in what way uh for instance you could o if there's like an oversupply i mean it's basic supply and demand right if there's an oversupply of goods if there are more if goods if the de if the supply of goods outstrips demand then that would lower prices but like the, the question is going to be well how do you do that like it's easy to identify specifically like the things that need to happen or, or i guess like the broad economic um uh, things that need to happen, but like how we do it is kind of the question after that. Because fiscal policy be hyper complicated. Sorry, I keep I just keep saying that we need to move on from it. Just, yeah, I yeah I don't know. Princess Bride, EFAP movies, Maulers. Do you know England is your city? I I, I keep hearing about that. Yeah, and uh, Princess Bride, EFAP movies could work. I think on board with that. I don't think I've seen Princess Bride. I think that's actually one of the suggestions for our little uh, war movie arc we've got it going. It was, yeah, it is. Whatever that arc is. Whatever it is. Uh, the Rhino Milk store is right down the road. Okay. Um, and then they say, in the next sentence, For no reason. You also get to look at women, high rags, green man, and the massive. Ah! Oh. Yes. Howdy. Uh, no. I see TFA 5 Friday noon since nothing else is happening. Um, not quite. Maybe a Friday noon someday. But, uh, not, not quite yet, you know. 
I think I enabled mm. true hard mode in Elden Ring on PC. Periodically, my screen goes black and all I can see is blood stains and particle effects. That does sound like the most difficult mode, I will say. <coughs> I think the most important part of storytelling is intent. Your story is hugely impacted by what the writer intends to achieve. What do you think? Um, I mean, I would agree that it is hugely impacted by what the writer intends to achieve, but I guess it's a question of well, what does that, what do we mean by essential? I guess it's essential that somebody has an intention to tell a story in a certain way, but uh, I guess it can always turn out differently, right? Like what you intend is not necessarily what's going to arise, and that might not be a bad thing. So I guess I don't yeah. know like how how we would think about intention in that you know in that respect. Yeah, the way you would try and figure that out is like, well then, in the times where it, their intention mattered or didn't matter to how good it was, what was the thing that decided it? And then you might figure it's something else. For example, how consistent things were. Something else? I don't know. Any tips on shopping for first PC in today's market? Love all you guys, all homo. Look up, thanks. Look up uh, PC build and then put in the price that you are, uh, your budget, and then you will find so many resources that can uh, help you figure out what kind of build you would, uh, you'd want. Yeah, and so yeah. Like especially these online. days when prices are odd. There are a lot um, of resources for it. I think mm -hmm. PC Pot Picker is a relatively a popular one. one. You can watch Linus Tech Tips, they probably have a helpful video that just summarizes it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and I guess it's also, yeah, when you think about your budget, just think about what kind of, uh, are you, if you're going, like, cutting edge, if that's something you're aiming for, that's, uh, that'll cost you a bit more. Um, but I mean, you, you, you're not going to go wrong if you even get, like, a 800 to, then again, I don't know how, I, I think I'm out of date. I, when I think about PC prices, I'm thinking about, like, five or six years ago, not now in the current landscape. It might be more expensive than I thought to, uh, to build a PC, but you, you'll find the resources out there. Um, yeah, um, it's there are so many different places to find builds. There are so many channels on YouTube that will tell you more than you'll ever need to know about computer components. Something um, to think about, though, is uh, mm. think about what games you want to play. If you're playing like League or Counter-Strike or um, a lot of the bigger PC games that are kind of built to be run, uh, run well on lower end computers. If those are the types of games that you're interested in playing, you don't need to spend a whole lot. Um, but if you're interested in playing like Elden Ring or something, then again, I don't know. Maybe that's not a good example. If you're if you're looking to play games that are like sort of on cutting edge in terms of visuals, then um, you probably want, will be, need to be looking at a higher price. Like if you, if you want to play the games that are typically releasing on current gen consoles, it'll it'll cost you a bit more, but uh, not too much. Plenty of resources out there, though. Uh, would any of you gents know where I can find the song that plays for the second intro of EFAP One Fifty One? Actually, this person asked me on um an Elden Ring stream and i managed to uh figure it out for him so we all good on that so refer to that yeah um also hola senor rags hola for halloween this year y'all should be lion tin man and scarecrow from oz <laughs> i like that i mean yeah, was... if rags Blame. rags is the lion mola the tin man i'll be the scarecrow i'm sure i don't know we'll which about would i be the, the out. would i be which one would i be I feel I'm not like saying no, you're a coward, man. Rags. Don't worry. No, we're not. There's no presumptions here about uh. Is it because like is because I mean he sees the most animal like. Yeah, I figured that much. was. <laughs> <laughs> um. And and so you're the which one are you, Fringy? I figured I'd go with a scarecrow. That might be cool. A scare. I mean, I think, think about it. scarecrow. I, would, uh, I got a bird beak looking thing. It's kind of Halloweeny in a way. It and Mahler is. is he's got Ten his man. robot idea, he's and he's no got heart. metal got mask, no heart, yeah. and he has no heart, yeah. and he kills art. Yeah. It, you yeah, I mean, it feels appropriate. You like, feel like the best sad. choices. Yeah. They do feel so, very appropriate. Who's gonna be Dorothy? Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> oh. <what? laughs> Who would battle be at that a point? Halloween costume? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Dorothy, the Halloween costume. Because, you know, when you go really chill on Halloween, a lot of people just dress up as anything. They're just recognizable. Sure. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, maybe maybe blood splatter the costume and be like, it's an alternative interpretation of Oz. It's Dorothy when it was Leela and she killed everybody. <laughs> she wanted to be a witch. Metal is Toto. Okay, that works. Well, who is Oz? As... Ooh, who is Oz the Great? Maybe Oz is Oz. As is Oz, yeah. Um, like a giant floating as is, head. Yeah. Who is Oz? Uh, uh, as? I feel like we've It's almost like he ignored you completely, but that's okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of. I heard what you said. I'm, I'm like thinking if. There was if just no there's... acknowledgement, that's all. Hmm. Movie Bob is Oz. <laughs> Movie Bob is. Who's, so, that, so wait. So who's the witch then? Is he going to be. Oh, oh, of course he's the witch because he's like allergic to water. <laughs> uh, like allergic to vegetables or something. <laughs> it all yeah. lines up, doesn't it? <laughs> this is built for a parody. It's it's all good to go. Uh oh, lagging again. Is the uh, is the stream is right? It's lagging. It, it looks like it's okay to me. I yeah, certainly hope so. Remember, if there is lag, first think on whether it's your end <laughs> before before. Uh, Actually, um, awesome. I was listening to Mel's stream at one point. And I was like, man, the audio in the game is, like, deep fried. What the fuck's going on? I, I, I was almost going to, like, be like, it's definitely your problem. Something's going on. And I was like, wait, maybe it's my problem. And I clipped the stream and listened to it in clip form, and the audio was fine. And I was like, it is my problem. What the fuck? Uh, also, this is a tangent. Vosh just uh, says that he's been blocked by ContraPoints. Oh, Twitter. shit. Nice. Yeah, it's like, well <laughs> done, then. <laughs> Uh, right. I guess so. Uh, yeah. Well, I think, because I saw a tweet, I don't know who liked it, but, um, I mean, like, he said, like, the Chad streamer who will not back down from his opinions versus the Virgin video essayist who deletes all their tweets or something like that. Oh, boy. Big old fights going on on Twitter. <laughs> Another normal yeah. day. No, if, if you're not on Twitter, well... <laughs> Or alternatively, don't use Twitter very often. It's just a the Thursday or a Wednesday, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Whatever time it is, wherever you are in, Dude, uh, in the world. It's so weird because, like, you can never even grasp subjects, really, on Twitter. You only ever see pieces. No, because people... Well, and also because of, like, quote tweeting, right? It's like, yeah. you can't keep track of anything because quote tweeting... Ah, uh, quote tweeting just feels like you're calling in backup, you know? Like, that's that's kind of what's happening. Uh, Drama. Rags, what do you think about Russian army effectiveness? They seem to use dumb tactics like the Red Army in World War II. What I'm prepared to say is that I am not a military logistics or strategic expert. And so all I can say is that I am probably not the person to be giving opinions on this sort of thing because it's just not really my field of expertise. But it does seem like uh, there was quite a scuffle that I don't think Russia was ready for. So, who will? Who knows what the results will be? Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Mm hmm. Uh, hey Rex, if you ever f have frontal lobe damage and suddenly have an interest in JRPGs, try the Dragon Quest series. All right, I will. Write that down because I I do keep a um a file on my computer in case of brain damage. Start play in case of brain damage. Start playing JRPG. You have a file okay. that says that. All right. <laughs> yeah. Good to keep. Yeah, an eye to on myself. That. Yeah, my old self will guide the new as uh as it should be. Uh. Catching up on the stream and at the art discussion, instead of discussing if a thing is or isn't art, it would be more productive to discuss if a thing is or isn't good or bad art. Also, high rags. Hello. That's uh, like, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's my preferred uh, no. conversation. Well, we, still, we, what is we do typically do that, though. That's like, you know, if someone came into the doors and wheels conversation was like, is there really any benefit to discussing this? It's like, well, maybe not, but I mean, we're having fun. It's fine. <laughs> like it could last for a little bit. It's gonna be okay. It's not like we regularly talk about what constitutes a piece of art, right? It's a fun conversation to have, but ultimately, it's it's all art. Like as far as I'm concerned, all films, all TV shows, like it's it's what whatever. Like instead of this thing of like, well, no, you see, like a superhero movie that isn't art. That's just like entertainment. 
but uh i don't know taxi driver that's artists like they're it's all artistic expression you know um feels like a um it feels like every time you have that conversation it's always going to be bogged down by semantics rather than if we just be honest with ourselves it's like it's all art but whether or not it's good or bad i guess we can like at least we can have that conversation on uh common ground because we have to reference what's in the film regardless yeah. of our perception of its artistic merits you know Speaking of Twitter, by the way, I just saw there's a video out, apparently. I guess it could be like a documentary, I don't even know, but it says, Hassan explains how he became the top political uh, pundit of that, our generation. Yeah. Like, I'm very that... uncomfortable that that is something you can say and it's not really a lie. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> even, is, is, he, is he even The answer though, might really? depress you. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Anyway. Yeah. Springy, you're coming into a man and his wife. Wait, well, I'm sorry. This is nice. apparently, apparently that's nice, a quote Springy. from you. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe they chopped there, it playing? from uh, yeah. the different half of the sentence. But yeah, apparently you quote well, saying you're coming into a man and his wife. So know. something I've noticed is uh, I sometimes throw in redundant words or phrases into my sentences, and it's uh, it's something I'm trying to work on. Um. I've noticed it feels like is something I say often, uh, instead of just, uh, just saying what I think. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I think my language has become increasingly laden with, um, prefaces and qualifiers, and I, I want to stop it. I think qualifiers are just harm language. Uh, not, not the prefaces aren't valuable, it's just that uh, over-reliance on prefaces can make sentences confusing. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying to work on that. Brevity is the soul of wit, after all. Better character. Yeah, you see that? I'm trying speeches. to work on that. Why didn't I just say I'm working on it instead of I'm trying to... Fuck me. <laughs> I'll get there. Um, has anyone besides Rags ever engaged in any sort of sodomy? Nope. What? Sorry. What? What is that? I I've lost the what? definition of that word. It's just gone. Which word? <laughs> what was the question? I don't know who's fucking with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Well. Um, so, so have uh, has anyone besides Rags ever engaged in any sort of sodomy? Was the question. Yeah, what is that? It it is uh, generally refers to anal or oral sex. Oh no! Oh, I thought it but only meant more anal. More generally, it's gay sex. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's yeah, it's generally used for having gay sex, sex with the gayness involved, gayness and the anus, as they say. Yeah. Uh, your light. Wait. Your light touching on fire reminded me of the most recent video of Sacred Cow Shipyards, one of my new favorite creators. Besides you guys, of course. Your light touching on fire? What, what, your light... what? I'm s <sighs> I'm like, I don't even know where to begin in figuring that out. Your light touching on fire, is that the name of a song? Is that so, are you referencing something that we had that went on fire? Is it... Your light touching on fire reminded me of the most recent video of Sacred Cow Shipyards. Oh, I'm so out of the loop on that one. But, um, I'm glad you enjoy whatever that may be. And, um, I'm afraid I just don't understand what you mean by that. Uh, no, but I wish you the best of luck, and I hope that you can get a pass to leave the hospital when you need it. Cuphead Netflix show? Also high fringy. Oh, uh, hey, I watched the first few episodes. I like it, but it wasn't, uh, it was, it was funny, but not ha-ha funny. That's kind of where I'm at, but I, I do like it, and I'm glad it exists. Yay. My dad worked for Jeb Bush's campaign, where he ran for governor of Florida. There's a picture of him holding me as a baby. Oh my god. You got held by so the anointed, the Jeb. The anointed one, Jeb the anointed, the felled. Felt, <laughs> felt by a lack of clapping. Yeah, 
Kind of. Poor guy. Um, Calm down. It's oh, just amusing before, to me. It's funny. I don't know why. But before you move on to the next meme, Goger has graced us with this uh, meme based on something that uh, that you said, Mahler. I think Fine. you'll enjoy it. One second. <laughs> There we go. I know this. It's Matrix. And yes, even though we were limited to 12 screens, we can chop up some of them into multiple more screens. That's how that works. I would be on board with this. There's a lot you can learn from Shrek. And it's many moments. Uh, but yeah, that, that is that section done now as well. That's a ca another catch-up. Nailed. Yay! Um, oh, that's cool. Now, we usually aim to make these between three and four hours, so what do you guys want to do? I'm fine continuing if you guys would like to. Uh, let's, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, or should we, uh, have we catched up on the ones from this stream? Oh, no, we haven't even started them. We should probably do those then, and then by that, then that would probably be the end of that. One second. Okay. Okay. Gotta scroll up to the top. Say that I'm doing that so that we delay the dead air. Okay. All right. Uh, TFYI, there's a new mode in Gartic Phone. Ah. Huh. You might just find. We. I mean, I can't see why we wouldn't play that again at some point. We uh, we jump in every once in a while. Phone is fun. The only play's thumbnail of the day is Kingdom Hearts 2. The only play's going to... Okay. Uh, I'm in the middle of a Mario Kart race, so I can't look at that. Um, that won't be enough. Only plays. That'll be enough. Oh my god. Uh, I will I will post it for you, don't worry. Don't you panic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Julian coming out of Goofy's face. <laughs> like, oh my god. Goofy looks like he's in so much trouble. <laughs> Uh, so on Twitter, a San fan responded to Jay and said, If he blocked you, I may as well block you. And someone else responded. What? Someone else responded, He won't fuck you. And the Hassan fan said, You don't know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I... don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably with a full stop at the end, played totally straight series. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, it says, I love when Fringy moans in frustration. Oh, hmm. okay. Yeah, all right. Hey, Mola, that, thanks. You know, that, that might happen if you engage in sodomy, which you haven't. I've, I've heard. What's the next super chat? Hey, Mola, thanks for your TFA coverage. Your rants on the movie have helped me get through my first playthrough of Dark Souls. Just got to Blight Town. Oh, man. That's, uh... <laughs> that's that's... Sad. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, like that's gonna be a fun time for him. Blight Town is famously a nightmare for new Dark Souls players, so good right. luck with literally, that. Literally a town I mean, of Blight. Blight Town, yeah. It is, exactly, it's Blight incarnate. <laughs> Um, the only place Crash Bandicoot thumbnail is great. Let me look that one up. <laughs> Morley, I've sent you memes on Discord. Hope you like. I will have a look at some point. But I will say, um, I don't know if you've <laughs> seen all of our catch-up minis. I'm trying to bring, bring them out on um, uh, on Moolah as fast as I can and stuff. But uh, the there are some, I think... That I've seen you sent me on on Twitter that we have looked at before, um, so and and obviously some get saved for uh, just our, our meme fab, which we need to do another one of as well. Oh, we got so many <laughs> things to do. <laughs> These thumbnails are great. 
was so good. Oh, let me send you the crash warped one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Those are great. Uh, but yeah, uh, good to hear that they're helping you get through Dark Souls. Well, it sounds like a fun companion piece. Did you know that England is your is a city in Arkansas? I I think someone I else mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy music of the day main theme from Final Fantasy One. Love you, Efap. Thanks. I, I mean, yeah, it's, I'm sure it's pretty neat. Yeah, good stuff. Um. I thought Zack Snyder's movies were peak edge, then I started playing Strangers of Paradise. That game eclipses even Shadow the Hedgehog in terms of pure edge, and I love it. I have no idea what that game is. I think that's a new Final Fantasy game that came out recently, like a spin-off or something. Fair enough. Um, have you thought about a movie fap of Ron Underwood's Tremors? Uh, I, I'm on board with doing Tremors. Tremors is awesome. Just a, it's just a well-rounded, fucking solid movie. Uh, also, yeah, it's really good. Um, ARG of the day, Mystery Flesh Pit. Look it up, Mystery Flesh Pit. This does not sound like something. I think I'd rather not. Uh, yeah, that. Look, I did it again. I said I think I'd rather not than just saying I'd rather not. Idiot. Well, I mean, Stupid. Okay. Nothing it's wrong. not okay. It'll be alright. No, You'll won't. make it. No, I won't. Oh, fuck. Why does this thing exist? Is this fiction or whatever? Mystery flesh pit in the National Park? What is happening? Yeah, I'm looking through this. This is like a like an SCP kind of thing. It's this massive... So it's like a massive pit that's just full of like like a massive body or a set of internal organs and stuff and you could go and visit it and look around on the inside. It's like being on the inside of a giant body that's underground. Nice. I guess great that that's um... Interesting. Ew. Anyway. Uh... And animal of the day Propsis monkey I cactus. I assume that's for you, Fringy. I really don't know. Wait, what? Yeah. It's cactus? definitely for Fringy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, something to do with cactus and cacti, right? Or what? <laughs> what was the question? I'm I'm lost. I don't. Well, they said hi, cactus, and I said that's probably for you. Nice. Oh, okay. Props this monkey looks. Uh... Pretty neat. I could see him being used in an animated movie to be the wise character. Oh, fucking hang on. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? No. It's an odd looking monkey. Uh all right. Rags is definitely a Sith Lord. He's always using force interruption during super chats, which is a dark side force move. Oh. So true. Look, nothing but silence. I'm using my force powers to choke them from across the galaxy. Damn. The mean? How do you know you got the right guy? You might be choking some random. The force. A good answer. Uh, top three Star Wars movies, MCU movies, and Pixar movies. Top. Can you post that just so I can. Top three. Yeah. Well, if we start with so Star Wars, I'm assuming I, we all have the same answer. Oh, Empire, yeah, New like Hope, Empire, Return of the Jedi. New Hope and Return of the Jedi. That's about that. Okay. So done that one. Nice. <laughs> all right. So MCU, MCU. movies. Uh, Civil War. Ooh, yeah. actually. Uh, oh, uh, my. T it'd be Civil War. Favorite. Homecoming and uh, wait, was it favorite or best? Top. Favorite or top? Okay. Uh, probably uh, like Civil War, Homecoming, and then maybe it would be either Guardians or Avengers, I think. I'm leaning towards Guardians. I think I am too, but I could. If we're doing favorites, other. if we're doing favorites, I might put uh, No Way Home up there. 
Mm. Uh, I yeah, I think if I was gonna do top three, I think I'd do Civil War, No Way Home, and Guardians for my favorite three MCU movies. I think mine's Avengers, Civil War, and Homecoming probably. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. third. Um. Oh, sorry, you said Avengers. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't register that. And Pixar movies. Ah, uh, Pixar's pretty easy for me. I think it'd be Wally, then uh, The Incredibles, and then I think I. Oh, I said it would be easy, but I think the third one's a hard one. Um. Yeah, Wally and Incredibles uh, are two of mine as well. I'm not sure what my third are, is. I think I think third place Wally is a fight between Toy Story two, Monsters Inc. Uh, Ratatouille in and Monsters Inc. Yeah, yeah. I think those yeah. and Finding Nemo. Fuck, all three, all four of those could really be fighting for that top that third place. Well, I think my top three for Pixar movies are gonna be Wally and Incredibles and Ratatouille. Because you hadn't seen Wally when I first met you, and I remember you saying Ratatouille is your favorite. With um, Incredibles, was you'd seen that at that point, right? Because um, I think I watched Wally with you. So I was like, "You gotta see it. It's cool." I assume you're talking to Fringy. No, Fringy's seen all the Pixar movies when they came out. He's he's even seen the new seen one. I've seen all of them. You hadn't yeah, seen Wally I... when we watched it. Yeah, I saw it when it came out. But. The whole reason I showed you is because you hadn't seen it. I've seen Wally, absolutely. We we wa- we must have watched it for a different reason because I'd definitely seen Wally before I met you. I could have sworn the whole reason I wanted to show you it because it's like my favorite. Maybe maybe you thought I did, but I was just down to watch it again because I like it so much, and I I don't know. Maybe you misheard or something got lost in translation, but uh, yeah, I I, I definitely seen Wally. I love Wally. I'm glad I saw it again with you, but I had seen it before. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe you're thinking of someone else saying something, and yeah, who knows? I don't know. Maybe it was Wally's Jay. Really Jay hasn't seen anything. It's probably Jay. <laughs> um. Personal opinion: Robert Patman did a pretty good Batman, but a poor Bruce. His Bruce Wayne felt like an MCR video. I was thrilled with the Batmobile being an old muscle car that he just Mad Max. Um, he's not he's not done Bruce Wayne really yet, has he? So I think we'll have to give him a chance at doing that in whatever movie comes next. Uh, because for now it's more of a subdued. Bruce is barely there. It's more so all Batman. Um, so saying he did like a bad Bat, a Bruce or something. I, I don't know if it's fair. Um, a bad Bat, bad Bruce. I just, I just realized I was muted. I think he did a good job for the Bruce Wayne that he was supposed to be. That would be how I'd explain it. I think Batman takes too much pride in being from Gotham. It's like the England is my city meme, but with Gotham. Gotham is his city, basically. Okay. I don't know if it's a meme or not. I don't know what to do with that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mola. If in the introduction video of your Soma series, you have an image of an old response video on your channel at the time, are your pre-amnesia videos available anywhere or are lost to time? Wasn't that the, um, the stomp response? That's still on my channel. It's a guy who says that, um, the difference between, like, Outlast and Amnesia or something is horror and terror, and I found it incredibly frustrating to listen to. Um, that, between horror and terror? Yeah, just... Yeah, it's been, so, it's been so long since I've seen those videos of yours, but I guess that depends entirely on those definitions and what you mean by them. Because those are not... Those ge- those games are not the same at no. all. I'm they are to very different though. games. I'd love a Scarlet Witch or Black Widow solo movie, EFAP 37. I still would. <laughs> but, like, it depends on who's writing it. A indeed. Hi, gang. Any words on what you think get weirded the more you think about them? What movies or games get weirder the more you think about them? I don't know who said w- games or movies. This is any words oh, you think get weirder the more you think. Oh, about 
Um, subtle. Porch. Um, that's a, it's a lot of words, but they just, you just sort of notice it sometimes after you say it. Um, uh, words, uh, t -t 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 -t. I'm trying to think of some that might have come to mind recently. Words that get weirder the more you think about them. Um, uh, words. Um, well, that's rhythm. an interesting one because you'd be thinking about like a word that when you repeat it. Have you, you know, like when you repeat a word long enough that it becomes kind of like gibberish? Yeah, I I think it's the spelling has a lot to do with it too. Uh, uh, how the letters sort of mix together. Like so, like I said, rhythm. Uh, because the first thing I said was subtle. Right. Maybe. Hmm. Night, K N I G H T, because the K N and the G H, and it just seems very strange. Um, hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm sure they'll come to us as we think about it, but trying to pick them out right, right now, now. Yeah. Like, you generally just know them. You just sort of sometimes you just especially if you see it. I think I think a lot of people might feel that way about their own name. Maybe, but I, I guess you, proper nouns don't feel like it feels like it's all fair if it's a proper noun, doesn't it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I suppose it depends because a lot of proper nouns, like especially names, are actual words. Like they're either maybe they're occupations or things like that. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, it's sometimes they, you know. Hmm. Yeah, if they come to us as we uh, progress, I might call them out if any sort of enter into my headspace. Yeah, I'm not sure. Don't know. Um, I guess I want to chat. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, helicopter. I don't think there's anything wrong with helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Flabbergasted. I think that's a cool word. I'm fine with that. It Helicopter's fine. Flabbergasted's fine. Tongue? Yeah, maybe. Tongue. You know? Tongue. <laughs> I think a lot of the short words do that. Um, tongue. Tongue. Yeah. You know, um, or like I said, subtle. Rhythm. Mm-hmm. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, jaw. Jaw? I, I don't jaw. mind jaw. It's nice and simple and straight to the point. Yeah, some it it's just how it feels to me. It just it seems mm, odd. I don't know. Right. Hmm. What? I didn't have to leave there for a decent chunk of time and you guys had to just keep the conversation <laughs> going? What do you mean? Uh, anyway. <laughs> also, play Sakuro. It's the pretty, it's a pretty floomping awesome game. That's what I hear, and I, I, I will try and get to that at some point. I am on board with the getting to that. Mm -hmm. Blank face is fake and gay without the R. I don't think we would put the R in blank. But, all right. Blank. Uh, blank. 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 Yeah, that's doesn't seem like there's a space for it with that R. Uh, why didn't Michelle Pfeiffer get her own Catwoman film? I would have thought back then that they not only think that's unviable as a as a movie, but I'm I'm pretty yeah, sure maybe. they uh they couldn't get her. I uh, so I remember Gary mentioning something like they couldn't get it for something they wanted. Uh, might be that she didn't want to play Catwoman again. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. Breaking news. Independent journalist that was investigating Fringy's goo experiments has gone missing. <gasps> well, I mean, Liar. That, that, that could mean anything, you know. Liar! Liar! 
Oh, we're going to be seeing him again. And then we can finally put to one side whether or not it's his acting or if it's the direction. Though I guess people could say he's just been directed to do it again. So. It's also his... Yeah, because he's probably... Because I don't think Disney's direction for him is going to be... I'm not going to lean on that being amazing. You know what? I think you're right. Hey, Mola, I've been listening to your podcast for a while now. Just finished the not-so-great debate. Love your work, Miss Wolf. I'm glad you enjoy it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, it's Mola. you enjoy his work. I heard on an old EFAP... You are based and Avantasia fan. What's your favorite album? I personally like Ghost Lights the most. Um, let me. I know which one it is from the album covers. Uh, where are you? Oh yeah, Mystery of Time. I'm pretty sure that's my favorite. But I like a lot of their albums. There's good schnizzles. Uh, do you guys have a plan to meet up IRL with each other and the A-list guests? If so, where would you meet and what would you do? Also, hi, Rags. Hello to you. Um, no plans. I'm not going to rule it out as happening, but at this, I don't have any plans to have a meetup. Yeah, we don't have any plans for it. Because that's a big deal for us. There is... So, if ever I was like, time to go visit America, it would feel pretty retarded for me not to be like, maybe I can swing by Arkansas. As they do. As you do. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, and in the same vein, if Rags for any reason was to visit Britain, I imagine you'd be like, Hey, loser. Wimbo Wambo. Obviously, the, the past few years, we've had an unprecedented level of lockdownery to deal with. But um, yeah, I, I would never rule that out. That sounds like something we could do at some point. Go meet a yeah, Trump, go and I don't see... I, oh, yeah. Because um, the three of us, we're about as far away as you could get from yep. each other. Um, so yeah, us meeting up in every location would be, a, it would be a big deal. Cause it's not like we're all, even if we're all in the U S that would be so much more, it, it just insanely more easy than uh, where we are on the globe. Mm -hmm. Alle sorry, allegedly globe. Sorry. Mm, I've heard about that. Apparently it's actually an oblique spheroid. Simpsons EFAP when? I do not know what that would look like, but maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool, but I don't know what form that would take, yeah. be me, Fringy, and Jay, I guess? I guess. And maybe it would be like we do a thing of bring your favorite episode to work day, but everyone has to clarify ahead of time. Maybe bring three so that we can't possibly all have the same ones. Yeah. Even at that point, I would still try and pick ones that we hadn't talked about before, though, so it'd be fine. Um, Snyderman, Snyderman does whatever a small child can. Oh, I get it. I think he has child brain. I think he has edgy teenager brain. Yeah, yeah that's I. What I think he has. I've already. St yeah, I, I, I generally describe him as a fourteen-year-old. Yes. Trapped um, in the body of the man. Today is Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. Hey, we got that one on the right day. How about that? Nice. Yeah. Nine hour stream. Thanks, Mola. I don't think so. <laughs> but hey, why not? I suppose. Wish Bruce Wayne was more like Pattinson IRL. Well, so again, like surely that's enough IRL. evidence for you guys that it's very much deliberate. Yeah, he was acting. Yeah. They are, they are doing something. This will all be worth it in terms of setting the stage. This is how I feel about people who hate Homecoming and Far From Home for it not being about a Spider-Man rather than a child who is growing up as a superhero. It's like all of the stuff in Far From Home and No uh, Homecoming help make No Way Home meaningful. Uh, poor lad, he's been through a lot, that sort of thing. It's gotta, you got to wait a little bit. You'll get your Bruce Wayne, I'm sure of it. Um, but I understand you get because like a, a lot of people are desperate now for a um, a Batman in his prime who matches how they understand him to be from the comics. I would assume the the second film in the Reeves trilogy, assuming that's what it's going to be called, will probably end with him being like the ideal Batman. Um, but I don't know. Very possibly. Uh, we don't know when the next one, if there's going to be a next one, when will it be? Will it be 
you know, a few years down the road? Will it take place? You don't know. I no clue. I assume it'll be a few years down the road. Mm -hmm. But you can learn a lot in a few years. Mm -hmm. I would say we're pretty much guaranteed to get a sequel because of uh, uh, the the fact that we've got the Penguin TV it's show. I imagine money. we're gonna squeeze this this one, yeah, for sure. Uh, apparently, the Penguin show has just turned into the. Oh wait, no, there is a Penguin show, and the, apparently, the Gotham Police Department one has now turned into the Arkham show. Okay. Yeah. So you gonna check two these shows out? Instead of three. I uh, maybe. We'll see. We shall. Uh, so, when EFAP Bible Edition? Um, oh, um that's a lot of material from. to cover. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We'll just go I mean, with I'm the adaptations, right? We'll watch Noah and some other stuff. Which adaptations? Adaptations of the Bible? Because there's a lot of versions of those. Yeah. Well, that's here's it. the problem with adaptations of the Bible, is that we don't have any originals. To, so True, they're it's, all... They're all, adaptations. yeah. We don't well, have they're adaptations original. of whatever they're adaptations of, whatever. I want to watch so Russell Crowe be Noah. Yeah. I've heard that movie's bonkers. <laughs> That's why I want to watch it again. I, I did see it at some point, but I forgot most of it. I know Ray Winston's in it. That's about it. Uh, also, I know EFAP hate anime, but what about the Ghibli movies? Um, I don't think I've seen any of them. I I've seen Princess them. Mononoke. Anime, but uh, I don't, well, I don't, I don't hate anime. I hate what it's fucking become. Uh, but I, I, I remember seeing Princess Mononoke a long time ago, and I liked it. But that was me many, many, many years ago. Well, I've said before, I really like Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away. I think those movies are awesome. Would mind watching them again sometime. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, Rags is secretly Batman. Whoa. Lies. Pretty cool, I can't. Man. I cannot. I can't confirm that, but I can deny it. All right. Um, I'm giving this to you from the theater at work. Batman is doing well. We have a mountain of trash that we had from No Way Home, but not as big. Uh, we only have two dumpsters. Oh man. That's interesting. We measure how good a movie does by how much trash it generates from the theater. <laughs> I guess that does line up to some degree. Um. I bet kids' movies would create a larger proportion of trash because bringing kids and you want to buy the kids stuff. Maybe I don't know. I'd have up. to. I'd have to check. I'm not. I'm not sure if that. Maybe next time I'm at a theater, maybe I can. Uh, I can ask someone who works there. Like, do you, do you generally get more trash after a um, kids' movie than you do an adult movie? Maybe you get less sure. because the adults don't want to leave their kids' shit behind because it's super embarrassing. And then uh, yeah, you get, know. like, all the people coming to see a Snyder movie are, like, these edgy teenage and 40-year-old people who leave their, like... Dude, when I went to see um, Batman, there was a guy... There was, like, two or three different people with these salsa trays with, like, hot blood... And I was just, like, fucking smells coming from there. Why can't you just have, like, a normal thing snack why do you have to have a like, fucking why do you have a meal, meal? yeah <laughs> yeah why are you why are you having a meal in a movie theater when you're watching a movie like fucking hell it's like grow up i know food is fun but it's not as much I mean, it, I, I, go I, to I a just, restaurant i just for the same that, amount of money uh, go to a restaurant and have a nice meal because the, the I, studio the, the theater is going to fleece you for that food so just go to the too. go to a a restaurant, have a proper good meal, and then come and watch the yeah. movie. Then you're say, full and you don't have to buy food. A cinema is not a place for exotic flavors. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's so odd to me. I was like, really? It's this a place is the... for All popcorn, right. soda, and some candy. But like, <sighs> yeah, like some people, yeah, they like have like meals. They go to a movie theater and they're like yeah i want a burger i'm like stop like i want wings it's like uh stop um some hero names sound like villains imo i mean yeah i mean can do Uh, Sebastian Shaw is the is a name hero or villain. I know whose name that is and what film you're referencing. 
But um, for the sake of, I think Fringy might know, but Rags, you won't. Uh, Sebastian Shaw, hero or villain? Hero. And uh, Fringy, oh, oh. you know, right? He's the bad guy. He is the villain in first class. Uh, interesting. Oh, okay. Hundreds of Americans get scammed by Nigerians every year, and when we finally have an American scamming two Nigerians, Jesse Smollett gets 150 days in jail. I'm just tired of the double standard. <laughs> uh, Wings quote of the day. The only disorder I have is a lot of people choose to make money off me. <laughs> uh, the what? only disorder I have is a lot of people choose to... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if that, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is even better, I think. Quote number two. I feel like my face is pretty attractive, like a solid seven. Everything else is a two. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Holy it's, it's sad that that's too generous on Holy this all account. Holy shit. <laughs> that must have been such a funny fucking moment on stream. Yeah. Hello, EFAP. Just saw Batman again. Few issues, but overall good. What an impressive movie. I absolutely love it. Can't wait for the sequel. I hope. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, fucking, I've seen people absolutely adore this movie. Which, uh, good stuff. The Sonic 2 post credit stinger will bait either Shadow or Metal Sonic. Personally leaning towards Metal. Oh, it might be Metal Sonic. With Shadow. Yeah. I feel like Shadow's more likely in terms of, um... I feel like there'd be recognition. more recognition and more, um... Is a Metal Sonic as interesting to the average person compared to this Sonic that uh, looks evil yeah. and, you know... Right. Um, Metal Sonic is, it was made by Eggman, presumably, right? Yes. Yeah, while Shadow is like... Well, is Metal Sonic its own character or is it just like a droid? Uh, Metal Sonic is kind of a character, I guess, but, uh... Is he like Vision? Um, no. I mean, he is just like um, an evil robot Sonic, but um, he is uh, like an entity, and he's not like a minor character either. He's, you know, people... Yeah, but I, I guess, uh, yeah, Metal Metal Sonic is probably... Shadow would get people hyped, I think, mm -hmm. <laughs> for whatever reason. Well, then again, I'd probably be hyped too. It's like, oh, so the next movie might be fucking hilarious. And I, you gotta, like, who's voice in Shadow? Please tell me it's Chris Pratt. <laughs> um, oh my god, the next fucking Super Chess is Chris Pratt will be cast as Shadow. Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You know us too well. Uh, yeah, we can only hope. <laughs> Someone in chat just suggested the idea of a Shadow the Hedgehog adaptation directed by Joss Whedon, and I have a cold sweat over the idea of a gratuitous ass shot of Maria Robotnik. Um... <laughs> Mexico. Could you imagine? Who's Maria Roba? Is, they just, is that? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying, could you imagine them passing over that? To They're like, we want to have a solo Sonic movie about Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, Joss Whedon, can you write and direct? Be like, what? Um, Alfred, I'm Vengeance. Cuts to title, The Butler Man. I mean, I'd watch it. I assume you guys would. Have too. you ever met that funny butler man? Is someone is dead? Should they count as a person? I mean, it's built into it the question, on... right? If you say, "Are most humans dead?" Like, well, I guess at that point we've counted that that's a possibility to be considered human still, and therefore, yes. Yeah, if you're referring to a person as when they were alive, definitely. Uh, but if you're referring to them as like, like if we, if I said, if someone said, is Abraham Lincoln a person, then generally it's yes, because you're referring to him while he was a person when he was alive doing things. Um, yeah. So that, that's generally how people say it. Someone's personhood is a obviously in and of itself. That is a very complex question for which we don't yet have all the answers. Uh, but it is normally understood that dead people are persons until you specify their corpse. Because when you say Abraham Lincoln, you don't think of this rusty, sorry, not rusty, this dusty, 
uh, skeleton in a coffin. You know, that's not what people think of when you think of Abraham Lincoln. You think about a, a person when they were alive and doing things and their personhood was of consequence. Um, uh, Bringy, people think you're a bird because your plague mask isn't very detailed. Most have more details, and it's green, which is a common color for birds. Okay, all right. Uh, in Transformers lore, a surgery called mnemosurgery allows the user to enter slash alter a patient's memories uh, and can completely change someone's personality. Yes, implications are frightening. Hi, Fringy. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's real. Uh, that's not an implication. That's how the that's how you work as a person. Um, this is just it's just the fact of reality. Um, you can alter people's brains with trauma of all kinds be it electrical or blunt or whatever and you could completely change uh people's personalities you can have split brains that are theist on one side and atheist on the other and all kinds of different stuff but yeah who you who, who you fundamentally are as a person can be changed by fucking with your brain um that's just that's the that's the way that we work um so i don't know what yeah like protect your brain well, they're describing entering a patient's memory. We cannot do that. And that, oh, that, yeah, that part we can't do. Um, I don't know what they used it for in their story, but I'm, I hope it was worth it. I'm sure it made lots of sense. I'm sure it was very, I'm sure it made lots of sense. Uh, why does Fringy laugh when promoting himself? I don't know. Well, no one's laughing now. Yeah. Call back. Unbridled praise for Elden Ring when? I wouldn't even know where to begin making it for that game. That would be a long video. But so what, some people are saying Abraham Lincoln isn't a skeleton. His body was preserved. So, wow, what a, ho what a horrific ex example that I just happened to pick. One of the four people who were Is preserved. It? I didn't even know. Uh, I had no clue. Uh, I'll take your word for it, but I, I had no clue. I legitimately had no clue. Someone's saying it, so I don't know. Uh, hi, Rags. A problem I have Hello. with the Batman is no one cared for where the pictures of the Major were taken. The Mayor, sorry. Or who took them. If they had, it would have been taking them straight into Riddler's apartment. I forgot to mention this. Um, I think, yeah, yeah. The... No one looks at where the pictures were taken from. I think it's like the most basic detective work possible, I suppose, is to be like, where did these images come from? I suppose one, the only benefit of the doubt you have is that someone will be like, well, why would they still be there? But like, he was. You would check, yeah. You'd check to be like, okay, who, where was this taken from? Maybe we can yeah, learn something. And plus, you've of... got, this is a really big deal. You have all these resources to use for this very important crime. And in terms of, like, chasing down a case, you could be like, well, why would we check that? And it's like, well, whoever took it, and wherever this place is, they might frequent it, or they have allies here, or someone knows of a guy with a camera here. You know? They might go back, take so pictures. So it's always worth doing, and yeah, like, um... It's pretty retarded, because I saw... I think what, what made me think, like, oh, fuck, we should have mentioned this, was on Twitter, someone was complimenting that. They were like, the pictures only look this way because they match the place he was at where his apartment was in relation to this building. So it's really good that it's like accurate. And I was just like, wait, but that means that, that if they just checked it, they would have found Riddler's fucking whole HQ straight away. Damn. Hmm. Surely Riddler wouldn't be stupid enough to take pictures from his own window, right? This, and that's what I mean. Uh, you cannot escape that as a criticism. That would be that's just like another knock against Riddler, unfortunately. So like I said, uh, if you're writing a character who's very, very intelligent and clever, he's only going to be as intelligent and clever as you write him to be. When that can be difficult, because most people are not Riddler levels of clever, supposedly. Yeah, you, present company excluded. Of course, we could write Riddler because we are the big smarts and we have the we large have hyper uh, cells in the brain stem. That's what they say, right? We have Smart IQs people. in the thousands. Uh, Not even between us individually. It's incredible. 
We belong in a lab. And then they follow up with saying, Gordon even says he's been here the whole time when looking out the window in the apartment. Yeah, that's pretty so stupid. He, he, uh, oof, yeah, that line doesn't help. To be fair as well, that's pretty big damage. Be going, what the fuck? Yeah, that's like, what the fuck? How come I didn't check this? I'm the com commissioner Gor- uh, Someone uh, said, Batman. but Mola, isn't he insane? It's like, you, I know you're fucking with me, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Snippy snappy, clicky clappy. Uh -huh. I heard a take that Sucker Punch is the right brain version of Inception. It's an actually a great movie in that creative, non-analytical sense. Thoughts? It's great in the I would have creative, non-analytical sense. So I would have sense that is impossible. It was certainly a watch. I mean, I wasn't bored when I watched. I'd have to see it again. I have to see it again. Do Roland Emmerich and Michael Bay pass the uh, creative, non-analytical uh, test? Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, good for that. I, I legitimately would have to see Sucker Punch again. Uh, I just I remember visuals from it and that's just it i couldn't give you one line from that movie or tell you about any character from that movie mm -hmm. um can we also add that riddler's bruce wayne bomb was a real dumb plan do you mean because you couldn't expect it to get to the correct target it may have collateral damage and it's not matching the other choices he's done for killings because I agree with all of those. I don't know if there's anything more you're trying to bring up, though. Yeah, it's not nearly as, like, going behind someone and killing them with your own hands. Very surefire way to assassinate someone. Delivering a bomb in a mail, in, in, in a mail, in the mail, is, um, it's inexact, too mm -hmm. many variables, um... And plus, if you're 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 delivering, you're taking the most impersonal method Ooh. with the person that you seem to be most personally invested in. So, not to mention, by the way, do you guys think thinking about it? Do you think it's pretty dumb that it says fireproof on the on the letter? Um, it might be right because that's a bit why, of a giveaway. Why would it? Yeah, why would it be fire? Why, I'm, why I'm now thinking about um, like we. We can figure that, but do you think that they didn't trust that we could figure that? So, like, better put Maybe. fireproof on it in case the audience wonders how the male survived the bomb. Maybe. I think it's better when it's an unassuming package and there well, are no clues. So that's what I assume the motivation for it is, right? Which is a little silly already. It's like, we can infer, but also, remember, the bomb doesn't even kill Alfred. So we can expect that the, the male he threw it away from would have survived the explosion anyway. But then maybe someone would say, well, what if they said how stupid of Riddler to put something next to the bomb that could be destroyed by the bomb and thus screw up everything? So we gotta put fireproof on it. And it's like, okay. But now, that acts as a bit of a signal. If I was opening my mail, and I see one yeah. that's fi fireproof next to one that could easily be the size of a bomb, I'd do what Alfred did. Yeah. Yeet! And uh, Alfred survived, you know? He did. Oh, you know who didn't yeah. survive? The people that he killed personally. Mm. It's it's it makes you think. Makes you think. Uh, a common talking point is autism is a different kind of mind rather than inferior or superior. And if society were built more to their inclinations, they could function better. Would you support an independent autistic state? <laughs> Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I'm I I for one I endorse this exper this this uh, political experiment. Um, an ethno state? Well, what would it be called? For an autists? auto state? An, uh, an auto state? I like it. I like it. We're getting somewhere. Um, can we have one for like midgets? I mean, you, you, can, you can have your little pen at home if you want. I can picture that's, that's your desire there. And, you know, as long as they agree and you pay them, I suppose, maybe there's a legal way of doing that. Uh, who would their well, what, who would be their president? Who actually? I don't know. We we can't even. Who knows? Maybe since they're operating at a different level, right? Maybe they don't have like a like a a constitutional republic or something like that. Maybe they have. Maybe it could be like a monarchy or so. Who knows what they would decide their government would be? Would there be a civil war? And I don't know. I'm sure something autistic would happen, but I'm very curious what would you know what the result of things would be. Um, but yeah, I'm aware of the idea that 
like it, it can improve your your um your like efficiency with a lot of uh problem solving or, or different aspects but it can also be a detriment in other ones or something like that and there's all kinds of different results of being autistic um have you guys discussed Kathleen Kennedy's comments about Kenobi's behind-the-scenes troubles and rewrites like Maul being written out and pushing for season two? Um, so funnily Only enough, very I, briefly we mentioned it. I don't actually know more about this. I just saw that Star Wars Guild tweeting about it, but apparently, like, Ray, Fish, Ray Park got involved in something... Like, she, what she said was he posted revenge porn. Um, and this means... What? Yeah, it was post-solo in which he was used as the visual for Maul, because obviously he was Maul in Phantom Menace. But since that's happened, uh, Disney have distanced themselves entirely from him. And that means that that's why Kenobi's story got changed from initially having Maul to not having Maul. Um, that's what I've heard, do not know if true. Um, but yeah, I was surprised to find out any of that. It just goes to show that Ka Kathleen Kennedy still has veto power, which is uh, really important. And so anybody who assumes that she has no power at all and hasn't had it for years, feel like this is, uh, you know, a bit of proof. No in one, no one, direction. no one would say for years and years and years that she's gonna get fired and lose her job and that she's got no power there. No one would say that for years. Theoretically, someone might, you know, some random maybe. Well, there are there are a lot of people. Maybe if yeah. we, you know. If you know, there's, there's okay. someone out there said like fish will fly one day. You know, someone said that. I said that just now. That's you true. Should. You did. I did. And then someone's gonna be like, "Well, I took my goldfish on an airplane, so I, I'm just like, ah, ah, good." Um, what culture? A YouTube channel says "Be a Bad" is the worst Buffy episode. Do you agree? It doesn't surprise me they would pick it. It's one of the most <laughs> obvious, but uh, no. Ugh. Season 1 will have your worst Buffy episode, yeah. I imagine. Because as much as there are bad episodes, even all the way up to Season 7, um, it's usually like... So all the bad episodes share bad writing, and then only Season 1 has the worst production values. So it's, that would be typically how I'd probably figure it out, but um, my go-to, funnily enough, is probably going to be Go Fish, not uh, Be A Bad. Go Fish is fucking hilarious in, in its writing. Uh, have you heard the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial, which includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven Sword expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime. Also high rags. Hi. Um, I don't know how to respond to that because I don't know the context for any of it. Have I, I guess they asked if you have you heard, in which case I I think I I know it has a trial like many MMOs do. Um, the I heard it on a I've been watching some Josh Strife Hayes. Mm -hmm. He plays uh he mainly plays really bad MMOs and mm -hmm. lets you know how bad they are. Talks about them, mm -hmm. and I think he mentioned that in one of his videos while he was talking about a terrible MMO. And he's like, why would you why would you play this terrible MMO and spend money on it? When like, for for instance, Final Fantasy has this extensive trial for free that gives you all this content. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm playing Guild Wars 2 right now, and I it does boggle me some of the stuff that he it, it is interesting after you watch enough of his videos covering these MMOs, just how how awful they are. And how they're clearly pay to win money sinks and people just throw money at these shit MMOs. I don't know if if it's like some weird sunk cost fallacy thing or if it's just this desperation to I don't know. I don't know. Get Josh on rags. Yeah, I bet. Unless you meant. So here's where commas are very important. Get Josh on rags is not going to happen. I don't want him on me. Get Josh on, comma, rags. I would definitely have Josh on EFAP. We could talk about some stuff, gaming stuff. So uh, he seems like he'd have a lot to add if we had gaming conversation, certainly. We'll put him on our list of uh, guests. Someone freaked me out in chat. They were like, why is Muller in the thumbnail for a Nerdrotic stream if he's here? I was like, holy fuck, did I agree to go on a stream? Uh, 
<laughs> then I was like, no, he's doing his Nuda. I don't, I don't go on Nudas. So it's, it's, why, 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 there's no me in the thumbnail. You lied to me. Liar. Liar. Lies. Um, but yeah, Rawr. if, uh, but if that's true about all those features that come with that thing, that sounds really good. And I hope people are really happy with it. Thoughts on the Peacemaker show? Uh, myself, Pringled, and Jay watched an episode and a half, and we gave up. We yeah. did not find it funny enough in any way, shape, or form, and we thought the plot was kind of shit. And then they started to dig into Peacemaker as a character in a way that uh, felt like it wasn't the guy from the movie that I really liked, and so I completely lost interest. But I can't speak for the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, that's, what, like, 15% of the show, so... If that, yeah. um, I've heard a lot of people say it was really good. So uh, you're missing open bar. Stop freaking me out. Kill you. Shoot you. <laughs> I kill you. Uh, hi, Mola. Season one, episode eight of Angel. Wow, my favorite episode so far. That would be. I. It's one of two in my head. Let me find out which one. It is. Oh, of course. Yep, that that will be your favorite until you get to eighteen, all right? And then that'll be your favorite. Uh, Space Groove Nasus looks like Rags leading an army of dogs powered by Fringy Goo. Hmm. Let me see. Space right. Groove Nasus. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's a League of Legends skin. There's a doggy and a robot. That looks huh, great. That looks great. Look at him. That looks great. Look at him go. Um, I got to start on. playing League of Legends now. I was going to say, this should I be have enough. To start, I have to start playing Elden Ring because of Blade. <laughs> That's, great. That's great. Look at him. Uh, you know that what? A... That looks like a that looks like an Aquaman kind of looking uh, yeah. skin. Like I could imagine a, an aquatic hero having that as their. That's great. Look at him go. So, Nasus is the character's name in League of Legends? Yeah, he's an Egyptian god based on him and Rannikton. Uh, like the Egyptian... Oh, he's like an uh, Anubis boy. Yeah. Alright. Oh that yeah, you... Sorry, That's I should have caught that. Sorry, I was distracted by the, the artwork. I was looking at it, but you said Blade. That is... Pain, right there. You, uh, Elden Ring boy. You see that it's spelled B L A I D D and you said blade. How would you yeah. pronounce it, Fringy? Uh. B L A I D D. Yep. Probably would say blade. Well, okay, gotta learn Is your it both. blade? 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 Not blade. So, yeah, it's the it's Welsh and it's blithe. Oh, oh okay. Blythe? Blythe. Oh, Blythe. That's the one. There's a lot of Welsh stuff in Elden Ring. It's been pretty cool to... to oh! To so that's why you like it. I knew there was a reason. I knew there was a reason. You wanted that, pre that, that, that Welsh representation. I mean, that does automatically make We've it pretty just... good, I'd say. The Welsh are pretty cool. Yeah. We got a dog warrior called Blythe, all right? How you how you beating that? That is pretty amazing. <laughs> Thunder just said Welsh laugh my ass off. <laughs> like, hey. Uh, all right, then. Because <laughs> to be fair, I was like, you pronounced Blade's name wrong for shame. Look at that. It clearly is, like, if it, ha it's, it has to be a different language to not pronounce that Blade. I, I think it would be odd if you showed anyone that name and they didn't say, oh, it's Blade. I mean, that, that you, don't even, you don't even need different languages for that to happen. Like, Arkansas is like the one I'll go to every time, I think. Yeah. Ar 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 Arkansan? Yeah, it's like Arkansas. a, it's just a word you look at, you're like, how is it? Well, Arkansas that is, you know, it, it is another language. No, I, I know, but it, it's still pronounced that way in English. Arkansas? 
Yeah, my point being that you have all kinds of words that you'll look at and be like, it's that way. And it's like, no, it's this way. And you go, oh, right, okay, because it's from a different language. And you're like, sometimes we pay attention to that rule, sometimes we don't. Words... If someone said, well, if someone did look at Arkansas and they said Arkansas, then I'd be like, I don't blame you for saying that. It's literally a state with an AR in front of it. Arkansas. Oh, well, that's the fun for me, because nobody ever fucking has to read Welsh names ever. And so I was just like, ah, finally... Something that I can Finally. give some level of information on that has been my whole life, but it's kind of useless skill on the internet. <laughs> it's, just, it's not even a skill, like, it, it's, it's, it's a very yeah. partial, thin one, because I'm not even that fluent. But I know that, and it's the double Ds so, and double Ls make special sounds for the Welsh. So I, I would like to draw a little bit of attention. I'm going to have to call you out just a little bit here, chat. Just a little <gasps> bit here. Going to have to call you out just a little bit. This comment is, this is, this is, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, uh, the sentiment of what you're saying is somewhat tarnished by your execution, we'll say that. So close, but so far. <laughs> <laughs> I would have grabbed that if I'd seen it as well, that's a, that's a fair point. Uh, um, it would have been yeah. perfect if they'd misspelled language. In Irish, we see we use oi a lot. Oi. Honest. Anyway, where were Anyone? we? Boop, boop, boop. Blade. Doctor, turn off my goo inhibitors. Uh, I don't know if that's a quote or what's going on there, but all right. No idea. The power of goo in the palm of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Ever watch Joel Haver animations on YouTube? Elden Rings hired him to make an ad. It's good rat. No, I have not. Oh, I have seen Joel Haver's stuff. He makes some pretty funny videos. Does he know? He does. I'd recommend you uh, What's take a look at his style. Is he like stop mo oh, or not 2D, 3D? His style is pretty unique. It's it's a strange I don't even know how to describe it. I legitimately don't. Oh. It is very, it is a unique style. Oh, alright then. Uh, cause you reminded me, in The Last of Us 2, the reason to combine binding with blades is simple. Rust gives tinnitus. Cause all blades you, are, you grab are rusted, and all the blades have no handles slash entirely made of metal. They need gloves, man. Well, yeah, if blade Not plus... Not tinnitus, tetanus. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, if the... If that's the justification, right? Like, you can't make a shiv unless you have a blade plus binding. Um, because you got to worry about any diseases you could get from holding the blade. It's like, at that point, I think if you're life or deathing it, I would take the handleless blade and stab people with it. You know what I'm saying? Be like, eh, eh. But uh, you can only do it if you get that binding for fear of potential wounding and disease. Uh, any chance of reacting to the Halo TV show? I actually said to you guys, it's I completely would up actually... to you. So here's the thing. If you asked me that question a week ago, I'd say, eh, not really. However, recent events have made me much more curious because, uh, let me actually pull it up, see if we've got an update. Uh, let's see. That has me very curious. Mm. Wait, what? Sorry. What I just posted in the um, oh, chat for there it is. Which is uh, the fifty-eight percent critics? Is that the yeah? That is the critic rating. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Yeah. That's down again. Oh, no. oh, is it? But I can oh. hear you. Just yeah. back up again. Oh, it's really weird. OBS now makes a little chiming sound when my internet goes down. I guess it's, it's, it's way, good to way too much of a positive sound for the internet going down. Well, hey, I mean, <laughs> maybe. 
<laughs> maybe for some people it, it is a positive thing if they don't get on the internet um but yeah, but yeah on rotten tomatoes after 19 critic ratings it's at a 58 percent, which i think is very interesting um so i'm i'm much more curious to see this show or at least test the waters out on watching it because i have some halo knowledge fringy does uh i don't think Mahler really knows much about halo but i'm curious because it's got that interesting rating if it was sitting at like an 80 i wouldn't be interested because it's probably just, it, yeah but at 58 on a show was it hmm on a mm. halo show okay i am interested in that mm. why is it at that rating considering all the stuff that gets rated high that's crap you know Uh, just a reminder that Fringy's goo is still less useful than Prussian blue, which has been used since 19, uh, 1704 for painting as well as medical treatment. Someone has brought up Prussian blue before. I forget the context that in which they did, but someone has brought up, uh, brought up Prussian blue before. Um, well, I mean... Do you have any feelings about that, Fringy, or is that is it all chill? Um, I don't know what Prussian blue is. I don't know. Prussian blue is it's a it's a blue pigment. Um, okay. And it is used as it, it's got some mis medicinal usage. Uh, and it's and it's used in you know just coloring things. I think it's the first synthetic color or something like the first at least the first modern like. Uh, man-made pigment or something like that um, okay but someone brought it the um the you know that famous japanese painting with the big wave that's coming in and it's got some of the boats on it oh vaguely uh let me see if i can find a picture of it real quick uh da, 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 da. the great wave off kanagawa let me post a picture of it that is a very famous picture. Yes, it is. And I think it is made with Prussian blue. Oh, okay. Neat. Uh, four classic movies. Watch The Thing from Another World. The writing is great. One of the very few movies where people talk over each other like reality. Oh. Oh, fair enough. Okay. That's something uh, that a lot of amateur uh, directors uh, fail at, is when characters need to interrupt each other or talk over each other. Yeah. It's, it, it's an excellent way to distinguish the, um, the skillful director and the amateur director. Uh, would you say chemistry is subjective? Thought Batman and Catwoman were great together, but seeing others like Ben who disagree. Okay, that chemistry. Okay, that changes my answer. Um, um, well, chemistry falls in that acting sort of category. So there is going to be a lot about it that I do think is subjective. But at the same time, I think that even though it's not a hard objective aspect, like, you know, logic and cause and effect are, there is, there are, there are aspects of it that we can point to that can lead us to draw conclusions uh, that are generally going to be accurate. There's a reason why a lot of people would consider you know, great actors like Vincent Price or um, Christopher Lee, you know, why, why they can point to their performances and say, this is a good actor, and why people can point to Tommy Wiseau and say, this is a bad actor, right? Um, is it objectively the case I don't know if there's a way to objectively qualify that. Maybe there is, but I, I can't think of one at the moment. Um, but general trends are hard to escape in terms of what you can point to and get agreed upon results. So chemistry is, an, is a subset of acting, I think, in the term that we're using here, the chemistry between Batwoman and... Um, fucking hell. Catwoman and Batman. So... I don't think it's objective, but I think it's that it's that step down from objective where it's not. I don't think it's purely subjective. 
I don't know, is I it think pacing? It is the... There's a lot of arguments that can be made. Uh, yes. But will, yes. will people agree on that being the standard? For example, if I said, there's a lot of silences in between the things they say to each other, which creates awkwardness. Someone else could be like, well, no, those are deliberate. They represent how they're both thinking about each other. I find it, you know, really strong chemistry to see them staring into each other as they think about their next responses or something. I'd be like, hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, let be me... complicated. I... Yeah, if you were, it's one of those aspects of uh, a craft or an art where it might not be purely objective, but if you wanted to convince people of your position, you could bring up a lot of evidence and clips and material that you can reference to try and make a point. Uh, speaking of Twitter, any thoughts on YMS whinging about people being upset that he gives ratings for movies he hasn't finished? feel like you're poisoning the well a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But, I, was, I was waiting for um, one of you to say that before I would. I was just like, seems like you framed this in a particular way. I do not feel particularly strongly either way. Um, I feel like a part of this is what your intention is. Because a review of... Do you, well, let me ask you this. I, would you be interested? Would he maybe want to come on and we could talk about it sometime? Do you think that might be something we could arrange in a much more casual, non-debate kind of um, way? To the kind of thing like a casual chat, or do you mean yeah, like an do, episode? If, if maybe, the, yeah, maybe I don't know because I think it's interesting. But in, in any event, we can discuss it later. But I, if you review something, do you have to finish it? No, I don't think you do. Uh, this depends on the, because review is a very, very broad umbrella of depth. Many reviews are like, I don't blame the, the journalist who's given X amount of time to complete an extremely expansive game that they have to have their review written out in, you know, X amount of time before, you know, I don't blame them for not finishing everything in that game. But if you're going to make a, in claim that a super in-depth review that's many hours long that you've painstakingly made, if you're going to make one of those and you're like, oh, I only played halfway through it, so I don't know how it ends. I feel like we grade these on different levels. And I think a big part of this has to do with how um, YMS frames his review. Not in general, but that specific review. Is it if it's more of an impression, if it's more of a quick thoughts, if it's more of a... um super in-depth endeavor because i think there's some things that you don't have to finish them to get because i mean do we really need to watch all the episodes of batwoman to know that it's shit no you don't i wouldn't blame anyone for getting five episodes into batwoman and saying that this is crap don't watch it it has no redeeming value other than the memes um uh I think, yeah, I think the framing is what kind of a review you're trying to present to the audience is the, is the big, um, is the big deal. My take is that as long as he makes it clear that the number simply reflects his experience with the amount of time he's seen it, that's one thing. Unfortunately, he uses this as his IMDb oh, review. Oh, no! Oh, wait, Mahler? Hello? Can you hear us? Can you not hear me? You just we we only caught a just second. a couple words there. Go ahead and start over. Oh. So but my take right, is yeah, that yeah. Uh, I'm fine with a number to be representative of how he feels about the thing and then clarifying that it's of this amount and then telling us what it is. Unfortunately, he reflects these... The fuck? My whole screen just went black. Uh-oh. What the hell is going on? YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Why? What is happening today? But it is still on. I guess this has got a weird internet up. issue. It's still going right now. Ugh. So what's going on, YouTube? What's happening? Still giving me that error. Maybe it's an maybe it's an internet thing because your voice cut out and yeah, so I, I guess would, YouTube was like, oh, you had a yeah. sufficiently low enough connection for a moment, so it was like so it gave a warning. So because it still says error to me, but you you guys are saying the stream is still up? Uh, let me check this. Yeah, stream. it is. Yeah, stream's up. 
Yeah, um, streams up. Um, open widget. Why? Whoa. Okay, excellent connection now, apparently. All right. All right. Ugh. Technology. Well, I'll give it a third shot, I guess. Um, I'm fine with it if he's very clear about what he's seen and what he is reviewing. Unfortunately, he decided to give that a number, and then he reflects that number on his IMDb reviews, which don't have a chance for that specification. At least I don't think they do. But certainly not when you just see a number blatantly. And so I would like... I would opt to say it's totally fair to not finish a film because you think it's so shit and also tell people you didn't finish it because you thought it was so shit. Uh, but when you give it a number, it's going to give a lot of people the wrong impression. And furthermore, this was totally something that on the surface I would have expected everybody to be pissed at. Uh, once yeah, they find I out all the context, the appeal, they'll probably be chill about it, but you know. I think it's so probably too. not worth it, you know? It's not worth it to do it that way. I think it is only going to lead to confusion. I just, um, I wouldn't mind talking to him about how, like, why not not give a number for those ones in the exact same vein you give numbers to stuff you have finished? Yeah. I guess he's going to be yeah, like, well, I think that would be probably a good idea. I'm sure you would say, I want to give them a number. The number represents my experience. And I should be like, okay then. Okay, but I could see why people would take umbrage with that. Yes. Um. Only gonna read out half the Mr. Frog impression? Alright, Fringy, that's your right. Can I have half the yep. donation back? <laughs> oh, you're just gonna pocket it? Okay. Hey. <laughs> Chill out. Uh, thoughts on Joel being responsible for Russian invasion? He's, yeah, must have been him, right? Who else would it be? That's just Joel being Joel. Shouldn't surprise anyone. Classic Joel. Uh, to explain light touching on fire, it was meant to reference you guys talking about the fire triangle. Coincidentally, Sacred Cow Shipyards did a video about it, and fighting fires is in damage control. Light touching on fire references the fire triangle. I never would have connected those two. But fair enough. I remember us talking about that. Uh, read American Colonel McGregor for a qualified take on Russia. He's an expert of military tactics who's not pushing either side's propaganda. Alright, if you want to check that out, check that out. I have no idea who that is. Uh, I really enjoyed Jay's live stream about writing a Doctor Who season from scratch. Would you be inclined to do something similar with Star Wars? Not really. I wouldn't want to expand those kinds of efforts into something I'm not actually writing. Um... I like spitballing ideas, but to the point of like writing a whole season out, I'd be like, okay, I'd want it to be an actual thing if I was going to do that effort. Uh, I don't know about you guys, though. What do you think? Uh, hmm. I guess it's interesting to think about, but yeah, I'd rather focus on something I'm working on. Um, come again, sorry. So they're asking, uh, Jay did a, a stream uh, creating like a fictional season of Doctor Who in writing form, and would you be interested in doing that for Star Wars at any time? No, I don't think so. We, we've talked enough in our time about, um, about like what we would do to fix it or potential ideas for Star yeah. Wars in the past, and that's fine enough for me without me getting super deep into the script for a piece of media that will never ever amount to anything when I could put that time into something that will kind of see the light of day in a sense, like a video of my own or something like that. Uh, EFAPCON when? Perhaps someday. Who knows? Uh, have you guys read the Bone Comics? It's a series that ran during the 90s. I would argue it's the best example of blending silly cartoon cartoon antics with Lord of the Rings level fantasy and storytelling elements. No, I do not know about this. Never heard of it. Sounds neat, though. Hello, Evap. I wish to engage the parasocial relationship again and ask why in the other nice. two Spider-Man movies did they not use the really well-done Spider-Man theme from the Marvel intro in Homecoming for the other movies? Also, hello from New Zealand Rags. Hello! Um... I don't know that it's necessary, right? 
Like you got. I guess it would it would be that they want their own Spider Man theme for this Spider Man. Yeah, I feel like they put it in the first one for it's a lot of the reasons. Back. A lot of decisions are made in that being yeah. Welcome Home Spider Man. Um, and then No Way Home is like pushing it further that this is our guy, our trilogy, and then the third one being this is the end of our trilogy now. Yeah. So um yeah, I'm fine with them not putting it in all three of them. Do you stack precious metals? General thoughts? Um uh, assuming you're not referring to the band. Uh n no, sorry, not the band. The song. The song is Precious Metals. Um it's by Oh fuck, who is that song? Da, da, da. God damn it. Russian Futurists. That's the band. Uh, but I am... Um, no, I don't stack uh, precious metals. No, I don't. I have a coin collection, but that's about the closest thing there. Yeah, I don't. Uh, hot take. Michael Bay is a good director. He just gets saddled with bad writers. Is there a uh, single Michael Bay film as well written? I don't know written? what that means. Yeah. I don't know if that um, means. I'm not prepared to make a statement on that. I I'm. Uh, I think aspects like, I'm of his direction with Michael Bay but... are good, but I would never say that like he's capable of creating a good story. Rather, I would just say he can make for some really cool visuals, and he's a great practical director, from what I can gather. Um. Directing, though, that's the problem. There's a lot of things to directing, and to say, like... Including storytelling. Yeah, like, and to be like, like oh, directly. well, ignore the story, the directing's good. It's like, damn. Mm. Uh, Maria was Shadow's sister. Figure whose death motivated Shadow's kill-all-humans plan. He was created to cure her space cancer, by the way. Nice. Sounds, now sounds... that sounds like a Michael Bay would... Oh, yeah, I'd watch a Michael Bay Shadow the Hedgehog movie. Dude, that'd be so cool. Easily. Easily. <laughs> Maria is Eggman's aunt, and he already has a sonic hair. Sonic hair? Meaning, he could develop Metal Sonic and its AI. Also, Shadow is older than Sonic somehow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but okay. If Metroid got a live-action movie, who would you pick as the director between these two? Ryan Johnson or J.J. Abrams? Pick your poison, I rags. Hello. Say that one more, say, say that one more time. I don't know That's who the... I would pick. I'd probably go with... Uh, I, I might settle on J.J. because I feel like he might just give us a simplistic vision of what we're after while Johnson might fuck around. Um... Johnson's more likely to create something meaningful, though. Yeah. We'll go with that. Because I don't know. <laughs> Hello. I don't know. I don't think either of those choices are good. Okay? <laughs> I don't like Paul. Yeah, you're, you're putting us in a difficult situation from which there is no escape. Uh, replay Nightfire. The PC version is better. Go! I I, mean, I didn't even know Nightfire was on PC. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Uh, 90s animated Batman seems to be the Batman that people agree is the most comic accurate. Have y'all seen Mask of the Phantasm? Definitely worth checking out. It's self-contained. I have not seen Mask of the Phantasm, but I should. S saw it when I was a youngin', uh, but I don't remember much of it at this point. But uh, everyone recommends it all the time, so I, I wouldn't mind seeing yeah. that. Uh, Doctor reference to MGS Rising that you will play. I, I probably will play at some point, yeah. Rags, can you read off weird US state laws? There are some great ones. Uh, US weird... All right. Weirdest laws in every state. You don't have to read this... them from every state. Just pick the weird one. Pick we're doing all we're doing all 50. We're doing all 50. Doing mm. all 50. Well, here, let's see. Um there there oh, I've heard this one about Arkansas, right? 
there's a legal code in Arkansas that explains how the state's name should be pronounced. And while it's not technically illegal or punishable to say it wrong with a hard S at the end of the state's name, Arkansas is legally supposed to be pronounced Arkansas. Uh, it looks like, oh, there is a, let's see, da, 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 da. I'm, I'm just, um, in Connecticut, According to one of Connecticut's former Food and Drug Commissioners, one of the tests used to determine whether or not a pickle was legally fit for human consumption was that if you drop it one foot, it should bounce. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. In Dublin, Georgia, it is unlawful for anyone to wear a mask, hood, or other item to conceal their face or identity in public places. The only exception is children under six, uh, is, uh, is only children 16 and under on Halloween. So if you're 17, you can't conceal your face on Halloween legally in Dublin, Georgia. I feel like that's not going to get enforced. Uh. I don't I think it, it will either. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see. Um, can take a brief look here. Why don't you just make it something you okay. bring one out oh. every stream or something? Why read them all now? Well, I, I just I was just doing a few. This one's is one. Uh, so Indiana, in Indiana, uh, there is a statute that says that. A grocery or convenience and drug stores, they cannot sell cold beer for carryout. However, if the beverage is not cooled or on ice, it can be sold legally. And it says here that businesses have been fighting for more than a decade to get the law repealed. The fact that it has to be fought at all uh, means that uh, there are some real fucking dicks out there who can make laws. But you guys drink uh, your beer warm in uh, Welshland, right? Or is it more common over there to drink your beer at room temperature? Uh, it's I really up to the individual. Warm. Okay. Because over here, it's bizarre to have your beer warm. Uh, so I was wondering if it was more... I've heard it's more oh, common yeah. over in Britain, in the UK. I think warm beer is nasty myself, but maybe it's just an acquired taste aspect. I think beer is nasty. I'm not a huge fan of beer. That's how, um, because it's so there's such a huge variety in how it tastes. Um, uh, there is, I guess, the key word is bitter, though. Generally, bitter. Oh, I hate bitter beer as well. Um, there is, like, I hate it because my 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 uh father and I, we are like opposites when it comes to the beer that we prefer. I prefer the more lighter kind of beers. And he loves like like Guinness. He loves Guinness. And I think that stuff is like shit tar. It's disgusting. Um, I like uh, more like like pale ales and lagers and things like that that are more light. They just taste taste totally different. Um, have you ever had a hard cider? Uh, I don't know. Like Red's Apple Ale or Angry Orchard. None of those. Something like that. Bell. I'd give them a try if you're not too keen on beer. It's essentially like alcoholic uh, apple juice in a way. Uh, and they do they do the same ones with all kinds of stuff. You could have peach and things of that nature. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, it's some of my favorite uh, beer is that kind of hard cider stuff. Uh, and I'd highly recommend uh, next time you see one giving it a taste but this, this, the variety of how beer tastes is, 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 is extensive because there's very very few liquors that I will drink because I hate liquor and hard stuff uh, but I will try many different kinds of beer and like them right Yinling Flight yeah that stuff's good uh, that stuff is really good what about my top three beers? Um, I'm going to go with, off the top of my head. I like Blue Moon. I like pretty much all. Um, hmm, I, I, I'm not ready to say a top three because there's so many different kinds that I'm pretty OK on uh, and I'd have to think about it. But uh, yeah, I'm not ready to say. 
Just escaped a forest I accidentally got off trail in. Thank God I marked where I was going. I was listening to all your lovely voices the whole time, so here's some shmoney for making it fun. Speaking of the devil, my dad just called. Just a second. Well, I'm glad you're alright, and uh, that you made it. I guess that's, that's an interesting dynamic, isn't it? Walking through the forest, listening to us. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, thank you very much. It's funny how often I go back and watch The Last of Us 1 and 2 highlights of your playthrough, Mube. It's hilarious how you go from chill and having fun in 1 to completely infuriated in 2, Manny's death aside. Yeah, I, I, I remember the moment. It was um, Ellie, I think, heading toward where Joel was killed with a horse. I think that was where I just, like, I broke a little bit, because I, up to that point I was trying to be nice uh, with everything right. that was happening. And then when you get to the part where you're walking through the house after the the flash forward, I think I just I was just walking around the house aimlessly while complaining about everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was not enjoying the game from that point on. Um, genuinely wish I could have seen your face when Manny died. Laugh my ass off. The pure elation in your voice is just too good. I was very happy. Very happy. Most people were, and it's just like that can't be what they were expecting. <laughs> like, as dude, if we if we had made the story and that was what was happening, I'd be like, okay, we failed. <laughs> it's as yeah, simple we as really that. Screwed up. We it's failed. Not the point we were going for. And you know what point it was? It was oh, you've gotten to know these guys, <sighs> and look how sad it is now that they're all getting picked off. They're getting by killed, you. And, and and by who? Someone who you used to think was cool, and you're like, no, I still think he's cool. You're like, no, no, you don't, because he just murdered. No, stop. <laughs> You're screwing up our yeah. point. You're screwing up our point. <laughs> I don't like that. That feels uh, like something that would be said. Hi, Rags. Hello. One time when you were drunk, you had a rant about how the clothing in anime made no sense. Is there a prime example you have in mind? How are they are they worse than any live action costumes on average? Um, I think anime costumes are almost certainly going to be worse than real ones, because real ones you actually have to be able to wear, whereas in anime, because it's an animation, you could basically cheat. Um, but it, I guess nothing comes to mind specifically. I just noticed particularly in like MMOs and fantasy games a lot, anime clothing is just bonkers and makes no sense, and it's huge and obnoxious and... It's, it's just the most weird thing ever, and I, I hate it so very much. It has absolutely no attempt to be grounded to anything believable or real, and it, it's just, it's, it's almost like it's crazy for its own sake, and I just don't, I don't appreciate that. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello. If you like Joel Haver's animation and Stardew Valley, just search Hi, my name is 74 in YouTube. Hi, my name is 74. Let's take a look. It's not even popping up as a... Oh yeah, this is a... Um... It's a similar sort of style to sort of what he does. By Unsurpassable Z. I've never heard of him. Hmm. So look later. Yeah. But in all seriousness, who would you actually pick to direct a live-action Metroid movie? Oh, so if we can pick from anybody... Um... Um... Hmm. Imagine Denis Villeneuve had Flanagan it. could do a cool one. Lean into the horror. I was thinking, like, yeah. that could be interesting. I would be that interested be cool. in seeing a, a horror, a, yeah, and present yeah, a Metroid horror suspense shit. themed, yeah. That could be really cool. I like that. I feel like with the worlds Gear Samus goes to, that uh, uh, Bill Nuve could do something with it. Um, he could do something cool. Guillermo del Toro. What uh, movie do you Spielberg. think? I don't fucking know. Oh. Let me see. What about, ooh, Mike Flanagan? I would be interested if he did a super <laughs> character focused <laughs> horror uh, themed you, Metroid. Are you like memeing or, uh. What, what do you mean? Am I memeing? Are you... No, I think this it'd be is interesting. a meme, right? I, I think it'd be, just I just think it'd be interesting. 
I mean, the ending would uh, you no, roll the dice weird. on the ending, but the, it was, it was even so even Thunder yeah. said, "Come on now, like <laughs> what? What?" I, I get. I, I would, don't. I don't know if you're fucking with us or not. But I, I assume you're being genuine. You're being genuine. Yeah, I'm being genuine. So Let's see what's going on. Friggy explained his pick being Mike Flanagan and said his name several times and talked about what he could do with it. I'm what? pretty sure you when? said yes in agreement. I almost. I was like, that's why I thought you were trolling me. He's like, you agreed uh, with him. Wait. When was this? Was this moments ago? Literally, yeah, just like a minute ago. ago. <laughs> I. I don't know. Are you sh are you sure? You could go check yeah, you know the what? I'm, I'm I... sure, yeah. Okay. I We could stop All making right, a compilation of your Biden moments. We've had loads of them. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Agree to disagree. There is none of that. <laughs> like, that's no, not, there, yeah, it's not an none. option. I I I was I don't know. I was <laughs> I was Hmm. It's 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 in that's interesting, isn't it? It's a sure a is interesting phenomenon. Good uh, selection of choices just... there, though. Uh, yeah. Some guy said My he put like whalers in the Great Salt Lake by train, and it's now illegal to hunt whales in Utah, a landlocked state. Irags, Fringy, and Morley. That's... Hello. You know it's the How thought that, that counts. Good on them. Um, man, transporting a whale by train. I wonder if there's like a lot of. You know, like they could kill it just by nature of the that that sort of travel. I'm not even talking about like you know, so you put it in like a tank, but it would have to be a pretty enclosed tank, you know. I don't think you'd you'd probably just have to keep it moist. You wouldn't have to put it in a tank, right? I don't know. If you kept if you kept the whale moist, well, can a whale? I get so here. My thought is so when you're in the water, you don't seem to weigh as much essentially because you're surrounded by water, which is much more dense than air. So is the physiology of a whale dependent on it being in the water? Oh, you mean like can it really like a lot like, of deep can it sea breathe? creatures can't exist above a certain amount of depth, right? Because that's they, yeah they need the environment. Yeah, I don't know enough about whales. Yeah, if to you be able clap a whale down on the yeah, I, I'm wondering like the lungs would the lungs be strong enough to breathe in and out because of its own weight when it's out of water completely? Because I, I, if someone said either way, I could believe it. I just don't know for sure uh, for sure. I do not know. Uh, any hope of getting Madvocate on for the breakdown of Flash movie breakdown? I'd be on board with that, yeah. Uh, given super speed is his forte, he might prov uh, prove to be valuable asset. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, ask if he's interested when that, that rolls around eventually. When is the Flash movie coming out? Is it next year now? Uh, it's now next year in June, so it's Fucking actually hell. pretty far away. Yeah, that's really far yeah, away. I the light big time. That does seem like a long way away. Wow, it swapped releases with Shazam. Now Shazam is uh, being oh, moved like, forward. They were going to make... Oh, I didn't know that. They were going to make... So, remind me of the timeline, because in my head it's all oh, mushy mushy. Origi I, Original... I don't know, because like, the Flash is the one that's going to reset the timeline, I'm pretty sure. Um, Got those powers to work. Michael Keaton, it's got Michael Keaton Batman in it. Um, oh. So yeah, I, I have of... no idea at this point like what the timeline is. Okay. So originally the Flash movie was supposed to come out before was, or after yeah, Justice so, League? So the release order, well, all right, the Flash is like long delayed, but I guess as in its current state, it was meant to be, the release order was Black Adam, then Flash, then Aquaman, and then uh, Shazam. Now it's Black Adam is still the first one, and then Shazam, then Aquaman, and then Flash. So it's all been swapped hmm. around. Okay. Um, and on that, that would note... have been interesting heading into Justice League with the, like, with with the understanding of who the Flash was as a character. I assume wow. this is Ezra Miller Flash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... That would have been interesting going into that movie, being like, "I know you." <laughs> yeah, that would have been interesting, wouldn't it? You know. Oh, you're, I know you, you're this character. Yeah, I've seen you before. Um, but yeah, we've, we've caught up with today's now at all. Oh. 
We did it. We did a decent yeah, chunk of That's really awesome. Hey. That's excellent. And we're about five hours, which seems about about fair. Uh, in terms yeah. of I can now go and consume food of some kind. And uh, mm -hmm. well, you know, um, we're getting there. You know, it'll it'll we'll get chopped through it all eventually. Uh, it's just making some good progress. Uh, we got. This Saturday will be the Elden Ring EFAP. I'm going to bring on a bunch of people to chat about the game who have uh, got many different positions of completion within it. Uh, and then I think the following week um, is still to be decided on exactly what we'll be up to on, on the old EFAP. But between then and then, all kinds of things will be happening. Like, I think I'm on Drinker's stream tomorrow, I'm talking about Lord of the Rings. The day after that, I'm on Friday Night Tights. The day after that is EFAP, and the day after that might be a catch-up for Drinker. I don't know if that's what he's going to be doing. Is lots of lots of streaming is is what I'll be doing in between crafting the thing that'll be coming out for a uh, good old April first. Um, oh boy! And everyone probably knows what is, but I suppose uh, that's that's it for me. Are you, what do you guys? You guys want to say talk about anything? What was about to do? Recent plant recent developments have led me to actually change the video that I'm working on. Um, but that's all I'll, that's all I'm going to say. I think this will be an interesting, something just happened in the last couple days, uh, that has been brought to my attention. So I'm, I'm kind of changing focus, which is probably good for me because the video I was working on was just getting bogged down with it. And it's the, uh, but this new one I think is going to be recent developments have changed my plans. I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, I really got nothing to report. Just working away. Yeah. That's all I got. I'm just working. Well, all right. Uh, Mola, do you know that being gay is your city? I did not know that. That's okay. Ooh. And uh, God of War EFAP when? I don't know that they're going to do a God of War EFAP. I don't know why we would talk about that one. But who knows what's possible Maybe. at the end of the day. Um, and with that, thank you all so much for, for hanging out with us, for donating, and for um, you know, just having that back and forth. You know how it goes? Uh, we will now see you on Saturday. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, we'll see you Saturday. Bye-bye.